I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. In five. Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the decadent Feathers of Liberty vanilla infused flavored coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the dark roast FNT blend of the fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. Geekgrindcoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, I'm gonna come. All right, perfect. I is gonna go for a, a wee wee and I'll be back in uh, five or so. Bye for now. Back in a minute. Fuck my ass mouth and tits. Later that same evening. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know, go down to the beach or something. Tara! I'll All right. some things what the fuck are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? I'm a freaking boyfriend, asshole. That's cool, bud. I'm her man friend. Dude, don't push me. You know, fuck both of you. Fuck both of you. Calm down now. So. He and I are kind of taking a break. No, 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 no. Like, right in here. Right in here. So, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, I told you to get the fuck away. Don't oh, push him, man. Stop.
if you can make that longer. Hello. Welcome, What's everyone, up? to Friday Night Tights. We're back in our studios, and I'm kind of sad a little bit. I kind of like hanging out with you guys in studio. Yeah, man. I, I, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a lot of fun in Vegas. I had a lot of fun, man. It was awesome. Dude, so. it, it, it was just a week ago. I'm still mm-hmm. kind of recovering, and I didn't drink or gamble or anything. It was just walking no, around. You drove, just you drove city, 18 man. hours, and I drove 35, so it's, that's the recovery part. Cause, yeah, man. It, it's brutal. You know it's how brutal. I know I'm in a good marriage? I can drive 18 hours to and fro with my wife, and we didn't fight. There you go. I mean, she called oh, yeah. me an idiot a couple of times, but, I mean, that's it's just normal. normal. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of day-to-day, really. But, uh, yeah, yeah uh, hail Mrs. Neurotic. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, but welcome again to Friday Night Tights, everyone. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerd, uh, nerdrotic.com and my mom's vagina. And we have a hell of a show tonight. We have plenty to talk about, aside from a Guardians of the Galaxy, a, Mar- a Disney Marvel movie. A Disney yeah. Marvel movie that some people liked. Yeah, uh, yeah. I into loved it. it. Some people loved, loved it. Some people liked. It. Some people didn't like. Oh, so we'll, wow. I think I didn't love it, but I liked it a lot. We'll get into it. Camelot's we'll, muted. We'll Camelot's in. muted. It Camelot. made me cry <laughs> it made out of cr- every hole on my body. <laughs> 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 there was tears everywhere. I loved That's it. That's I'm, I'm glad you were probably in one of those newer theaters where they're easier to clean off if it's every yeah. hole in your body. Yeah, they're like that fake leather. All leather. Well, you, yeah, yeah, leather. yeah. You cried ass tears. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it was leaking. Oh, <laughs> that's a great way to start tired, out the like show. The, the fucking oh, hey, they come and serve you in your seat. They give you a dinner. Like that's kind of old at this point. That's like a decade old. That's not new. Give me a theater where they give you a hand job in the middle. Okay, yeah. that's the next uh, level. Ryan, those <laughs> theaters the actually exist. You're in the wrong theater, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, those theaters <laughs> exist, mean- just not in this country. <laughs> you can go to Taiwan. You can go to yeah. Tijuana. I'm sure. You and can- I don't want to know. I don't want to know who it is. I just want the arm to come out out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. It's a, I mean, a glory know, hole seat. Yeah, hopefully it's not Harry Knuckles. <laughs> oh my god, she has man hands. You can tell he's a mechanic for his, like his job. Calluses. Calluses on his hands. That's a little rough. Did you moisturize, dude? Lighting at the, <laughs> the, the funny thing is, since Orion always gets his order wrong, uh, it would probably would be a dude instead. Of <laughs> it's true. <laughs> just don't just don't order. Even just yeah. the past couple of days, man, it's been fucking rough. Oh, like, we went we went out to eat at Universal City Walk. Me, Ryan, and Suresh. And uh, of course, Midas Thresh is perfectly fine. Ryan's is fucked up. <laughs> the best part of it. Karma's the real. Part, the best part is Ryan's like, so it's, I'm sitting there, Ryan's sitting next to me, Suresh so sitting across. Ryan's complaining about it. And then the waitress is right there. And she's like, would you like me to, you know, I, I could take it back and get you another one. And Ryan's like, no, it's, it's fine. It, you know, so he's pulling it off. And then he thought she walked away and he's like, stupid fucking cow fucked it up. But she was still there. She was still there. But she, she was like right behind getting me napkins <laughs> to do something. I, she came back and she was. Oh, she spit in your food 100%. Yeah, no, 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 she no, 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 did. No, because we'd already thank God where we had our food. Oh, okay. Because I have a very, very strict rule of you respect. The person handling your food yeah. at all times, no matter yeah. what. Yes. Don't piss no off your cook, what. your mechanic, or your doctor. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> or your waxer. I, that, I was or perfectly pleasant to this stupid. Or your bowl. waxer. I, like, I, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. I was perfectly nice. She I got fucked that. up my order, so she lost all my respect. So I called her a fucking dumb cow. Was she like? Was she obese though? Was so it makes sense? Of course she was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why she. That's one of the reasons she was probably incompetent. Oh, <laughs> oh it was fat going through the brain. You know? like uh, but, but she's like, oh, do you want me to? Do you want me to get them to remake that? For, oh, whoa, wait another twenty fucking minutes while these guys in front of me chow down. No, nah, I'm good. I'll pick all the shit off that I told you I didn't want. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And then the, the day before that, I went to Culver's with Jeremy. They forgot my drink. Uh, and then the day after that, bro, I the day after that, Suresh three days in a row. Culver's no. over to the house. And he's like, hey, because it was onions. They put onions on my shit when I asked for no onions. I had to pick them all out. They had sauce all over. My hands got all messy at the other place, right? That was the problem. So Suresh is like, hey, I told him no onions on anything. Didn't want to repeat it yesterday. And we're kind of laughing. Ha ha, that's funny. Of the seven burgers, <laughs> of the seven burgers that were in there, all right, that were in the bag that Suresh brought. Ryan, it's only Ryan. I grab one. 
got and I fucking bite into it. It's got onions. Uh, Ryan, I think Fire at this baby. point, Ryan, <laughs> at this point, Ryan, yeah, at this point, you just need to understand God does not love you. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's better to have it in food orders than like I don't know. Literally any other oh, situation. Got, <laughs> going into surgery and like <laughs> the wrong leg for, for a hernia. Course, and this long, your dick this is long gone. Way of saying this, there is a jerk off theater. Uh, Ryan will almost certainly order the female and get the male every time. That is, <laughs> yes, yeah. that is the moral of this story. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's get on I with it. Him. I go and I order the man. You <laughs> <laughs> get the man that time. <laughs> Reverse psychology. Ah, uh, Jeremy from Nothing Geeks and Gamers. You ever get your order right? Right. <laughs> yeah, what is up, man? What's up, man? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, happy to be here. It's been a fun week. Shout out to Matt Walsh, my good buddy, my new friend, Matt Walsh. <laughs> and we've had a lot of interactions on here again. Yeah. Very he's serious man. Culture, highly respects. Right. You know everything going on here. So, uh, but yeah, um, it's been a fun weekend. Uh, I, I do. I miss Vegas. How many people have you? Uh, converted to conservatism yeah i know he's uh he's definitely got the numbers there he's uh he, he's that converted sound like a cult-like statement yeah, i know yeah, dude that was such a bad bad take for him to say that like that's what we're judging things on now, that's a weird right? flex yeah it was a <laughs> very weird yeah. flex um but you know i just want to urge everyone that screen time is terrible unless you're watching our channels Make sure you just stay on the screen, okay? Right. Um, help us get that ad revenue. But happy to be here. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed Guardians uh, Volume 3. I really fucking did. And I can't wait to talk about it a little more. Right. And um, yeah. it was really fucking good. And I still hope it doesn't do well at the box office. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it is. <laughs> it's not going to do well. No, um, that's that's a weird place to be. It's like, I really liked it. I hope it fails. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't it. give a shit. But, but as we said many times, our job is not to have any. Like we all have every, everybody that's a fan of this stuff. We have our preconceived notions about things or what we think may happen. But ultimately, we watch it, and then something else happens. I saw Chris Gore. Chris Gore was convinced he was going to hate this movie before he watched it. Yeah, I, he was convinced. I watched it prior. He's like, it sounds like going to hate this movie. It sounds like this is a piece of shit. And then he turns. He's like, I loved it. He's because he had once you he had me convinced that I probably wasn't going to like it. (laughs) Yeah, uh, but we'll talk more about it. But happy to be here. Shout out to the one nine nine. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Thanks, Jeremy. One nine nine. Right. As what's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, I thought Guardians was uh, very very meh. There you go. Boo. It was, uh, it was You're miserable. Well, it was miserable. It was dour. It was predictable. The jokes were fucking old. They tried to push them and push them. And they're just like, dude, this joke fucking fell out of favor 20 years ago now. Just stop it. And then you'd have a nice little pocket of fun. And they'd be like, oh. And they'd be like, oh, no. Now we're going to go back onto the let's shout at each other. It's fun. See, I thought that the jokes here were landed so much better than previous Guardians movies because it didn't the take away well, from serious moments. D- Dave Batista's were the only ones which really landed, and Mantis's fell flat we'll, 90% we'll of the time. In. So did Karen Gillan. I Gillen's. guess the review started now. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I would, I just thought I would no, offer no. A, a counter retort to Jeremy's. I well, loved it. obviously, and we can never Camelot speak to each other I again. I out my ass. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I just hate <laughs> this is actually last called time. diarrhea, but okay. I hate this is the last time me and Az can speak. Since yeah, you can't be friends people. anymore because can't you don't be agree. Yeah, no, I know. Somebody, somebody uh, Chris Gord liked it on Film Threat, and uh, somebody tweeted at me and went, uh, and then, you know, when somebody uses like 58 laughing emojis, you know, they're fucking compensating. So they're just like, oh my God, I just watched your Film Threat, and I saw your video. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe how different you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you you do know people can have different opinions. They're like, yeah, but you're like totally different. Ah, like, you know, laughing crying mode. Yeah. Like, so, settle down. It's okay. I'm just like, <laughs> have you ever heard Mauler and I talk, or Gary and Mauler, or Gary and me talking about so Jeremy and me? Do you actually watch Friday Night Tides, dude? It's like virtually every week somebody's got a polar opposite fucking yeah. opinion to somebody else. Uh, yep. So I'm still thinking to myself, God, that poor kid's gonna well, have. I don't. A I don't know what you're life. talking about because we get all of our talking points from the secret Discord. Yes. Oh so, no. Oh no, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, we are not um, to deviate our opinions, guys. Oh, the, the secret yeah. Steve so Bannon Discord. Yeah, it's it's yes. the ghost of Rush Limbaugh giving <laughs> information to Steve Bannon. 
in not our sure. secret Discord. Yeah, I have I have a direct connection to him right now. Uh, he I, says, um, "I got Guardians, my Guardians bad. I got my Russian. Yeah, yeah I got my Russian five shirts. Who does? I Steve I never had. Yes. I think I'm the only one who hasn't had an interaction with Matt Walsh this week. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my God! Conservatives constantly complain about the left running everything, and then conservatives say they don't care about everything. Wow. Uh, I wonder why the I wonder why the left's taking it all over. It's as if they need them to do that so they actually can do something con content wise themselves. But there you go. But I've always maintained the left's just as bad as the fucking right, and my God, Daily Wire proving that in spades recently. Yup. I will say, as your video where you sort of showed your day, it's like your review of Guardians uh, 3, but well, it's like your was a experience. D, D word that I thought was going in a different direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, we got to be know, careful on this you show. You did this, what? too. Day. You did this. Day. 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 No, how, how the, the, the projection started like 40 minutes late. Oh, no, yeah, it was good. It was yeah. good. Yeah. Credit good card machine was broken, so it's right. just as well I had some cash on me. And yeah. then uh, we we sat in a the theater and we like came in two minutes after start time, but it was empty, so it's fine. There's only about ten people there, and then um, then it just wouldn't start, wouldn't start. Twenty five minutes to sit there, we're just like, what's going on, dude? My mate fucks oh. off and buys himself the dirtiest ice cream in history, and then a woman comes in when he's gone, and says projector's broken. It's so broken. We're trying to get it going, like you know. But what we'll do is when we get it up and running, we'll do, like put adverts and trailers and stuff we'll just get straight to the movie and it took 40 minutes to actually get going well so basically uh, you just missed the trailers because that was how many yeah. trailers i yeah, saw yeah, yeah we missed the adverts and before trailers the movie just, yeah which is fine by me but i did want to see the flash trailer on the big screen to see if it you know me and my son were laughing at the little better. mermaid in there oh, oh transformers God. yeah do you see little mermaid transformers yeah, i saw that so that was funny that was funny and the guy just was like, this is the greatest movie in the world. <laughs> I got the Marvels trailer. I yeah, did too. Yeah, I got, I got too. all the crap. I got the Oppenheimer trailer. Oppenheimer looked, looks freaking oh, dude. sweet. I love dude, it so cool. I was in the theater. I shit you not. And maybe it was just my theater, but the sound was bad for the Oppenheimer trailer. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> don't. You had a hard time <laughs> hearing the voices. And, uh, and I'm like, God dang, Nolan, don't Nolan. do it. Holy I think, I think I'm going to do that for all my reviews. I'm going to just start, like, review the day, the, the, the journey, and then the theater and whatever. Well, especially if the move, if you didn't like the movie, it's like, I'm going to try to avoid talking about the movie as much as <sighs> After possible. After an hour, I was, uh, the first hour of that film, I was fucking rough. That was rough. I was just like, wow, dang, okay. And even my normie mate, he was just like, uh, it was, you know, really? uh, and he and he was like giggling at Dave Bautista, most of Dave Bautista jokes, and then it was just like, yeah. And then afterwards, we'd text each other. It's just like, oh, it's a good day out, mate. It's good to see you. Shame about the movie. <laughs> Dude, that's what we used to always... That's what we did, though. We just saw know, movies. I Most know. of them were shit anyway, so... And we just hung out with nice our to, It was yeah. nice to see a, a met movie that wasn't met because of anything, I, you know, identity-wise. It was just a met yeah. movie. A there, there's one thing, and I'll get into it when we get to the spoiler section, but... Uh, uh, Ryan Kinnell of RK Outpost, the uh, Diversity, Inclusion, and Equity Officer of Friday Night Tights. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. I also watch Guardians. I, I I guess I'm maybe I'm a little in between Jeremy and as I I didn't really like it. I thought it was like a competently made movie, and it was probably like the best thing that's come out of the MCU like in in years to be honest with you Since but it just War. didn't hit like the emotional notes just didn't hit for me i didn't really care about what i saw on screen maybe i could be like i think that that's a lot of people are gonna like that for this reason didn't i just didn't feel it maybe that's because i just hate marvel right now but i don't know what i'm shocked by is the low box on the yes results. tracking mm. in line with ant-man of the wasp quantumanium at least in its opening thursday numbers that is bad yeah, and guardians really bad. has performed better than ant-man's movie oh, oh yeah. uh, well, yeah. well better yeah historically yeah. so that's that's not a good track, by a couple though. hundred million the brand is dead everybody yeah it's dead oh we'll Even get when they to come that. out with something that people love in the past they don't care about it anymore nope hi gary i think i just think marvel's in serious trouble yes um, they absolutely. are absolutely again so if you guys remember months ago i was kind of you know thinking like okay this could be around 800 million you know because this is the one property that still carries weight with them and as mm -hmm. we've seen the 
box office just as it's it's been moving in the wrong direction in terms of the expectations and yeah. you know the tracking and i after seeing the movie and loving the movie i it, i still don't think this movie is going to turn the needle for them mm. I, I think marvel's done significant damage D- to, diminishing to returns a diminishing returns on top of 40 percent of the ticket buying <laughs> audience disappearing from hollywood on top of telling half of your audience to go fuck themselves yeah, kind of has a big one yeah, yeah that's a big yep. one that the trades like never mention never mention but we will and that's why i guess a lot of people come here and a lot of other channels too because we'll mention that one giant pink sjw elephant in the room that's that's ruining uh entertainment right now uh and and until they do uh it, they'll just keep failing and and it's it, it's it's a willful blind spot it's disingenuous they don't fucking talk about it because they don't want the alt-right nazis to be right you know it, it, it's it's all their little brain theater that we will poke mm-hmm. holes in all day long hi quarter black garrett how are you what's up uh yeah i i enjoyed it uh, I, I had a lot of fun with the movie. I thought there was some really good fight scenes. There was a really cool hallway fight okay, that had the was. entire team going, and it was just like a one almost, and I thought that was really well done. Uh, I think the the chemistry with the cast was really good. I did have some, like, disjointed issues with how the story was, like, edited. Kind mm-hmm. of like it would just keep cutting back to Rocket. And I don't, I didn't the feel editing like really in the was, beginning of the film was It not wasn't good. smooth at all. It was, it was not very good. choppy. Yeah. Um, and I have a problem with a couple of other things, uh, like with uh, Adam Warlock. But overall, I enjoyed it. It was far better than yeah. any of the other garbage that has come out in the last fucking, what, five years? Uh, aside from, like, No, no Way, Way Home. Home. Yeah. Which uh, is a Sony yeah, film. I, I had fun with it. Yeah, but, I, I like, just like you guys were MCU. saying, yeah. I don't think it's, gonna, it's not going to move the needle. They lost uh, James Gunn, so he's the only director that they have with Vision... Everyone else is just a cookie cutter director that they just have in a slot, so yep. uh, they're they're completely hopeless. And it seems to have gotten to the normies because they don't even want to go see this movie. So I think it also, and we'll Good get job. into this. Uh, I, I I saw a lot of people saying, "Oh, I'm hopeful for DC now." It's like I knew that I well, yeah, I wouldn't uh, be. Yeah. Nope. I don't know about nope. that either. We'll get into that. We'll get in d- detail of that. I'll explain why. I think James Gunn is is good for his niche. I don't know if he can yeah. uh, do with the DC what the what well, they did sorry, with the MCU. Sorry, Tom King's there to help him. Oh, that's great. We, we've <laughs> seen we've seen it happen in the Marvel universe. He's good with Guardians, right? Because you have this side characters that are like quirky and funny and whatnot. Yeah, he, he it, can yeah, have that. It plays to his strengths. That across the entire it plays to his strengths, but thing. like. They I, tried to spread that across the entire MCU, and it doesn't work. He, so de- he do doesn't like traditional heroes, okay? Like, you you can tell. You can tell right. when his taste, yeah. the comic books he – like, the, what were the Batman and Superman comic books he talked about? Grant Morrison's books. Grant now, those Morrison. are good, but those are good books – well into Batman and Superman's run when you've already told, you know, decades worth of stories, uh, but they're not the quintessential stories. And Grant Morrison is a very out there storyteller. Yeah, and, and, and he's uh, good. Again, good. his he, like he when he plays to his strengths, his Batman wasn't bad. I liked it. Hmm? His X-Men was really good, but I think that plays more to his strengths than a traditional hero like Batman and Superman. It's going to be very well, difficult. The story he wants to pull from is a, is a good Grant Morrison story, but you know, you like I don't Brent think Mars that's what you start and, and with. He just goes. I don't think that's what you start with. I, I think I, the movie that really no, kind of sums don't. up how he feels about superheroes is the movie Super. I mean, that is the type of stuff yeah. that he likes doing, and it is very reflective in this last Guardians movie too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up, comics? Hey, happy to be here on time. Sorry about the camera not working, but nice. that's how it is. Uh, um, Guardians Galaxy 3. I, I really enjoyed the movie. It's nice to see that a Marvel movie can in, invoke emotion other than boredom. Right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Definitely totally the most agree. emotional, in my opinion, yeah. the most emotional Marvel movie. I mean, ever. like, that's a get gun what is was very the good. What's emotion that you're, you're talking about? We'll, d- we'll get into it. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into the spoilers. We can get into the spoiler section. Yeah. But no, I think gun is, banner up, bro. gun is very <laughs> good at uh, tugging at the heartstrings, even if it's like super on the nose, like using cute little animals. So yeah, uh, yeah that was a little like okay, I, like, I, hugging it. Doesn't really I, I do anything. It. For me. it did its job. Yeah, and like I said, I wasn't sitting there bored off my ass like the last five MCU movies I watched, and and that's kind of the thing. I felt something. I thought it was a solid film. Yeah, it has issues, 
One of them being it's too long, but you know we'll talk about the others well, when we get with, into spoilers. Yeah. Without, without spoilers, I'll just it say... It works within the trilogy, too, like the Guardians does. trilogy. It, it, Chris it, Pratt it, is a fucking phenomenal actor. Yes, and absolutely. He's, he's, the key, he's the key to the why the emotional stuff worked for the most part for me uh, in the scenes or the storylines that he was intertwined yeah. in with that stuff. Chris Pratt he fucking sold it beyond belief. Yeah, dude's, a, dude's like a legit movie star. I think he is. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know if he's going to draw a box office because movie stars are dead, but like, I th you know. I think people know his name, people like his stuff, and he's now associating himself with quality a little more. So I think that'll help. I think well, that'll help. As far as box office goes, I just want to give a big shout out to Odin, who's going to be eating <laughs> pineapple pizza tonight. <laughs> and Chris on Pratt. this show, <laughs> yeah. I would be worried for this moment. You and know, don't you, Odin? I know you're listening right now. Don't you skimp and, and, on the pineapple? Put it all oh, on that pizza. Way, have a lot of pineapple. pineapple. On that pizza I have he, seen him try to say that it was like one slice. We were agreed on four. No, 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 no. Really, minimum slices. three. Minimum three. You Nobody said whole back. pizza Ryan is not reasonable. Four pizza, four, four yeah. slices. Whoa, whoa, Half easy pizza. on the full pizzas, all right? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, like, someone was like, oh, just a slice. And then somebody countered, like, no, a whole pizza. And I'm like, that's not really that's not reasonable. Like, no, that, three. A whole pizza four slices, really how, four how slices seems this? fair. That's four like a slices. punishment. Four slices worth of pineapple on one pizza slice. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I wouldn't that's even say that. Wrong. No, no. That's For one, that's that's no, eating it wrong. That's pineapple nut pizza is no. a kitty. He's and not Odin, even eating Odin. meat on it, though. He's, Odin, I, I want a pizza cam. Well, that's what, I want th the then of course cam. he's going to not yeah. like it. I wouldn't eat a, a, a pizza with just pineapple. You got to have the Canadian bacon. You got to have... Uh, the hot sauce, you got to have the jalapenos, maybe mix in some olives too, man. You got to go this in there. Disgusting. And yes, uh, again, Ryan, <laughs> like fear factor. I hurt myself to feel, okay? I, I have no senses wow. left from all the drugs I've done. I totally agree with that. Uh, hello, Exit A. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, the people. Holy fuck. The gong? The gong? Sorry, not the gong. I keep forgetting where the button is. No, you stole it. Thank you, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, I'm still like very, very people. Sick. Yeah, I, I can do that very people. easy. Just remember, Gary was criticizing the Guardian's editing. <laughs> people. <laughs> people. People. We were professional. Okay? People. Yeah, please. He hasn't got um, Perry Chan to sort that out for him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a VTuber just while I'm sick and uh, healing up. Um, but I did want to say that I am Team Nerd Rotic. That's I'm right. Here to help get him to down with Dan Vask. So this is for you, Gary. Subscribe to Thank you. Oh, Subscribe to Nerd Rotic. Oh, no. oh, get get the full oh, screen wow. on that one. We need to see. <laughs> That's right. She's pulling out all the guns. Yeah, just for you. Subscribe so, to Nerd Rotic. Uh, I gotta listen. listen no, listen, you listen. The, no, uh, my listen. singing a, a Bon Jovi song is gonna disappoint you. It's going to disappoint uh, you. But the song I oh, write man. for Dan Vass, for one, Dan Vass is a professional, right? He will give it his all. He will sing it beautifully. My song will heal the world, bring balance back to the universe. People will forget pronouns when it's done. I will wow. write the greatest song in the world. About man buns being gay. You sound so, like Jack Black now. Yeah, I, 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 I'm starting. Like, this is sad, Gary. Like, you're, you're, you're at a point of getting VTubers and fake legs, and yeah. Dan yeah. Bass is getting it's cringe, tweets, man. And Dan Bass is getting tweets by General Flynn. Uh, it's fuck? clearly what's happening here. Okay. Oh, General do you think General Flynn? Flynn do you think General Flynn likes man buns? Do you, th do you th no, no, not in the least. Not uh, this is yeah. all about healthy competition too. And all matter. my respect to General F Flynn, by the way, he does he doesn't know he's he's like, retweeting he's like such a LGBTQ this plus. This young man just inspires so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe like, to Dan Vass. He doesn't know he like sits on whale bones at home and. Oh my god! Uh, Look at the whale bone. The whale yeah. bone. He has a fucking fart chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chair, the chair of a thousand. Yeah, the dirty, <laughs> dirty ass fart chair. He has no what idea. An inspiring kid. Look at him. Look at him sing. Oh, yeah, nice man. flex there. He's all ha ha nerd rat. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh, oh and I said like my wife. Uh, we were we were like driving back and like she saw oh this is a Bon Jovi song. Uh, uh, let, oh, me no, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm just saying. I'm, just I'm gonna, gonna mute you. I'm right in the middle of my story. Bon Jovi, mate. 
Um, okay, good. I can finish my story now. Uh, so we're driving back, and and she's oh, no. she's like, oh, this will be a good wig for your song. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So when you sing the Bon Jovi song, I'm like, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> Yeah, what are you, she was, she well, like, she's all just I'm just thinking ahead just losing. in case you lose I'm on that's not an option woman she's <laughs> <laughs> and then Garrett you know Garrett's on team Dan Vass right now at I'm two team Dan Vass. at two man and I, I, Look, I did play I did I play his song man, bro, I, did, bro. I did play his song to close out cover cast uh, earlier this week so yeah you're, you're, you're in trouble Gary you're in trouble uh, and then all you got is ass and you're kicking him out of the show so you're really screwing yeah, up that. right now as still loves me. He does. <laughs> I'll kick myself. <laughs> kick yourself. You should kick yourself. Mm. We should get to the guest now. I mean, uh, Camelot, I know you're new to the show. It's not even your turn yet. I just wanted to let you know it's going to be a minute till we get to you because we're going to go to Chris Gore first. What's up, Chris Gore? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Gary, good to be here two weeks in a row. Another shirtless photo of me on the thumbnail. I think that was a good choice. Yeah. I request, yes. Uh, and I want to say uh, I, I've been told that I'm problematic because I talked to people like Gary Bueller, and I said, Bueller. "Who's Gary? Bueller? Who's Gary Bueller? Never heard of the guy." Like the little, uh, like the little seriously. snacks you put on your fingers. It's fair. Bugles. bugles. Those are bugles. Brother. No, someone said Gary. You talked to Gary Bueller, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'll talk to anybody. I don't give a shit." Yeah, you know? Ferris Bueller. Yeah. Ferris so uh, I thought oh. that was very funny. And Who then, said that? And then uh, what's that? Who said that? Your mom. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was definitely my mom. Well, lots of YouTube, but uh, no, I saw I saw Guardians last night. I I am I don't love it as much as as Jeremy. I have problems with it, but I really liked it much more than I expected. I expected to go in not liking it, and there's look, there's a lot of nitpicks, but I was impressed. I think it's close as close as James Gunn could do to like dancing up to like an R-rated movie in the sense that like there's some things. Here, I would not take a young kid to this film. No, oh, no. Yeah, it's not for kids, and I think that's a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, There's and that's, that's well, dude. Like there was a Jackson them. Pollock joke in the first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like. He makes Joke about it. There's, there's cum though. stain. There's a cum stain joke in the first movie. It's yeah, one of the best subtle, jokes. In, it, family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, family there was friendly an cum stain joke. There yeah. Was an, there was an F bomb in this That's one, and it worked perfectly. It worked, dude. Yeah. yeah. It totally worked. Yeah. No. The F bomb was good. Like, but you're right. Yeah. yeah. You should. F bomb worked. To me, it just felt forced because they released it beforehand. Like they yeah. released yeah. that clip and we're like, look, we did a first F bomb. So when I watched the movie, it felt forced. I didn't yeah. see the it clip, like a, but that's like yeah, a that's, promotional that's a thing. Like, dumb. Like, hey, I, let's try to promote. That. I agree with you, Ryan. That's fucking dumb. That's just well, dumb. We'll get, but we'll get into it. But the problem that I've had since now, other people have seen the movie, and this happened on my film threat live stream this morning, is people say that I look like Will Poulter. <laughs> Adam Warlock. Hey, you're so Hair. bold. Like a sort of a doughy face. So oh, no. I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test this out. I happen to have some gold. <laughs> All right, spray. let's see. Oh, no. and, let's see. Uh, gold yes. face yes. mask. Yes. yes. And uh, I'm going to do some self care during the show. You could be his brother. And if I make myself completely gold, will I look like him? You, you could be his brother. We're going to find out. Well, we're we're gonna gonna find out. one thing is for sure, you in this uh, doing this makeup, you'll be far more useful to FNT than Adam Warlock was to Guardians 3. Oh, 100%. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Fucking useless uh, character. Oh, yeah. don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh. this, is, this is what you get when you go drunk shopping at TJ Maxx. So I just want to <laughs> let you know that. Yeah, I was uh, like, why I do you recommend have this? this? <laughs> why do you what? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the fuck were you doing in TJ Maxx in the first place? Drunk or sober? Dude. It, well, exactly. Yeah. Well, props, yeah, props, props, man. Thing, like, it's useful for, for props. I mean, it's useful for like simple stuff, kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, you know. That's why he went too far. He went too far. That's why, why I went, went too far. There. TJ Maxx has got a lot of cheap <laughs> shit that you can utilize. I got like it. Echo. Old face mask. Who's echoing? Yeah. Does Chris's mic sound weird to anybody else? Yeah. Oh, is it, is it weird? yeah Chris needs to get a, a, a like, a, you're on weird. a USB mic, dude. We need to, I meant to bring you a mic. So when I come it's out true. next time, I'll bring the extra mic I have for you. Doesn't, okay. uh, I'll doesn't donate Chris a mic. Chris look fucking great on FNT? Just... He does. Yeah, yeah. He does. He's, He's a handsome man. When he's gold. Yeah. Hey. Stay gold, pony you boy. Gold. Gold. I love gold. Oh, so many people. Uh, finally, uh, well, I don't even know how long we are in. Our our very special guest. First minutes. time. He's a he's an FNT virgin. 
Well, not anymore. <laughs> uh, Camelot, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? <laughs> I went and saw Guardians, and I was 100% going into it, like, uh, believing I was going to hate it. And um, there was a few things here and there, but, man, I, I, I don't know what it is. I think it was the otter. All it took was the otter. And that, that was it. And I was just like, dude, they had a girl with me and everything. And I had to like hide my face and shit or else she would have sex. Because dude, it was rough. It, it was, but it was great. And yeah, there was a few jokes that were like weird. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's a little weird. But like, you know, it's, there's, there's an issue. Like, like Jeremy said, though, I kind of want it to fail because mm -hmm. they've already ruined their brand so much. It's like my ex-wife. Like I locked her at one point and I don't have anything against her, but I hope she fucking fails. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they knew what they were doing though. They showed a little the, the damn rabbit that could barely just speak good mm -hmm. English. She's like, yep. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, she's, my, my name's Floor because I'm on the floor. And you're like, oh, so cute, bro. I got like, I got like, sit, I got like, sit room vibes like. from Toy Story with <laughs> with some. With the yeah. damn spider legs and all yeah. that. At the uh, fucking end, I told this to Jeremy on the phone. At the end, when like, are we getting into? I don't want to get into spoilers. We're not yet. It, it, like, looks like, right, it, it, yeah, yeah. it looks end, like it looks like Adam Warlock splooged on like, Chris's face. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen to Rocket, and it's like. It looks like it's fucking Harry Potter at Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I thought fucking Albus Dumbledore was going to come walking yeah. out of that. Dude, that's my kid. Ryan, my kid turned around and said that very same thing in that scene. He's like, what the hell? Yeah. Where's Harry Potter? It's the exact same type of scene. Dude. Okay, but we'll yeah, get we'll get into spoilers in a little bit. But welcome, Camilla. Hey, self-titled discount complaints. Chris Pratt, by the way. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, we, yeah. there, there's Thank a lot of complaints channel. about audio levels, so I don't know if we're looking into that. So Is it... Um, Gary's too loud. Gary's too loud, too and, and especially Camelot. Especially Camelot's way too low. Um, Camelot's too soft. Not the first yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even. That's not even a lie either. Way too right. low. Way too low. <laughs> I'm maxed out. Something wrong. Something wrong. Take something wrong. over for a low. second. I will find out. Eat too late. Ding ding. <laughs> it's ow. on the board. <laughs> I'll be right back. Why you make fun of me? We're making all the racist jokes while the audio is too low. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why <laughs> we like to make fun of different. Is it wrong ones. that I can't look away from Chris putting that makeup on? Yeah, it's it's that's really not, distracting. Really? It's not makeup. It's a it's a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So you need to layer that up. Wow. You need to really I, I layer like, that up. I feel like you're doing yellow face right now. It looks like yeah. gold member came on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just C three PO. Funny. <laughs> oh my god so this is going exactly how you would expect it to uh not yeah, well sure. not well at all <laughs> but what do you expect from friday night tights camelot are you nervous are you do you feel like you belong here like what's going on talk about your emotions right now no yeah i feel good man i feel good i i got all that shit out of the way i watched moana right before i got on this <laughs> so okay. i'm good dude. <laughs> yeah dude at the very beginning like when she little baby and shit and she like goes over to the water and then the water moves and it goes, hey, dude, I'm like, oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell it's about. It, it kills me. Uh, every time that ha shit happens. And then when she's on the boat and she has to get the heart of the ocean back and she's like, please choose someone else. And then the grandma appears and she's like, oh, dude, do you know who you are? I'm like, oh, like, Man. Like, uh, it fucks me up like five times in that movie. Pulls them strings. <laughs> See, yeah. I think that's one reason why I like. So I don't like. I don't like sad animal movies. That's the one thing I can't deal with. Oh, it always sad hurts Marley and Me. Okay, I can't. I've never seen Marley and Me. I won't watch Dude, it. Bro, I don't, I don't like crying. fucking. I don't. I don't do sad <laughs> animal movies. It's the only thing I Brutal. don't do. And so, of course, Guardians probably hit me on oh. that level because of that oh. reason. I watch was watching yeah. huh? Watership Down. Watch Watership Down. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, they oh, fight oh, and oh, that. Those that was fucking rubbish. They fight. Yeah, so dude. A dog. And by the way, as you might know about this movie made by the same filmmaker who made Watership Down, mm. have you heard of a film called Plague Dogs? No. It was no. Plague Dogs was made by the same animation team, same filmmaker who made Watership Down. And it's about dogs who are being used. Have they called the plague? And no, they don't. Oh. But what they do is they escape this place. One of them, played by John Hurt. You know, John Hurt is in Watership mm, Down. Yeah, yeah. It's got like his brain exposed because they're being experimented on. But they spread a rumor that the dogs have the plague. And so everyone's trying to kill them. And it came from, they're like, 
from the film, from the same team that made Watership <laughs> Down, Plague Dogs, and the movie Tanked. Look it up. Look it up. Oh, it is one of the weirdest movies you'll ever see it tanked. In all and fairness, so is Watership Down if you think about it. That yes, is a fucked up film. That is a rough movie it's to watch. Dark. It's dark. Yeah, Dude, like, you, Jeremy, saw, Jeremy huh? A Dog's Purpose. I won't watch it. God. Dude, oh my god. Is that, is that the one with Richard Gere? I don't remember, dude. It has that one dude that looks old as hell. No, because uh, there's one. It's like it's oof. it's about a, it's about a, a dog, and it's, it's there's a one with Richard Gere. I thought mm. I think it's a dog. He, he's with the hamsters, Jeremy. The dog, <laughs> the dog gerbils. Keeps, it was gerbils, I think. I he think. keeps reincarnating into another dog's like body, and then you have to watch him like grow old and then die, and it's sad again. Yeah, like, nah, man. And there's at one point he's a police dog. Right. Bro, I could barely handle fucking Homer Bound, okay? Dude, it's Dennis Quaid, yeah. So he, incredible journey. That's the, the, the damn police dog. He the police dog was he was every time he's like, Can I sleep in your bed? And then his owner's like I'm not letting him sleep in his bed. And then like the police dog gets shot like on the line of duty. And he's like sitting there in the street and his owner's hugging him and he's like, I just want to sleep in your bed. And he's like, Can I sleep in your bed tonight? And oh god. Go! Yeah, Hachi. Oh, that's the one with bro. Richard Gere. So you know, I, I've heard a lot of people. Yeller, I've heard yeah. a lot of people like kind of complaining about the animal, the the CGI animal cruelty. And I mean, that's legit. People like animals are li- are innocent things. It didn't bother me at all. I think it made the bad guy. I think it made no. It, it the, worked. I, for I the think. Bad it, hang on. Yeah, I think it made the high yeah, evolutionary. Yeah, complaining, complaining I think it made it so, well. Like, no, a lot of people are going. That was a little bit too much for me, and that's fine. You could say no, that. I think it but, needed to be. I well, think I, 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 I agree, Garrett. I Garrett, I agree. Yeah. But uh, like, I think that's fine. But then, like, they can watch Sisu and watch people just get fucking sliced and <laughs> right, diced. Yeah. And be totally fine with it. It's like, you know, yeah. I, I yeah. think, I think if you're making the bad guy, like Marvel needed to make the high evolutionary interesting somehow. And quite he frankly, really good. he's fucking better than Kang. He's way oh, better man. than He's Kang. Way why more they evil than Kang. Man, the, the main bad guy. We need to put spoilers up again. No, no, because we're, we're not there yet. But uh, okay. when we get okay. into the spoiler section, they, the, James Gunn, as a director, you had a giant missed opportunity. Something you got in the first film that you completely, fucking totally missed Ooh. in the second one. And I was just like, I can't believe he missed that. I can't believe he just like let that go. Uh, it one was thing, stupid. Well, one thing, can we, uh, again, I, this is my stance on it. I don't know if everybody agrees here or not. I don't think there's any identity politics in this movie. Nope. Uh, I think it's the closest thing. A little bit, but for the most part, it's... You can sit there, you can be like, oh, was the decision to make Adam Warlock this, like, perfect man, this perfect human, the decision to make him, like, a mama's boy... That's intersectional feminism. I think it was, but I think think it was. Thing, I, I think I, mean, I think it's just no. I think it's their baseline, Ryan. I don't think yeah. they're like we're gonna make this. I think they just automatically yeah, yeah. we're gonna well, make. Wait a minute. Why wait, don't wait, we just wait, ask wait. him? Why don't we just ask Adam ourselves? I'm putting it on. <laughs> okay, so, he's right there. So <laughs> to finish to finish my minute. thought, we Even have th- we have essentially two himbos in this movie now. Yes, because Drax is a I'm, fucking himbo. Uh, Warlock is a himbo, and 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 Star Lord kind of is too. So we, we have well, three male been. kind he's, of dumb shit. Kind of like yeah. He is a bit of a buffoon, but they literally made every single male character in this movie stupid. Or yeah. at least I, 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 stupid. I disagree with that. I, I, I agree with that. Star Lord isn't, but he's close. But I like, it's, and then Drax had his like, moment. Drax had his moment in the end. To Drax, show. he was a good father. Like that was his little oh, story arc. Was being a good father. His entire purpose was to be a father. Dude, that when he when when he when she said that. Got me Bro, right here. That, I got that was girls too, it was and I was good. like, it, it was "That was a good rocket. resolution." Yeah, but take but girls e- to see that movie. But even good. Dave oh, Bautista well, no. criticized <laughs> how Drax was treated through the two movies. Yeah, like he even came out and said, mm-hmm. "Yeah, you know, uh, they they yeah. they waited till they last minute to to resolve like that open ended thing, which I think they could have played a lot better in in both in two and three. And don't forget, Rocket is also a male, and he's a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. And, and I don't think that Chris, I don't think that Star Lord is portrayed as like a a dumb fucking person in this one at least. I think He's that very like, I, he develops his plan to get through. He's sitting there switching all the sequencing to get through the shields, yeah. which I said kind, kind of, of yeah, the girl, but but into going that's into the part of Chris Pratt's character and that's part of the personality. And I have no problem with Star Lord being yeah. like yeah. that, but like Tr- Drax. Like they just turned uh, the comedy up that was slight in in the first one up to eleven, and he just became comic relief. When right. uh, you know you could have made him more than that. Yeah, they yeah. did. He was they more did. obtuse than stupid. And that was kind of my issue with him. 
I think they tur- they the toned him back like in this one. You can do this well, the whole time. Well, I don't know. Chris. Uh, look, starting every conversation with you idiots just got so fucking boring. So, Chris, let's 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 <laughs> look. Let, let me speak on behalf of the gold community <laughs> and just say that uh, I think I think Adam I think Adam Warlock is seriously. If I could be serious for a minute. <laughs> This is spoilers, uh, by the way, audio sure. listener. This is spoilers. Sure. Be serious. Uh, he, he's different. It, it's a different character. It's not the comic book character. It's not yes. the comic book character at all. Nope. At all. And it didn't bother me, except that he didn't really have much to do in the story. And it, everything that played out with him seemed very obvious to me. Mm. So, yeah. And he, he didn't need to be there, and neither did Gamora, quite frankly. Right. Yeah, I don't yeah. think she needed to be there. Mm-hmm. What, what, there wasn't a whole lot there. I there was a weird that. romance thing no, that was trying I think, to I be think, built between Star Lord and. I um, think you can make an argument that Gamora did not need to be in this film. She was fine. I liked her in it. I I like Zoe a lot. For Star Lord's she's, she's Star Lord's my... Star Lord's arc, it helped. It, I him thought, going no, through I, the how emotions. how how yeah she didn't, didn't know we didn't at all by the end there was no resolution. He just he just accepted that she's dead basically like his. Gamora is dead. You could have done that without Gamora. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 you didn't seeing, need to bring her back seeing, either. That's seeing my seeing him have to deal with it with her there and showing and Chris Pratt again sells it. It goes back to the Christopher Reeve argument of why I think Superman Four is enjoyable enough is because Reeve and his acting carries it. Yeah. Chris Pratt makes those emotional scenes have mm-hmm. so much fucking weight. And so even when Gamora's standing there, and it's not his Gamora, but he's sitting there having to kind of talk through it and deal with it, his performance is what pulls yeah. that yeah. To, to such a no, good place. Hear me. It's a great point. It's a great point because it's relatable because there's there's these times in, like, real life, especially for my dumb ass, is, <laughs> you know, is you, you have to face somebody, yeah. like, later on. Like, for example, when my ex-wife had to sign off on my house when I sold my house six years later, you know, you have to face this person that is quite literally a stranger to you. Mm. Yeah. And that's like that same situation. It's like, you don't even know this person. They're like, I don't even know who you are. And you're yep. having to like go through all these emotions. So when he was like saying shit, like I miss you, blah, 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 blah. My ass was over here. Like, <laughs> you. you know what I'm saying? So like, mm-hmm. I was able to relate yeah. to it. And I think that's very no. important. And I, 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 I thought it was handled. I thought it was handled really badly. I thought Gamora, she should have been it much more. So he's held on as a fucking great actor. Uh, and, uh, I was actually pissed off that she was sidelined for most of the movie, as was Rocket. And I thought that the the it was a very much a one-sided kind of conversation with Chris Pratt. And it there should have been a real moment where they both kind of truly butted heads and really got it all out uh, to kind of thrash that one home. Because to me, Star-Lord sort of went through this movie and was just like, I've lost my Gamora, you're my Gamora. Uh, but we're not together and now you're dick and and we should be together because we were good and it, she was just like eh, non plus the whole sort of time and then at the end she's just like eh, i bet we were good and that was it that was he, it he, go, he goes yeah. off a fucking loan and he goes off alone and you know they sort of push towards maybe it's nebula that he's yeah. sort of gravitating towards now nothing nothing with that that one got dropped immediately and, uh, as soon as it was mentioned so he just kind of like came across as 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 like I thought, I, I did think that this movie suffered from a massive problem of of feeling sorry for itself, and 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 like the rec- the the rocket story, we kind of knew what was going to happen. We well, no, we didn't kind of. We knew what was going to happen because we already know about Rocket's past. Now we're just seeing Rocket's past, so it didn't really give us anything new other than this I didn't manipulation know, I didn't know with the was. other animals because uh, we knew yeah, all these I animals Rocket was, was die. great. I thought we, the we knew it was going to die. Uh, it was well acted by Bradley Cooper. I, I, I thought this was, a, was I, this I thought he was MVP. I didn't think it gave us movie. anything. I didn't think it gave us anything new. I thought this was Rocket's movie. I didn't know it is. Of, it is. any of his past. I did like that you got to because in the beginning when you see Rocket, you know that something happened to him. He was manipulated in some way. He was an experiment in some way, but you never, yeah. never really got an answer for that. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm happy that it was eventually answered. In this. Did you need I don't, one though? It's one of those things. Did you? Yeah, need one? You I kind of yeah, feel I, like I, I did. I'm, I, it was I'm with. A I'm, like I said, there's an argument to be made about Gamora. 
Uh, I liked her in, in the movie, but you're right, as like she was completely yeah. sidelined. She was barely in it. So that resolution did not hit for me at the end. She's just like, oh, yeah. We might well, be good. exactly, because they didn't have yeah. that real coming together moment. And, and you yeah, know, they didn't have that so, with Rocket so, either. When they so, got him out and they he, he came back, he I was just feel like, like okay, we got that done. And I they, feel like there's left. a three hour cut of this movie. It feels like yeah, they it, it, like, it release like the gun cut. <laughs> and it feels yeah. like, I thought the movie was too long. And I agree. I agree. I feel, I think they like. They cut it as much as they could, but like I mm-hmm. think James Gunn was very self indulgent and made a three hour fucking movie, uh, and they cut it down. They wanted every character to have a like this big moment like to themselves and stuff like that, and I get, but it just felt bloated. It felt too long. What I didn't here's what I didn't like about Gamora is she was only included to be a reminder to Quill of all the things he's lost, yes. even something that's standing 100%. right in front of yes. him. So that's yeah. like, and that is part of his motivation, part of the reason why he's so passionate trying to save Rocket is because of the weight of that on him. So okay. Yes. But what they what they went through with her, it was just a rehashing of what we've already seen from this character being convinced to be in a relationship or right. like Quill. Like, so I've already seen it. Right, and, but it didn't. It didn't yeah. end in that. That's the whole thing. It would have been so cliche if they would have ended up back together, but they didn't. Yeah, no, and that's they, why. They, and that's why I appreciated. That they didn't. Have I'm okay with. with cl- I'm, I'm okay with cliche and Guardians of the Galaxy. I, yeah, I just I'm, am. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm all. I'm all right with a yeah. happy ending once in a fucking while. You know. Yeah, yeah I, well, but, but the other I, thing too is we had a happy ending. I think in this it was movie. happy. It was. Yeah. He went back really? to his grandfather. Yeah, yeah. He went yeah. Back there, to his there, grandfather. there was. I mean, it was way happier than I thought family. it'd be. It was way happier yeah. than I thought I. It, yeah, thought, and I mean, yeah. and Rocket, Rocket got to be the uh, the leader. He's the leader and, now. Every, yeah. Everybody got their happy ending. It might not have been the definitive happy ending, but everybody ended up in a good place at the end of this Did movie. They? Yeah. Mantis so. has gone off to try and find herself. Pete, at, sure, he went at, back at her, to his at her choice. Her he's choice. Al- yeah. yeah, but he's alone. The Guardians have been fractured. Okay. He's not alone. He's with his grandfather. You know, uh, dude, no, yeah, no, he's he, no, but he's he's not. With, he doesn't have like a partner in his life. He he's still he. Yeah, he's found his granddad. Right, he's still looking for his, his granddad's yeah. really old. His granddad's you know not going to be around for too much longer. Then he's going to be on his own again. So it's so, not as if he's well, sort that's, of had that's, a, a that's, real direction that he's going. That's why either. Mantis taking off made no sense because the whole Christmas special was about her being his sister, yeah, and, and him wanting to be with family, and him bought and be wanting to be with family, and she talks about it, and and Star Lord never does. It's never reciprocal. That kind of that irked me a little bit too because I thought it would have been cool. Maybe they go off back to Earth together, you know, brother it's and sister. One line in this yeah. movie, isn't it? It's one yeah. line. It's like one or two sister. lines, yeah. and that's yeah. it. One, yeah. of the, one of the things that I didn't like either was that, you know, you get this big reveal that, you know, Peter's half celestial, right? right. Like, mm-hmm. you get this big reveal at the end of Guardians, and you're wondering... Guardians 2. Guardians 2, how is that going to play out? Like, what ramifications is that going to have on the MCU? And it meant nothing for Infinity nothing. War, meant nothing for Endgame. So you have to imagine that at least talk about it. There's nothing. Peter's just a normal human dude. Like, there, there's nothing reference to that in any way, shape, or form. Well, I think part of the issue is where they changed with this origin because he wasn't half celestial in in the comic. He was half alien. You know, I think it was Spartaxian or whatever. I, I, but he's, he's, he's fucking bad. Like yeah, the yeah. he didn't have any superpowers. He was just a normal dude in yeah. space with his you know his mask and his boots that allowed him to fly through the um, through space. And we didn't get that in this movie. And we can talk about more of that later because oh, I thought I, that was. A bit of a I'm one. glad you brought that because am I the? I know this is a little bit off topic, but am I am I the only one who thought? When he got stranded in space, and he was like freezing, I thought he was panicking. Wasn't I, I was just waiting for it to go? Yeah, I was mask. like, what? Well, yeah. Yeah. Mask yeah. And yeah. what happened to the mask? And the music kicks in, and he's, you know. Well, I, I first off, I thought they're gonna we're gonna kill him off, which I'm glad they didn't do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I thought it's like, what happened to his his mask? Yeah, and his jet I thought that too because they never explained that, it. Yeah, they never explained that, and they had Adam Warlock save him instead for the redemption arc. Well, like they they, they needed Adam War Adam War- Warlock was obligatory. It was obviously obligatory. They were setting something else up at the end yeah. of t- not, like this is purely my speculation, but it's pretty obvious. Then he got you know, then he got fired. James Gunn got fired. Yes, uh, other people came in. A lot of the Guardian stuff. I, I mean, it's even it's a different Peter from from. Infinity War, Endgame, and then the Christmas special. He's a little similar in the Christmas special, but it just feels like a lot of that was just other than Gamora dying. It's like, eh, we're going to forget all that. Uh, and you could tell that like this was partially written script a long time ago. It's a holdover. Right. 
and they had to fit in other things when they probably should have just left Warlock out, which, you know, yes. I made the he analogy. Been in the movie. There's absolutely well, yeah, no he, reason he why to, Warlock is here, not. Leave him out. Here's the intersectional feminism part. This is a Disney problem, Disney Marvel problem. Adam Warlock is a fucking character you can make a trilogy of movies off of right yeah. now with the Infinity Watch. He's a great fucking character that, if like Iron Man, if you bring him and adapt him correctly to people, would be insanely popular. Because comic fans, uh, Jim Starlin's Adam Warlock and, and all Thanos and all that, that is pure like comic book fantasy. It is great shit uh, that they just completely dials to make him a himbo. So, no, they, sh they shouldn't have put him in the movie at all. And, and not this way, not the polar opposite of what he is in the comic books. Yeah, and to Gary's point, that makes a lot of sense because look at, <laughs> look at all the other shit they're developing outside of Guardians. Yeah. And they could have had something centered around Adam Warlock, but no, they have America all this Chavez. Other bullshit. Yeah, right. Miss Marvel, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ironheart, it, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, but let me ask you guys this question. I asked Ryan this question earlier, so I have not seen a lot of the recent Marvel movies. I haven't seen Thor: uh, Love and Thunder. I didn't see Ant Man: Quantum Mania, but those were kind of like uh, comedic films dealt in space, you know, with like space comedy and all this bullshit, correct? Is that it, with, with off, sure, off yeah. comedy? Oh, comedy. Sure. Comedy. So, uh, attempts, attempts at comedy. Right. Do you yeah, guys comedy. think, because when we first saw Guardians of the Galaxy, it was the first Guardians, it felt like something new, something different, something that was special. And yeah. now that Marvel has moved all of their shit into this more Guardians esque shit and they've watered down that do you think that it you, as you guys have seen those movies i haven't do you think that that those other films help take something away uh from what you could have enjoyed yeah. with guardians yeah see that's I, the yeah. point because i haven't seen mm. any of them <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think it takes away from the movie itself but i do think it takes away from the, the overall arching brand of the mcu because you know we're seeing massive diminishing returns right now yeah. guardians mm. should be a hit and sadly it's probably going to do ant-man 3 numbers at this point and, and and a lot of this is not the fault of the movie itself it's the fault of the previous two or i well i guess previous one uh phase that has led into phase five and, and and open as a complete dud i think at this point people or audiences just don't give a shit about the mcu anymore and we're going to continue to see it downslide well it turns out yeah all of marvel phase four we're not counting sony's spider-man no way home that's a sony no, i'm not counting that all of marvel yeah. phase four the first dud of phase five Shit after shit on Disney Plus tends to wear on your brand a little bit, you know. It does. Yeah. Your shills you can go Ant out there Man and say, uh, "What? Do you think Ant Man affected this?" Yes, oh, 100%. absolutely, dude. Yes. Spider Man I No think Way the Home. The entire Phase Four affected Spider Man. This. Yes. Spider Man No Way Home affected Doctor Strange. It gave it very good numbers from that goodwill, and it's yeah. all been fucking bump. downhill from there. So, uh, yeah, th is, this is... Is this anyone is, else well, worried think, about Chris? He hasn't spoke since he put this shit on his face. He's, he's so. passing out. My face right? is frozen. <laughs> no, look, I will wash look. that shit off. <laughs> At some point, I will wash it off. Uh, I'll get a break here. Uh, but no, look, I, I think it's like uh, all these, these previous films that have been weak. I think Wakanda Forever might be one of the worst Ooh. MCU mm. movies ever. Yes. Yeah. What, a, a, what a miscalculation. They should have recast... In some way, either recast T'Challa, make Killmonger the Black Panther. Yeah. Who cares? What a terrible, and it's two hours and 40 minutes. Oof. Did anyone watch that movie a second time? No. I, know well, I, I had to yeah, for I a review. I barely watched it the first time. I did it exactly. once. Uh, the only reason I watched the first time is because my black friend Ryan got me in on opening weekend. So <laughs> I, was just, I was able to do it. I, I, the only reason I, I, I watched it is to do it for this fucking show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah You're same. welcome. Yep. Like yeah, you've got a that, series that, of movies. It wasn't really made for me. <laughs> a series of movies that I like the music. The music was good. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I mean, these movies disappoint. <laughs> and then you get to one. I think Guardians. I actually really enjoyed. Uh, it. Like, I saw the quarter. Like, I saw the quarter black come out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was good music, dude. It hit me in my core. <laughs> Sorry, but, go on, Chris. Uh, I mean, I, I I like Guardians three, but like in in it's in the shadow of all these films that are just bad and the Disney Plus shows. I yes. really think audiences are trying. So I'm in a packed theater and there is a difference as the way you saw the movie. You know, I felt bad, like watching your experience. It may have contributed to your feelings about the film. It may not have, I don't know, but I saw it in a packed. I mean, I was in the third row of an I'm and there were people in the second row of an IMAX screen, AMC Burbank 16 packed. The Marvel's trailer comes on. And you could hear a pin drop after. Not a laugh. <laughs> Dude, not a laugh during the trailer. No reaction. 
Same thing with the Little Mermaid trailer. The Oppenheimer trailer, people perked up. Uh, so, Dude, after after the Marvel's trailer ended, audibly in the theater, I heard somebody go, I ain't watching that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, t- I said this on Daily today. So, so as, as soon as the, the post-credit happens with Chris Pratt, you know, uh-huh. and, and people behind me, it was a couple dudes, they stood up and they said, when if it we said Star Lord will return. Yeah, it said Star Lord. Yeah. They said they said if we get a movie with Star Lord, a Disney Plus series with Star Lord, ten episodes doing that shit, I'm gonna kill myself. And he said it so loud, <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Well, that is why Star watching Lord a movie with, the, with other people in a theater Pratt. is so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, don't, I, we don't know that Star Lord's gonna be Chris Pratt either. Yeah, that's true. yes, yeah. that's true. So well, make it pride like they did in the comic. I mean, and also, did did uh, James Gunn have anything to do with that Star Lord will return? Sort of no. popped at the end. Yeah, same, right. same, same thing with uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. Suddenly, like Thor will return. Are they going to return and recast? Are they Disney Plus shows? Mm, it's going to be a little Are baby girl cartoons? Thor. I mean, sort of I don't know. Man. It's Secret so Wars. The report from the Thor one. The report was that when, like, for the premiere of that, and uh-huh. like Chris Hemsworth and Taika Waititi saw Thor will return. They kind of like looked at each other because eh, like there's no agreement for that to happen at all. So that's wow. a Marvel thing putting that in there. Secret, Chris Pratt secret. said during this media run, he's like, "Yeah, I don't really know what the future holds. I'd be weird doing it without James there, but I guess for the right thing, I could consider coming back." But he didn't say, "Yeah, I'll be back." Like hmm. Secret uh, Wars, yeah. they're, they're they're all the characters. Maybe uh, not Scarlett Johansson, but uh, all the characters will come back <laughs> in Secret Wars. I Share don't my think screen you need real to see quick. Robert Downey Jr. either. There we go, right there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, that's the 4K version. Yeah. Oh shit, that's so good. <laughs> I like how your skin just has like horns in your hair. Uh, for those of you yeah. watching at home, that was a meme of uh, Az's face on Chris with splooge all over it. <laughs> yeah. in, in all fairness to the memers, it's very difficult to envisage me with hair. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, true. Mm, I don't quite know where the roots go. I don't know what to do there. Oh shit! I think it's... But it's uh, you know, like overall, I yeah, I very. I, is it? Do I like this more than the first one? No, no. I still think the first one's the best. But and I like the second Guardians more than most people. But I, I think this one's better than the second one for sure. Absolutely. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna watch them both again before I do my review because I feel like I, I don't know because I haven't seen the second one in so long. Maybe I'd feel well, differently about it, but uh, I, yeah, I, I liked it. Is- I, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. It had some ba- major problems. One of the biggest emotional beats it missed, like this was, I can't. So, uh, it, they destroy an entire planet, of uh, an entire population. Yeah, uh, they just species. scrub it, and there's no like. Okay, so remember in the first Guardians, after they it brought out the, the after the died. after they brought out the Infinity Stone, and you know you felt the weight of that. Star Lord goes, I think I peed a little bit. Like there was like real weight of like, oh shit, we're dealing some with something dangerous here. They blew up an entire fucking planet with a population of good, you know, animal people and kids, and they just go, they just. Breeze move pipe, move and yeah, move on. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Dude, there was so, there was so many fake outs in this. Fake outs with deaths. Drax. Oh no, Drax has been killed. But, oh no, he's not. No, he's but like, fine. dude, Nebula's been killed. But oh, when no, you have Nebula's real death, when you have real death, they yeah, just kind of breeze by it. There, nothing. There's no weight. Yeah, it's it's like when Asgard. Mean. It's like when Asgard got destroyed and they made a fucking joke about it yeah. in Ragnarok. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's, it's I that. didn't even know. Like I had to revisit in my mind. Like I was sitting there and I was like, wait, did that planet? Is, is it destroyed? Yeah. yeah. It, it was yeah it's, just, it's just molten you mass when they leave it. So damn, there was like all those nice families. What about the 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 vampire lady? Yeah, dead. he's just dead now. What the hell? Nobody cares. Yeah. Rotten in hell. I was like digging her too. Yeah, <laughs> wait, that's a question too. Rotten in hell. So, is there a heaven and hell in the Marvel universe? Because what was Rocket at? Yeah. What was that? That was like legit heaven. That was animal heaven. That, that wasn't was, like no, that he was, was dreaming heaven. that he was like that was legit. <laughs> yes, he was there. there. Well, in the platform, nine and, three heaven, quarters. platform you, nine and three quarters in Marvel yeah. Comics. Like, that's in, animal heaven where you're still mutilated in Marvel Comics. Yeah, I was like, there is. That too. So. Well, you gotta you gotta have the spider legs on the the bunny. Well, this boy you still gotta roll around in that wheelchair. You should have just had yeah. a bunny, and he yeah. should have had the roll. He should have had the otter just as a little. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, to be fair though, that part oh. fucked me up too, man. Oof. 
Oh, so I, you I, can come with I us. I leaked from but my eyes. eyes. Oh, Lynch, you are David Lynch, heaven. Oh, I'm good. When she was walking up in her little otter self. Yeah. And and we, so we will show I you such that was, delights. Oh my god. Leading, leading up to that, I was like, the emotional beats are feeling good. Like, oh, they got killed. Oh man, that sucks. It's pretty sad. But yeah, the whole heaven scene that was like a bridge too far for me. I was no, like, it me up, I get what you're doing. Like, you're trying to, like, little cute I didn't mind otters it. and stuff. I thought it was I got fine. a picture of what thought, you see when you go to fine. heaven. I got a picture. This is what you see when you go to heaven right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking Bon oh, oh, I'm halfway there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for our audio listeners, this is on a a prayer. Gary Bon Jovi uh, meme made by the Legion of Memers. And I got to say, it looks pretty fucking accurate. It looks yeah. pretty fucking accurate. It looks pretty good. Playing guitar. Oh. It's... Yeah. He looks pretty happy. Oh, he's he's looks stuff. good. He looks good singing. He, he looks he's happy singing Bad Medicine. I think he's going <laughs> to... Uh -oh. Is that how he died? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ninth circle of hell. That is what hell looks like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That is a there's, good an, there's another England thing Patreon right there that is a good new england Patreon. uh by the way elizabeth uh uh debicki uh plays the, the the leader of the sovereign a mom basically to to warlock mother that should have been galadriel she could get it she's six oh, foot yeah. three for um, one yeah, she been, that should have been galadriel yeah uh man from uncle she's in man from uncle. yep yep and she yep. has like a, a deep voice so it's kind of like she would have been imposing. great as galadriel yeah. but uh mm. you have not that, seen yeah. what i have seen sorry chris, chris what were you saying? Yeah. Uh, one, another thing worth noting is the villain high evolutionary yeah i thought he, he was, was great he was yeah. phenomenal yeah, I, I did like him yeah he was much actually a villain, more, which was awesome much more menacing than mm -hmm. Kang. what are they yes. doing with jonathan majors as Kang? This Not guy me. does a, such a much he's, better job. Dude, he's going to go around the world Chris, Chris, women across Chris, the face. This guy, this, hang, this hang on, guys. Hang on. I, hang, hang on. Chris, how's your face doing? It's still you good. Need to, is you, it you, distracting? You, you sound like you're talking like this now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're... <laughs> so you're, you're, you're slowly... You're slowly uh, uh, old. You sound uh, like... What? That face is this like is my, This is my cosplay. This is my, uh, it I is. I thought the High Evolutionary was one of the better villains we've gotten. Yeah. I mean, I, yes. I would have yeah. liked the to have had a little the more. Best but... one since Thanos. Yes. yes. I yeah. liked his motivation. It made sense for what he was mm -hmm. trying to do and why he was like losing it towards the end. He yeah. went over the top in a very entertaining way. I think yep. Jonathan Majors went over the top in a hammy Clowning, kind of cringe like way the clown right. school that he went like a, to the oh, clown dude. school he went to yeah so this yeah. guy this should have been kane yeah, he nailed you guys it. are well, moronic what'd you, if you, you have ryan guy. i was just gonna say he's he's just a fucking bad dude there's yes. nothing sympathetic about he's him. evil like, yeah. they're not trying to be like oh this is why he would do something like this it's not like with a female villain where it's always like oh she was wronged by a man and that's right. why yeah. she's really doing yeah he's just a bad fucking dude an yeah, evil guy piece of yeah. Shit. i like yeah that. he's I got like a god complex yeah. who couldn't handle yeah. the fact that his creation was smarter than him yeah, this was the on-screen version of Jonathan Majors in real life. That's what he was. Uh, oh so, uh, <laughs> no, he, he was really they, fucking good. He was a really yeah, he was really good. Really good. And they really peeled good. his face off. And then, oh, dude, oh, I was, was, was wondering if he was gonna be a white dude, man. And they I was just like, sat on that <laughs> shot. They just sat on the <laughs> shot. That was some gnarly <laughs> shit. Too. You know the lady got the face ripped off by the ape. Come on, man. Y'all yeah. know y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Really it's gonna be a white guy into that. He's fucking evil. He's, He's literally just... wearing blackface. <laughs> oh no! He was a white guy the whole time. Oh, He's fucking Jordan no, Peterson. Been for Disney. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a moment with the face, I thought he was supposed oh. to be Red Skull, like for a heartbeat. Oh, like, on the way his nose looked and everything. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what is? Then I'm glad that they, they, they didn't. Up. He was they, just they, fucked up. I'm glad they didn't kill him. I mean, he, he's. You know, we didn't see a body, he so he could there. still be out there yeah. and uh, like definitely bring him back and just forget well, Kang. <laughs> and that's yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a good. Bring him back without the face, you, yeah. the skin. Yeah. I want to see that red skull kind of look. Yeah, this is that was menacing of, and scary. This is the shit. type of comic book movie that we need to be back to of having honest discussions about why the film is good or bad based on the film and not all the bullshit involved yes. in it. Yeah. Exactly. This, is, this brings us back to that. it's not perfect in terms of like. It's not completely detached from the identity politics t in terms of the overall template, because Gary's got a great point about that in terms of you know, Adam Warlock, you know, why, why is he even in it? And, and a lot of that has to do with the overarching problem with Marvel, Disney in general. But in terms of specific to this film, the discussion is going to be centered around the film. 
and why we enjoyed certain aspects or didn't yep. enjoy certain aspects, which is what nerd and geekdom is all about. And 100%. that's why I like this type of shit. Instead of like I did, I had to watch this movie the whole time just going, what are they going to make the motivation yep. for him? Because yep. he's so fucking good so far. Please don't turn this into some bullshit. And they didn't. It just paid off. He just was a bad guy. Mm. And, and and that's all there was to it. And he was carrying a great performance, by the yeah. way. He was phenomenal. Yep. I don't know what yep. that guy's name is, but he was good. It was really Jonathan good. Majors. Yep. And that's John- <laughs> <laughs> it, Jeremy, that, that's a great point, too. Because mm. there's that one point. It's and it's fatigue, man. It's Chuck Wadi. Is there's, yeah. Chuck Wadi. There's this one point, Jeremy. And <clears throat> the the dude, uh, the, the the preferred purple black man, was telling his motivation, right? And he was like, Oh, I'm tr-, you know, was trying to make Earth in a perfect society without all the bigotry and it immediately star lord's <laughs> mm-hmm. like oh dude come on jesus yes, like, don't yes. Care. because the, of because of star lord's offsetting that comment it worked yeah. because i was it hoping works because of that yeah he threw the shit right back in his face like the female bathroom yes. like but, yes. but it didn't it didn't that didn't matter anyway because <laughs> we'd, already, we'd already seen the planet and the planet exactly. was suffering from the same exactly. issues yes. as yes. everything else so yes so him like saying that. without the bigotry you knew as the audience he was talking shit Yep. Yeah. So even yep. if Star Lord didn't sort of go back at him, you still don't know what he's full of shit because we've seen yeah, it. Yeah, we just yes, saw yeah. it outside. Mm-hmm. With meth. The mm-hmm. meth was there with uh, the meth cockroach. Dealer, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you really gonna tell me with a straight damn face if there was a cockroach race on Earth right now with us that we wouldn't be like, dude, get the fuck away from me? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think for a second though that no. James, James Gunn maybe added something with this villain? This villain's motivation is. He's trying to do good things because I'll just say this. I've experienced people that they're so nice to you and you know that their motivation motivations are not mm-hmm. pure. I'm talking yeah. about people, people I've met in Hollywood, right? Like mm-hmm. people who they, they're so nice to your face. They're so nice. They're trying to do a good thing, but uh, they're fucking assholes. So um, I don't know if there was a comment there. I just thought that was really cool you, that the, the high evolutionary is like motivation is I'm trying to do good, yeah. but, you know, inadvertently doing fucked up shit. If like, you want to go like even deeper than that, like animals and kids and shit. Yeah. Well, that, like, if like you want to go deeper than that, you can think like Fauci, like you, he's coming out and saying like, I want to do all this good and I want to protect the earth and all this stuff. But he's, he's experimenting on animals, little puppies and stuff. He's fine with people getting fired from their jobs, all these things. So it's, it's almost a commentary on that of, of these altruistic organizations and people that want to say that they're doing good when they're doing evil. So that's I find that's also an interesting point I was trying to make. Take that he like, has. Yeah, Fauci. This it's it's based on Fauci. Yeah. Well, look look at look at the look at the uh, the next breed because he's already you know he talks about the bigotry, but he's already ri- written that planet off. He's already written it off. Yeah, he's ready to. Uh, he got in reserve. He's got the the is it the Eloy from from the time machine? He's essentially got oh, the yeah. Eloy, this placid uh, race which just looks pretty much all the same, which will no doubt be reliant on him because they won't they won't be able to fend for themselves. They won't be able to do it. So so his his utopic society is essentially a, a, a nightmare of a society because. Mm. Uh, I think we, he's seeing we're seeing the reflection of H.G. Wells' time machine in that, and of course we we know what happens when you get the Eloy, you get them all. Right. Well, well and, and, and the time and, though, he, he's complaining that his creations lack that spark of creativity. Well, like well no, Fox. that's the whole point. It, yeah. Comics like he missed that Rocket was kind of his perfect, like this. Yes. Yeah. As horrible uh, things he did to Rocket, Rocket was able to improvise and was able to think yeah. on his own. But that's not what he, he just wants. Ultimately, he just wants total control, and when, when, especially at the end when he's like, "There is no God. That's why I stepped in." Yes, mm, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was a good line. line. That was yeah. good and line. a good performance. The way he delivered it was good too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you could easily go way over the top, and it would be corny. But he did it in an actually scary way. Like he stepped up in her face like that, and that's why I stepped in. Yeah, he sold it. And, and, and a lot of ways, it. what he makes a it. great villain is that they truly do believe that they are the hero of their own story, despite yes. the fact yes. that they are committing evil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yes. it, it doesn't need to be more complex than that, especially in a superhero film. They've tried, exactly. to, as as Ryan pointed out, that, that, God, how many times have we got misunderstood villain, bad daddy, yeah. uh, woman who was betrayed by man, who ultimately end up end up, you know, like in Black Widow, we had female Mengala who basically subjugated all the women, and she she was cool, man. She's gonna now hang out with all the hugs women. Hugs at she, the end. Hugs at the end. 
responsible for thousands of deaths. Uh, Wanda, you know, just enslaves men, women, and children in a town. Just gets let go by the oh, star of our next film. Wanda. By the star and of our then, next and film. Then, and then and she's the one who takes herself out in the next film. Yeah, yeah, because a guy can't take her out. And we can't have our main hero fighting the main villain in the movie because you don't want to have men and women. So, so they have America Chavez do it kind of by proxy. Uh, you, and, you have America Chavez convince Scarlet Witch that the only way this can happen is if she kills herself. Yeah. She's the only one powerful enough to stop herself. And this is, <laughs> and this, this is, this is uh, the, the political environment in Hollywood right now. So, so you have a bunch of writers who, who believe, like seriously believe, I know it sounds insane to this day. Oh, well, we can't show, uh, you know, if we're going to have a, a woman superhero and a man superhero, they can't fight. They can't fight because that would be violence against women. Remember and, the poster and for somehow X-Men this when, and yeah, somehow this mar- choked. and somehow this Marvel movie would be a proponent of violence against women if we just have two superheroes fighting each other. Yet men, yet women are equal to men, but we yeah, just can't have them fighting each other. Wrong with slapping a bitch? I don't understand. Like what? Who? Where we got this weird like belief? We can't show somebody getting like backhanded like once in a in while. In a superhero, oh, a lot of this started with the uh, Age of Ac- Apocalypse it. movie with that uh, poster of yeah. Apocalypse choking I, Mystique. Well, dude, it's, I mean, that goes way before thing. that. Uh, well, that's one, of, and nobody watched that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. True. Yeah. Well, that's more people were involved in that that drama than watch the movie. Yeah, that's one of my issues with like Cobra Kai. As much as I like it, like you've got these young girls just beating the hell out of these dudes, and the dudes never hit them back. Never. You know what I mean? And it's like. Like the don't fight at the Russo's house. The gentleman, you know Jeremy. I mean? The gentleman. So, yeah, That's exactly. Like, these girls are beating the shit out of them. Like, it's, it's so Because it's it's so they know what would happen if they did. That's <laughs> yes. the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, so, uh, rocked. so we yeah, finally got a male villain, right? Yeah. Because we don't get very many. Like, well, no more. But he, you know, that was fucked up. He wasn't a yeah. villain. But yeah, we had a sympathetic We had a real was... villain who was just evil. And, uh, wow, it worked. Yeah. Not redeemable. Like that, that's what we used to have in almost every movie was the villain was there was no reason. He was just suck ass. He was just a bad yes, yeah. dude. And there was no he didn't grow up being bullied or grow up uh, under a society that oppressed him. No, dude, he just hated people. And he was like, I'm a god, fuck off. And that was pretty that was great. And, yeah. and then you had your and then you would have your like Loki, you never know, once in a while thrown in there, who's like super complex and yeah. you know, you get rewarded with this kind of arc that he goes on, only for them to literally snap their fingers and erase that using time travel to start the Loki show, in which case we now have a Loki who never went through any of that change, just got a Cliff Notes version of his life we're supposed to buy it's the same character. You watched the montage. Shockingly enough, I never, I never thought Loki was actually a good villain. Anyway, um, really, I thought he, thought he was yeah, he a great never, villain. I, I, I listen. I love Tom Hiddleston and I love him in the role, but I'm saying as a villain, he, it's not like he has that, that feel like yeah. Ledger's Joker or Darth Vader. No, 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 I wouldn't yeah, say that. Well, like, Ledger's Joker is like next level. You can't like well, that's, that's, yeah. that's strategy. No, I get it. when he yeah. killed Coulson. So, well, I get, it, but it's like yeah. it's just the feel that, that there's always the there's the lightheartedness of the MCU that I think always felt that took away from from Loki's yeah. what what, what yeah. the the what fear saying. you would have in him. I never I, got that fear from him as a villain. Um, yeah. I think Loki's supposed to come off like he's pretending to be a little bit more than he is you know what i mean he has that like younger brother syndrome he has Mm. like he he has this fucking thing where he's trying to act bigger and more powerful and stronger and like he deserves more than he really does in reality yeah he also has daddy issues comes off that way yeah but in in avengers he was like legit he took over hawkeye like immediately like as just said he killed colson you know like he was that that was avengers is a damn good superhero movie like for For, for the MCU, what what comic books is a medium, right? So there's multiple genres within the medium, and that's what they were. That's what it was supposed to be. So you can have a fantasy film, a science fiction film, a noir film, all within superheroes. Like Avengers is a good superhero movie. Uh, Winter Soldier is a very good spy movie. Gar- Guardians mm. of the Galaxy is a great sci-fi movie. You know, and you that's that's how it started. That's why we like this shit in the first. Now it's a bunch of gobbledygook, whatever. You know, and th- that even affects this film. Like the effects are good, but there's still stuff that straight up looks volume to me. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few scenes. Th- there was some that they really set up well. So I think the nowhere was a great set. The Guardians base, like that whole set that they had there, I thought that was really well yeah. done. No- nowhere uh, didn't it look cut, as good. Then it would cut to a place as that it was did just in like the first. No, nowhere didn't look as good as it did in the first one though. 
just didn't. It didn't look as it, as expansive. Yeah, it looked like true. it looked yeah. to me like a studio. It looked to me like a like like a little part you go studio. off in the, in the, in the Disneyland and you're in you're in nowhere land. Nowhere. Yeah. Did Did you guys think that there was a uh, once a uh, self insert for James Gunn on a line? He's called his brother. No, 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 not that. Yeah. Not that. The uh, the everyone deserves plays two roles. Everyone, everyone deserves, deserves a second a chance. chance. I, I felt Ooh. like that was, was that gun being like, uh, yes, everybody yes. deserves a second chance. I felt that that was James uh, Gunn, uh, yes. you know, kind of. I, I didn't even think about, about that. I, I, that's no, I didn't think about that either, but that's that. a good point. I, that's the first thing I, I thought about when point. I heard that line. So I was like, eh, that seems a little on the nose, you know. So it worked. Yeah. Yeah. But. There you go. That's uh, I guess that's our our overall discussion of, you know. Why does Chris's makeup down? look better than Adam Warlock? Spider <laughs> <laughs> <It's fine laughs> makeup too. It's cheap great. effects. Oh, dude, his costume. The lighting is really good on that. That's it is. Good. His like uh, that is shiny. It, they really did just destroy an incredible Marvel character. Yep. Yeah. Like Adam yeah. Warlock. Yeah. Like a guy who they, they already useless. They already kind of fucked over because they didn't make him part of the arc that he should have been a part of. Right. But like that's in the past. Can't fake. You could still do something with him that's really cool. And it just should die. I thought he was smoking. gonna be a part of the third act. I thought he was gonna come back and be like, oh, after his mother died. Now I want to take out this guy too, so he's going to join up with the Guardians. But he kind of got he just pushed kept off getting really side. fucking angry and passing out. Yeah, like, it, was, yeah. it didn't make any <laughs> fucking <laughs> sense. I think it was because they wanted again. Like there was a lot of this that got cut, and I think he was probably involved in the third act, and they just wanted to focus on the main Guardians to have their little pieces, so they could have more time with them. So I it, get it, why it they did cannot, it. It just didn't make any sense. It, just cut his character out. It completely. cannot be yeah, under. Yeah. It cannot be undersold that they put more time and effort badly into Ironheart, fucking America Chavez, and uh, I'm blanking on the other one. And I don't care. Egyptian superhero than they did fucking I Adam. No, nobody knows oh, Adam, Warlock. Adam yeah. Warlock. Adam Warlock, a like a major player, like the second most important character in the Infinity Infinity Saga in the comics. And, and you know, it's it's bad enough that you 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 they have Silver Surfer too, and they're not going to do anything with him until later. And oh, I can't wait to hear. No, the they fantastic should get Silver forecast. Surfer and Adam Warlock together, but like silver and gold. Oh, God. oh. that sounds super gay. <laughs> I mean, can fucking do that. Just Don't give him ideas. <laughs> He's not wrong. I mean, considering right. considering Group got in a Dodge Charger and said it's all about family at the he end did. of the <laughs> 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 He did. Hey, he did say so, he did say something at the end. He did. He, he did. did say yeah. He finally said. He did. Something. He did. It, he actually said, "My name's Vin Diesel, and I'm secretly gay." <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what Groot said at the end. I don't think it's a okay, secret. I thought it was a departure from the character, but you know. Oh, I thought I thought that was. Crazy. He might think it's a secret. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like. I didn't like the him saying anything. It didn't have the same it's hit that of, I that we are Groot. We did. are Groot. Well, yeah. and I didn't I like totally how Groot agree. looked. It didn't have the same emotional. Groot hit Groot looked yet. better in the first movie. He, he looks. Yeah, looks yeah weird. 100. Weird. He looks really, like, really weird in this. He kind of looks like he's looks got fat. a little Vin Diesel. He's got yeah. a little Vin Diesel in his face. Like I'm saying, like it looks like they they put Vin Diesel mocap on on him a little bit. Maybe. Like, I don't know if that's. But I was he looking got at a little face. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Uh, <laughs> go see it. But it looks like a oh, lot no. of you aren't. So you. Yeah. And and you a know, lot of you I, aren't you because wait. of the you overall to damage to the Marvel that. brand that they did to themselves. I, I'd like to put context on it because uh, you know when I say uh, I do. I do really like this movie a lot, but I still kind of really hope it fails. But it's it's not because of the specific movie. It's because Marvel has hurt the overall brand so bad that something like this, a really good movie in my opinion, and I know everybody doesn't agree with that, but you you you're not getting anywhere if this succeeds. It's just going to be more of the same. Like this movie needs to underperform, and then of course the Marvels is going to be a fucking train wreck. And at that point, that's five. Is that, am I right? Five straight movies from Marvel. That yep. have that have either lost or underperformed, and yes. and I know the Eternal saved many lives. It did many lives, but it lost money too. And if, if this movie doesn't end up doing big numbers, Marvel has to hit. The Marvel is in serious, serious trouble. They already yeah. are in serious trouble. And, but, and, oh, yeah. Like you said, if it needs to fail, and the reason is is because if it for some reason did succeed, 
you know, Marvel, they're, oh, they're going to be like, oh, DC, we're fine. We can just double down and do whatever the fuck we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, they need to be like, ah, right, we we suck ass. We need to make some changes now. Because I saw that trailer. I saw, you know what I'm talking about. Or, oh, we're on a team. Dude, every joke in that trailer made my asshole pucker, like, in a bad way. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, uh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, we have a very emotive asshole. Come oh, on. God. Yeah, dude. It was, <laughs> it was crying. It was, you know. <laughs> Marvels or whatever the hell it's called. God, what an awful... Jesus. It, it looks really it bad. Looks bad. It looks, it looks I said really in my bad. review, well, I, you know, not fussed on this film at all, but this is the best film since the end game, since Endgame, and I'm not counting Spider-Man because that's Sony. that's what I was about to say. I was like, is this it? is okay. this is the this is the best thing that they've done since then. But to me, this was as middle of the road as five out of fucking ten as you can get. Yeah, it's not a good and that, sign. To me, just says what a fucking mess Marvel are in right now because mm-hmm. there's no. To me, there's, there hasn't been a Winter Soldier film. Uh, you know, I'm trying to not to bring the Avengers ones because they're the big ones. There hasn't been a, a, an Iron Man. There hasn't been a, a, a Winter Soldier. You know, there hasn't been that level, that quality of film that you can get immersed with a different theme. Iron Man's a superhero movie all the way through. Winter Soldier is espionage. It's great. It's spies, and it mixes the superhero genre with the spy genre, and it does it very well indeed. You, you, and you can really get invested in, in, in that. There hasn't been another one since. There no, really hasn't. hasn't. And 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 uh, the the big problem they have is they ain't got a team. They've got no Avengers. None. They've got nobody that's going to come together. There's none of these characters of these movies from Phase 4 and Phase 5 that have come together and we're going to go, fuck yeah, there we go. Go get them. No, it's going to be a bunch of failed, miserable preachy self-absorbed narcissistical fucking nasty little fuckers that none of us care about yep. we don't care about them as a character we don't care about them as a person we don't care about their struggle and fake struggle we don't care that they got fucking amazon some bracelets to be a superhero we don't get a fu- we don't care that they're, they're a sarky fucking space bitch nobody cares but when they came together for the avengers iron man captain america thor scarlet uh black widow scarlet Johan. we fucking we were ready for them to rock yep rock yeah. oh when the I'm avengers came out to tank. the oh, avengers rock. like hit every note perfect it it built everything up even though uh like the i i like all of phase one except for incredible hulk which is mid but still better than the shit we get now and it hit every <laughs> yeah. mark it was supposed to hit and you're absolutely right they, they have pushed all these characters. They've had nothing that stuck at all. Like, is anybody going to get excited about uh, Black Falcon, Captain America, Ca- uh, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Shang-Chi nope. on a team? No. Nope. No. I mean, well, I, and that was the thing. I'll personally be excited. Did you just, did you just, did you just announce that, Team Nerdrotic? Did you just announce Team Nerdrotic? I did. With that? I, I did. Okay, sorry, go ahead, comics. No, no, I was saying, I remember, they were going to make Captain Marvel the leader of the Avengers, and obviously because that, huh. hey, that character went over like a fucking lead balloon, and the fact that Brie Larson is just annoying and people obviously do not like her, they had to axe that plan, and I, I think at this point, they have no plan. They are just scrambling well, they, to make they, fucking content. Comics, they didn't have a plan. They they you haven't had a plan for since for the last two phases, and, yeah, and, and guess and what's coming up? Guess what's coming up next? The How Marvels. How much did Guardians have to do with the uh, Phase 5? Nothing. None. Zero. None. None. It wasn't supposed to be in phase five for one. Know, but, no. but that's just the point. That's yeah. just the point. This is a fucking mess. This is a mess of movies that okay. are put out. So this movie is already gorgeous. underperforming, right? So Marvel's having performance issues. Uh, how bad do you I think the Mar- how bad do you think the Marvels is gonna do? It's like <sighs> if if this thing ends up like uh, oh. like petering out at uh I don't know, like I don't think it this I still think it could do good, but like say it say it peters out at six hundred Six hundred fifty million, mm-hmm. like the Marvels. Struggle to break. The Marvels here. is in danger of getting a four hundred million. Dude, Disney's worldwide. gonna go in there and buy out all those damn seats, bro. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. So I find this interesting. So I'm looking for articles on Google. If you if you search Google for, uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy box office, you find uh, you know a lot of favorable like a blast off to the it's, best it's, franchise. And then I see the this same one. thing. They're talking about the comparison between. This Thursday to its Thursday opening in 2017, right. not really telling you that, oh, by the way, it's more matched up to Ant-Man of the Wasp Quantumania and is over $10 million mm-hmm. behind Thor Love and Thunder opening in Wakanda. So this, yeah, this the headline says years. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 blast off with less money than the last movie. But when you click on it, <laughs> Jesus. the headline is completely different. 
Now, the reason was because last night it looked like it was tracking for a $16 million, which would have been less than the Thursday opening. You know that's, what the budget what the of this movie is, is don't you? And when you change the headline, the metadata will keep the old one. The metadata doesn't change. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't this, change. Yeah. This, is a, this is a $250 million movie. Yes. Yep. Yes, that's it is. That's its budget. That's Guardians 3's budget. Yeah, so that's got to hit. That's got to hit someone in the region of six fifty seven million, seven hundred million to break even. Probably yeah. seven hundred fifty million with the amount of marketing that's yeah, yeah. in this movie. To be honest with you, good luck. And, and so even if it matched up with Guardians two, which is one hundred and forty five ish million dollars opening weekend at the box office, that would still mean it would have to match up with its fall, which had a fifty five percent drop, mm. which it's probably not going to do that. I don't think it'll be a 70% like Ant-Man, but I don't think it's going to be anything less than 60%. Yeah, 60. And you also have to factor in $100 million in China. That's what Guardians of the Galaxy 2 made. I don't see this movie doing that. It might make 30 or 40, but $100 million in China in this Chinese box office, that's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So now you start to wonder, even if it does open the same, even if it did do exactly the same here domestically as Guardians 2 did, it still would struggle to get to 750. Is this a bad time to bring up inflation? Because uh, if you adjust, if you adjust for inflation, it didn't do better than the previous film. I mean, we're talking five hundred thousand dollars better than the one in two thousand seventeen. So yeah. that's that's bad. So yes, technically, it's a franchise record without all the caveats that actually matter: ticket sales, uh, it, more shows on Thursday than there were, you know, God, how long has it been? 2017? Six Dude, years. That's the biggest thing. Years. Thursday previews are so much different now than they were six years ago. Thursday yeah. previews now start at like noon. Where yeah. it used to be, it was only like real late shows. You go to a real late Thursday showing. Yeah. It wasn't in every theater. Now it's a mass, huge release of half an entire Thursday. So it's just not the, it's not, for it's instance. It's not the same. Yeah, Black it really Panther, is apples and oranges at this point. Black Panther, which came out, in 2018 and had one of the biggest domestic box offices we've ever seen from any movie in history that had a 25 million dollar thursday preview mm -hmm. thor love and thunder had a 29 million dollar thursday preview a couple years later it's just different mm. yep damn so uh i guess we'll find out uh, it was projected as low as 105 million. It'd probably do better than that, you think? And maybe they meant to do that to say, "Hey, we beat projections." It's all a, f a freaking game, but we'll see how that second week drop off is. And I don't know if this is going to get a lot of repeat viewing because it's not the most joyful, fun yep. uh, movie. And I'm I'm actually okay with that. I'm I'm mm -hmm. fine with them dialing back the humor. And there was still plenty of it, and uh, not all of it landed. I don't think all of it landed in my opinion. My normie friend, my normie yeah. friend said, uh, he said, I'm never going to watch that movie again. Yeah. Yeah. And no, it I probably won't either. I liked it, but I probably won't watch it ever again. I agree. That was a great, that's, that's a not great in the way. way. Because watch, watch they're, more. they're starting to lose the normies. Once Disney Marvel, once they lose the normies, which is why they were blasting off a couple years ago, right? With Avengers and everybody was just going ham. Once they start losing the normies, Dude, that shit's over. Yep. We'll never see that shit again. Because the normies are what, like, you know, that's why Call of Duty was so successful for, so, for such a long time. Because normies yep. are like, fucking buy it. Black Ops 2, let's do this. Now, yeah. normies, they lost the normies. Like, ah, well, we, they're losing them fast. Look, look, what, what, so normal people don't, they don't have time to invest in all yeah. this stuff and follow all yeah. this stuff. So they're like, if it's not good when I show up, I'm not going to keep showing up. I, I have other things to do. I have, I have yeah. other things I can invest my time in. Yep, it, it's oh, kind of funny because the my, my biggest complaint about Guardians 2 was that they leaned a little bit too much into the jokes, that they leaned yeah. too much into the humor, that they undercut a lot of the emotional stakes and weighed. Anytime you had a moment that they could sit there and hold, they'd undercut it with a joke. And I feel like a hypocrite because this movie, I feel the opposite way. This movie, I feel like there was it, it wasn't lighthearted enough. It was <laughs> too heavy. It didn't feel like a Guardians movie. And I, um, even though I kind of like those movies more, and I think it was competently made, I think it was, I, I think it was a very solid movie. It just didn't resonate with me a lot. Well, I, I think uh, to kind of we talked about this earlier, me and you, Ryan, on uh, daily about 
uh, Andor and how no one watched Andor. I, I watched like three episodes. A lot of people said they liked Andor or whatever. And Ryan made the point, if Andor is the best thing Disney Star Wars had, then Disney Star Wars was yeah, fucked. Yeah, they're screwed. And because Andor is something that a lot of people seem to enjoy. And if Disney Star Wars was operating in the place that it needed to operate and having the good films and the good characters and taking care of the, the tentpole movies, then Andor was something that could complement it. With Guardians, this movie being darker in tone, if the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe was operating the way it should have been, building other stories and building other characters, then a darker Guardians movie would have fit better within where we're at. But because the MCU is completely fucked everywhere else, now the one good film or the enjoyable film that you have is just darker in tone Dude, and, and really doesn't connect with people. We have been saying this for a long time. You don't... You, like. Your audience isn't you can't recycle your audience. Once you lose them, you lose yep, them. They're gone. Doctor Who's about to find that out. Mm -hmm. Even even with Star Trek Picard, as much as we like season 3, that that ain't bringing everybody back. It, it, uh, quite the opposite. It might have been their swan song, but it's it, it's still too late. There was too much damage done, and that's just in quality uh, of what they produced. That's not counting all the bullshit that they've talked about with the fans that the access media played part on, played part in with uh, dividing all the fans. Uh, you're never getting those people back. They're done. It's, very, dude, it's a very simple equation. Like, yep. Let's say you take your favorite your favorite game store, Gary. You go in that bitch. And for, for whatever reason. I am a gamer. Yeah. yeah <laughs> for whatever reason, okay. Let's say comic book store. Let's say the owner starts being a dick ass to you. And he does it, and he does it six times in a row. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go to the one across town. You're not going to go there anymore, and yeah. you're going to even hear about a year later how it changed ownership. And now that guy's not there, you're still not going to go there anymore. Now mm -hmm. you, you're going to be a, you lost. You can't gain those people back. Yeah. You that when you have customers for life, you do everything you can to nurture them. But for some reason, when it comes to this medium, they do everything they can to shit on their customers they have for life. I don't, and I've never understood that strategy. They've Coming always... from a sales background, one thing we were always taught in sales from day one is. It's really hard to gain a customer, but it's damn easy to lose one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Something yeah, like it's ten times, times something like ten times more. Have. Yeah, something like ten times more cost effective to keep uh, an existing customer than try to find another one. Right. Yes. Swallow a little pride if you have to, and not yep. all the time, but like yeah. still treat people with respect. I see uh, the black saw it. It's called customer did. service, Gary. We they don't do this no more. No, no. Well, that's yeah, what that's the comp, it's, it's that's, considered that's, to be racist that's now. That's what the com, that's what the comic book industry found out. Like there was a creator. I used to sing his praises all the time in my store. Garth Ennis. I was a huge Garth Ennis fan. I freaking loved uh, Preacher. Uh, his fr uh, you know welcome back Frank. Uh, then I found out through a friend exactly how what he thought of comic book fans. He called them mouth breathers. I never talked about the guy again. Still sold his books and yeah. stuff, but I never sung his praises. I'm like, I'm fucking done with this dude. Fuck you. Yep. Uh, yep. And that's a lot of people in Hollywood. Chris, you can attest to this. Have a very adversarial relationship with the fans. They they look down at them. They think they're simpletons. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of these and straight up idiots in Hollywood, like uneducated idiots, think they're smarter because they got a little fame. Their name was in the credit somewhere and they they straight up think they're better than you, even though they, you know, now they're out there complaining that they can't pay their fucking rent uh, when they could work this, you know, through COVID and everything. They had plenty of time to work all this shit out. But that's part of it. And the access media is worse. The media is fucking worse. They hate the people they depend on. And and it the mask came off over the last five years. It's been a shitty business model. There's been a lot of extra money floating around that's been propping it up falsely. Very false sense of security that's now gone. The net is gone, and we're seeing the repercussions of that. And Marvel fucked their brand. The two brands. Disney has fucked two brands. Yep. Star Wars and Marvel. Two very strong yep. brands that better people built, uh, that were built by fandom. By people loving these characters, and they just thought, oh, you well, know, their they're... own brand too. Yeah. yeah, they fucked their own brand with people that love the cartoons that they produced for years, and they're now they're remaking them in a very cynical, bland, gray landscape. And uh, even those people are, and like, they're even remaking Moana, and that shit means a lot to me. What the? Fuck? Okay, Don't you are you. Wait, wait, I need to hear this because you're the only one. <laughs> what? 
Hey, I watched why does it Moana mean, a lot. What, what, why does it mean to you on a personal level? Like, where? How did it connect? I don't know, man. So, like, when I when I was were you to high? Or? Yeah, no, I, <laughs> Camelot. I got news for you. I got news. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Jeremy, I would be sitting at the register during Christmas, and there'd be shoulder to shoulder traffic, and I would have Moana playing on the tablet, the GameStop tablet. And I do like, like I do like, I do want to get in the ocean. Moana's, Moana's a good Disney movie. movie ever. Yeah. And guess what? They they created new characters that were based in this ethnicity yeah. and created a story around it. They didn't just make the white characters black and be like, ah, eat my ass. No, it was just, yeah. they were, you know, the, from that culture and they made it great. And they did the same shit with Coco with a Mexican. God, it was amazing. Coco was great. Coco's I've never really watched a good time. It's, that's for girls. We are past that now. No, it's not, uh, it's Ryan. It's, for, it's still real to me, damn it. Disney, <laughs> Disney's for girls. Disney's a girl it's brand. Totally good. DJ yeah. Max versus Disney special effects. Check this out. We're sharing my screen there. Larry, Good there one. We did. Look at that. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. I can't tell them apart. I can literally not tell them apart. <laughs> tell who apart. Ah, that right? looks like two pictures of, of Will Poulter. It's, it's the, yeah, it's the same picture. It's yeah, same, picture. same. By the way, he was supposed to, he was supposed to, he was supposed to play Elrond. In in Rings of Power, and yep. he he would have been a good Elrond. He he looks he like really? a young yeah. I, I don't blame because Jeremy asked me this about Will Poulter. Do you think he could pull off Adam Warlock? Was I I, I honestly don't know. Don't, I have yeah, no right, idea whether right. he could or not because what he was asked to do is nothing. Like you can't blame him for what just happened in this movie. Oh, it must have been no, easy no, money no. for I, him. I wasn't thrilled with the <laughs> casting, but uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, he's not a bad actor. Just uh, I wasn't thrilled with him being in this role. I've never but. seen him really get to stretch his legs as an actor. <laughs> I I've seen him in very kind of small. Anything. He's in like the Maze roles. Runner movies or some yeah. shit. Yeah, he, I've um, seen him in yeah. small roles. He was in and a, I think he's done yeah. really a well. Black Mirror episode, right? Don't get, don't get yeah. down, yeah. don't get down, folks. Ray Skywalker's here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> you see the marketing? You see the marketing for that shit? They're like, they even put in the marketing, uh, we will see Ray struggle with, with her building of the new Jedi. I'm like, you even put struggle in there because we know she ain't going to. Right. We actually don't struggle. No, bitch, that's she, that's them oh. listening to the criticism. Like, you know. Oh, bitch. So yeah. you, mean, you mean the storyline that we wanted to see from Luke? Yeah. That's what you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like Rick, she should right. yeah, we remember, should kill her immediately. Remember right now. when I wonder if she's gonna try and kill a youngling because she just had you know she had a bad had a, dream. Had a weird so I, I'm it. guessing <laughs> I'm guessing when the sequel trilogy is not gonna be erased at this point. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Man. I don't know. Yeah, Dave Filoni. Yeah, Dave working, Filoni's yeah, working it's on a it. Civil War, Gary. Come on. Yeah. I'm just hundred percent just checking. Happening. Dave Filoni. He's just so deep in the in the well, enemy, enemy lines. He's like Favreau teaming up, right? And That's now all of a sudden yeah. we hear that Favreau's probably, you know, on the outs in the next the year or two. <laughs> Filoni gets his own movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I, yeah, I know. Now that I, Filoni no, has all yeah. the power. What I heard was uh, Filoni, all. like, uh, they, they did write season four and, and uh, Favreau's going to, like, have his name on and stuff, but he's he's out. He's done. Yeah, he it's said he already wrote a... season four. Yep. And I think it's probably a lot of repurp. to be honest. I think season four of The Mandalorian is going to be a lot of repurposed uh, Cara Dune show. Yeah. Because it sounds like Mando's gonna fly around with that fat Asian X Wing own... pilot and like who Rose Tico? <laughs> yeah, no. uh, oh, I don't even know his fucking name. I don't know the Dude, name. Of I don't know his name. I'm out Trapper Wolf. Is it something like Koku <laughs> Bidu? Is that not <laughs> old now? Oh <laughs> man! Uh, <laughs> hey, Keep up. Chris. <laughs> You have a pretty fucking good documentary out there. Yes, you he want does. To talk about yes, it a does. little bit. Thank you. It's, yes. There it is. Yes. Can you talk? <laughs> yeah, no, I can talk. I can talk. Uh, no, yeah. But I, first of all, I'm kind of surprised because we have over a hundred audience reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. It's 99. percent wow. Nice. I didn't expect that. So, um, I think we have so we have to get like one more critics review, and we'll have a critic review rating. It'll be fresh even if we get a bad review. So I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. And I've been getting a lot of reaction from people that, you know, have confessed that they got emotional kind of remembering that time. I did. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so I, I don't know. I, when you want, when you work on a movie for a couple of years and you've seen it like a hundred times, I have no idea if people are going to like it. So uh, I'm so thank you. And thank you to everyone, you know, in the audience who bought it or rented rented it so thanks although i am caught up on something camelot said earlier 
He used a term I'd never heard before, dick ass. What is a dick ass? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it, it's, it's, dick ass. it's an dick ass made for a dick. San Francisco, you'll find yeah. out. <laughs> what is a dick ass? <laughs> I, I can't get that out of my head now. Dick Maybe it's a prison wow. term. It's, it's, it, when, uh, it's mm. when your farts don't make noises anymore. So Attack oh, no. of the Dock anyway, ava no. available on all of these places. Look at that. Even on YouTube, here on YouTube. Spotify? Ooh, I got on YouTube. No, Spotify, Spotify is the soundtrack. Because there's, 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 there's songs that we cut from the movie that are pretty funny and it's just i wanted people to be able to hear it so it's free on spotify if you have it so look at that cool no thanks for the plug i'm uh, you know uh all right back to dick ass it, I, it has nothing <laughs> hey, this has ass. nothing well, it has uh, nothing uh, to do uh, with uh, uh, us being in the at the end of the film that has uh, nothing and the gift bag yeah, that no, we no, got nothing nothing at, nothing not at all, at all. Yeah. I've but it, we're, we're not it's the only awesome. ones. There's a lot of there's a lot of content creators. But I, I loved it. I loved the documentary. Thank Chris you. did a great job. I really want Chris to do like a a people versus George Lucas sequel with the people versus oh, Kathleen God, yes. Kennedy. Yes. Um, yes, that's what I want Chris to do next. Oh so, yes, that's what yeah. I want Chris to do next. Uh, well, you're kind of you're kind of doing that with uh, Star Wars on trial on yeah, your channel. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if you, yeah. So we launched this week. We just read the charges, and I had like actual attorneys reaching out to me saying you know you're making a lot of mistakes look my experience in anything courtroom is on tv or an old snl sketch gary you probably remember caveman lawyer caveman so i'm just a frightened <laughs> i don't know <laughs> your ways mm -hmm. uh actually chris i have a lot of experience in courts so hey. i can help you out oh, oh, there you go. I, i've been in more courtrooms than uh -huh. nick ricada <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're running it like a real courtroom and you know if anyone from fnt would like to be a part of the show we have prosecution defense counsel we have a sketch artist a courtroom sketch artist it's every Dude, wednesday at 1 p.m can i talk so, about yeah. the biggest cinematic mistake in history can i make oh, that I know my argument it is. yeah i know what he's gonna say yeah. yeah like not putting han luke and leia in a scene together it's simple one scene, oh, but geez. like Jesus Christ, it's yep. the dumbest move yeah. in the history of film. Uh, and uh, yeah. I love that meme that's going around uh, that, that shows, uh, you know, uh, Lando and, and, and Luke smiling they're at the back. And they're all yeah. together. And then there's the, the, the crew of the Enterprise D just all on there. Is, the is JJ there. still doing this DC shit? Like, what's going on with all that? James Gunn addressed that. Um, he addressed that in a question because somebody asked him about the... J.J. Abrams, Ta-Nehisi Coates, Black Superman, woke bullshit. And <laughs> he he didn't say it's done, but he said, listen, the, all that stuff's going to exist, you know, outside of what we're doing with the DCU. That would be a standalone thing. It's going to be the really Ryan like, Johnson trilogy. So it's not going to happen. Didn't he say uh, it's if, not gonna happen. If, if it gets done, it would be. I think so, yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't think it's not happening. happening. I don't think that we are. Happen. We are. So 2019 was a rise of Skywalker. That's the last JJ Abrams directed film. Correct. Yeah. Even this one, he's not directing. Right. Right. Yeah. No, not, that's what I'm saying. Because I, I like as part of the report, because he's not black, he's not, he doesn't feel comfortable directing oh, it. God, what a oh, yeah. Bitch. And because Ta-Nehisi Coates is a giant activist, they're afraid to fire him. That's the only reason they're yeah. worried. Uh, th that he'll like uh, go on the Atlantic. You say and, activist. I'm, I say racist. Uh, racist. Yeah, yeah. He's Let's a racist activist uh, who call, who actually criticized 9/11 responders, first responders, uh, mm -hmm. called them out for them being racist or something. Like Smi that. Smiled. Something when they got retarded. Killed. He said something retarded. Yeah, the guy writes mm -hmm. shitty comics and he'll write a shitty movie. And if uh, if it does come out, I mean, shit. He awesome. He did make Jordan Peterson the fucking fortune. With red lobster, with their lobster, you know, hail lobster. Oh yeah, so. uh, I'm curious if JJ is kind of in an M Night Shyamalan position from years ago, where he's just he's done so much damage to his name that it, it, not a lot. Obviously, he still has far more relevancy than M Night did when M Night had just disaster after disaster. But I don't think JJ's name carries the weight that that a lot of people have oh, the perception no. anymore. Oh no, hundred percent after Star Wars, no. He I just no. He just took his own advice. No more white comfort. No more white comfort. <laughs> well, no. And he's now they, he's, okay, he's actually find in what that they call tweet, director's Garrett. jail. Oh, sorry. 
No, no, Sorry. keep going. I just wanted Garrett oh. to find a tweet that he put out in support of the strike that we're going to discuss. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Oh, so, God, so that tweet was um, stupid. Generally, when a director has a financial bomb, they go in what they call, you can look this up, director jail, which is you basically don't get to make a movie for a while. Maybe you go off and do some small indie movie. JJ's incapable of that. He doesn't know. He didn't come from indie, right? Oh, shit. Speaking of white comfort. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you have pizza cam? It, do you have pizza cam, boy? All right, like, no, like, we, we will get back to that subject. We that is not enough pineapple. Wait, 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 okay. So let me, first of all, let, let's, before we get back to that subject, because we're going to get back to Jar Jar, I'm not going to let that motherfucking go. We have some business to take care of. We got some business to take care of. Jeremy, I'm going to throw it to you. Have you recognized the power of Mario, young man? Have you recognized the power of Mario, young man? Yes. Have you recognized the power of Nintendo? What are you like, Roman Reigns asking have me to you acknowledge you? Mario. Odin, it's time to take your medicine. Yeah, it's time to take your medicine. Nice. I'm have you so ever seen so, for this? So, hey, Jeremy, have you ever seen Beer Fest? Yes, I have not. I have Beer Fest is a great movie. I'm familiar. Okay, you've seen Beer Fest, Gary? Yeah. So you'll understand this this reference. Lahayim. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, oh, you yeah. Get in there! Oh, now you're one of them, no, Odin. He loves it. You can tell uh, in his face he's actually oh, yeah. fucked. This is good. For, the, oh, yeah. for those of you, uh, yeah. for those of you listening at home, I'll give you a play. Trust me, guys. I think if there's strategy involved for him to like fold it up so no part yeah, of his so tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next oh, one, I want to see full tongue. Okay, okay. Okay. Believe me, it's touching it. It's disgusting. I want to flick his face. You get. You better tell me there's more than one. One piece of pizza because you ain't just oh, eating. No, no, no. Oh, he's got a whole the, pizza. The, 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 was, he's got four. He's got four. The agreement was eating pineapple on pizza, and this is eating pineapple. Four. No, 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 no. no. It was the whole fucking pizza. No, it was not the whole pizza. It was four. It was four. It was not the whole pizza. It was four slices. It was not I distinctly slices. remember us having this argument. It was not four. And you. Hang on. By yeah, evidence of your own photo, it you was have four, four slices. slices. Yeah, you Sorry. know who ate the other three? Oh, As will get that. You know who ate the other three? <laughs> cheater, yes. Cheater. Baby, baby Thor. <laughs> oh, you. Cheater, it's not going to get you out either. of it. You can order another one. For those of you no, listening no, 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 at no. home, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Odin is pizza. eating pineapple pizza right it's now. Gross. Uh, he he will consume. Uh, he's trying to get out of this. He's, he has, only has one piece. But ladies and gentlemen, we will. I will order yep. him a pineapple pizza so he can eat. Hey. Three yeah. more pieces, and it will remain uneaten because that was not the deal. No, no dude, you gotta come no, on. Somebody, okay, look, somebody go back. Some garlic sauce. Pray I don't to change it, it further. No, you can't you mask some... it with garlic sauce because there was. Yeah, now you're putting garlic sauce on it. What the <laughs> fuck? I can't. I can't imagine whiffing on a bet oh, that suffering. fucking badly and then not even really own up to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, eating, eating, man, I'm, I'm literally eating, eating pineapple on pizza. This is the, I, I just Swine. dropped. That, I just dropped sad, the link. Man. I just dropped the link in the chat from from when all this happened. Somewhere in hour three is where the discussion about four slices started. Uh, but I can't listen to that and hear this I'm panel show, at the same time. Show so. transcript. Control F. Control that. F. So That's why we have quarter black Garrett here. Right. Oh. I mean, except Somewhere when except when guys whip their dicks stream. out. But you know. <laughs> Well, hey, There's man, always I had that. Be... Yeah, that, that was the first thing. There, there was never a three hours. So, yeah, apparently, so did so did Gavin. So uh, oh that was God. a good joke. I'm gonna give myself a poof right there. Um, oh. Chat, I, I uh, uh, X-ray girl, are you live? Yeah. I think we should have a poll. Don't you think this calls for a poll? Don't... What kind of poll well, would you like? Well, I... <laughs> oh, it's gonna get. Clipped. <laughs> I heard about uh, what was it called? A dick something poll? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't wear man buns and like Bon Jovi. I'm not gay. So uh, what? I need a poll. We got to give it to the people. Should no. should Odin eat three more pieces of pizza? Uh, pineapple pizza? No, I'm, I'm not eating. I'm not eating any more. Well, here's the thing. Because, because I think we in the chat. I, no, I think we did this. Didn't we like do a poll and someone was like a whole pizza and I was like no. Yeah, that's 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 insane. That's too much to ask somebody to eat an entire fucking pizza. You had to do it, so it's actually a punishment, not just one piece. But it was more significant than that, so it was like four. It was literally oh. eat pineapple on pizza. That was eating pineapple on yeah, pizza. Yeah, I did. I distinctly remember this, and I didn't even watch this shit. There you go. So I, that's all. Yeah. I'm, listen, I'm not going to lose my bet, but in some reality, if CERN gets turned on and I do lose my bet with Dan Vask, I'm gonna I'm. 
going to go for it. I'm going to to be fair. And I don't know like God. what all was actually fine finalized and agreed upon, but I don't think there was during... ever like a finalized. So, it was always so, just eating. There was a pieces. finalized as you said, Mario wasn't hitting a billion in a very arrogant way. That was finalized. Oh gosh. Are you don't, don't, my... uh, please don't bring up the switch Gary, again. Gary, please don't bring Gary, up the switch Gary, again. Gary I bring up the switch. Gary... Gary the best-selling up... system of all time. But it's not. It's, the, it's third right now. So yeah. just so you know, to get your facts straight. Um, but Gary said... Oh, the people have Ogre... spoken. Oh, Gary's going to believe the polls now when they say overwhelmingly Listen. they don't like pineapple on Listen. pizza. I yeah. never said I... Shut up. I'm trying to throw Gary under the bus, too. Okay, in that discussion where the four slices was discussed, Gary also did agree that if you ate the four slices without throwing up, he would eat Vegemite. That was in the conversation. So I didn't, I didn't remember find that. the specifics <laughs> yeah. of the bet, but I did find yeah. this audio clip, and I find it pretty funny. I'll eat Vegemite. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play this. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Much. <laughs> also, uh, since you're bringing it up, do you th still think that Mario's going to make a billion dollars? A hundred percent. <laughs> oh, that was the offending comment made by Odin himself. I rest my case. <laughs> and I just ate pineapple on pizza. So <laughs> I'll, I'll try some up. Vegemite. I don't need to bet. I'll try it. Gosh. Yeah, I want to try it. I'll try it. I'm going to tell you right now, you do not want to try it. I'm just. <laughs> I'll, you know what? If there it'll make somebody laugh, it'll put a smile on somebody's as face. As disgusting as that was, at, Vegemite will literally make you throw up. At my expense, then fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, gosh. There are. Oh, All right. Well, weeks. I, I, weeks. I am, weeks. Oh, I am very disappointed. I am very, very disappointed, Odin, that you only ate one. Piece oh, God. Yeah, that I had just one slice of disgusting pizza. I don't even like pineapple individually. <laughs> That's the whole point. You lost the bet, dude. Yeah. yeah exactly. You which is why I just ate the pizza, comics. No, no, you didn't eat the pizza. You ate one pizza. I literally ate, ate the pizza. You ate a slice, not a pizza. Yes. And you know, pizza is used to describe a whole pie and also individual I, slice of pizza. I, I, chat, yeah. I agree. I it's you're pathetic. You're trying to rules lawyer your it's way pathetic. out of this, buddy. No, no, no. It's Y'all are just being enjoying ass hats. Enjoying this so much. Yes, we're ass hats. We're not yeah. consistent. What are you? You're not new here. You've been here since the beginning, dude. <laughs> if you can't man up to the consequences, don't make the bet. That's right. <laughs> that is right. Coach. Right. Oh man. Oh uh, no. Garrett. You Yo. got something to show us, don't you? I do have something to show you. So now last that, week, now, now uh, that Odin's like disappointed everyone, yeah, now that Odin has <laughs> disappointed everybody with not eating enough pizza, pineapple <laughs> on it, uh, I am doing a show with the great Dave Landau called Normal World. I announced it a couple weeks ago on here, and it's going to be coming out at the end of the month. And I have a clip to show you. We I'd have like our first. Our first uh, sketch Is it the here. one with Oh, e lucky for you, you already there. moved your family there, Garrett. Otherwise, oh, it would yeah, be in your contract. That. Right? <laughs> yeah, the, there's no lights. I don't have any of the lights. None of those. Stop uh, being the, funny. Yeah. The YouTube channel is up right now, so Normal World is up. You can go subscribe to oh, it. Oh, is that Ian? That's Ian Crossley. Hey, hey. Yeah. Did, Ian did you Crossley. ask him why he unfollowed me on Twitter? No. Oh, what a bitch. Oh. Why would he do that? Oh, come on. <laughs> I, oh, I, here we I'm go. guessing I know why, but uh, you know, <laughs> I have a couple of guesses. But whatever, who cares? This is this is the first TV show we're producing. <laughs> it's uh, Drugtopia. I hope you enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> that reminded me of Beer Fest too. <laughs> the first time I saw Zer. I knew <laughs> we would be together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's dying. The two of us. Or a third. And drugs. The two of us. And drugs. <laughs> what we're really trying to do here is something original, something people have never seen before. You're gonna keep sleeping with my father. 
Then I'm gonna keep doing drugs. Okay. <laughs> the last time a show was made about teens having sex and doing drugs, like a couple weeks ago, it didn't quite have this <laughs> amount of sex and drugs in it. So we are really breaking new ground here. <laughs> so my parents are throwing an orgy for my 14th birthday party. You wanna come over and do it with cool kids? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it, but my parents want me to go to rehab again. I have not seen a show like this in the last two months. This <laughs> has never been done before. And here's the crazy part. It actually has been done before. We purchase old Seth Rogen scripts that Judd Apatow doesn't even want. We add more sex and more drugs and then add like a depth of field bokeh to it. So it feels like it's a little more avant-garde, a little artistic. And then on top of that, more sex and drugs. <laughs> we do the drugs in slow motion. So it makes it feel like when you're watching it, you're on drugs too. <laughs> yeah, plus, I want to make a movie show about young children having Ukrainian. sex. <laughs> no, <laughs> what he means by young children is um, uh, like young adults, uh, 18 no, years of age. No, I mean young small children. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you can cut this, right? This is a conversation for later. <laughs> Best part of the show is that it makes millennials feel young and Gen Zs are forced to like it because their friends are like, what, you don't like this show? What, do you not do drugs? and have sex with your friend's parents? Yeah, if they don't immediately run to social media and tell all their friends that they think the show is awesome, they're gonna think that they're a bunch of losers. Also, uh, Big Pharma pays for basically the whole show. <laughs> Pills are good, I don't think they're related to school shootings at all, and I was paid to say that. SSRIs are not the cause of school shootings. There's actually, in episode three, there's a kid who wears a t-shirt that says SSRIs are, is not why I'm shooting up the school. <laughs> and he's like, not having enough sex and drugs. I had sex with all my teachers. Oh, male, female. <laughs> I'm not a bigot. That's what it's about. <laughs> <It's laughs> <sex with friends. laughs> Doing drugs with your friends. Your parents. Your parents having sex with your friends. Having sex with the teachers. Having sex with the janitor. The janitor's having sex with you. Then, of course, there's your uncles. And then there's your friends' parents. You know, high school. Relatable. That sounds hot, man. I... I just, I can't wait to watch the next episode. <laughs> Drugtopia. Ooh. That was really well done. <laughs> Very nice. Very so, nice. we have a YouTube channel. You can go subscribe to it. Uh, so, what's it about? To show so much stuff. <laughs> it's about literally anything. <laughs> it's Seinfeld. Mm. It's I love reason. it. That's pretty cool. Well, well done. Yeah. That's it's awesome, tough. man. So we, we first showed that last night on the Blaze TV, and uh, they had to put a disclaimer on it. They did? <laughs> oh, yeah. no. So it's going to be real good. I wonder oh, why. Yeah. And, and we didn't. We don't nope. need. Well, we, we have a disclaimer on as and that's Ryan. The whole, but that's the pretty show. much like, uh, that's our baseline. We've got you, a little bit different you, you audience. You just assume there. it. Yeah. yeah. You just assume it. Well done. Can't wait to see it. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Excited to have you guys on the show too. The show's going to be like a we're going to have a podcast element to it, so we're going to sit and talk and and uh, it, it, pitch it looks the too, too accurate. It looks too accurate. Like I, I mean that no, like I I, 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 it's like oh my, that's that's a fucking show on HBO. I never watched Euphoria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, for those of you who don't Euphoria. know, yes, Euphoria. See, Euphoria. And on, yeah, yeah, it's on every channel. Yeah. How many Speaking, times oh do you mess God. up Judd Atapau's name? <laughs> yeah. Atapau. Yeah, I did like yeah. three times. I, 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 like the way you said it, I'm like, I Apatow, feel like you Apatow. messed it up a oh, couple times. That's like Ava DuVarnish with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got her Speaking name wrong a hundred times. Check out this right here. This is too accurate. Holy shit. Holy. Adam Gorlock. Adam Gorlock. The meme says Adam Gorlock going oh full dick ass God. in theaters. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Shout out to Fat Steven. <laughs> shout out. That should have been, present. That should have been <laughs> Shunted <laughs> Dreams present. Mm. Thank um, you, Fat Steven. I love knows. it. Fat knows. Steven's uh, Legion of Memers uh, have been killing it, especially with our good friend uh, Cash Kester, the smoking, yes. the FNT smoking man. Has become well, a Cash legend. Ash Kester has been everywhere. That sounds like yes. a fucking Star Wars character. <laughs> Dash Dash Rendar. Cash Kester Cash from, Kester. The, from the Puton system. Supporter of this channel Puton's. and Geeks and Gamers uh, for a long time. Shows up in our member streams. Goes to every. <laughs> 
and shows up at Eric <laughs> July's house. Uh, he was at it's the everywhere, Ca- man. He was at the Kennedy assassination. Did you see that one? <laughs> Dude, they were going oh, off. Man. Dude, there is like, a, if, I hope somebody bookmarked all the memes because yes, like there are so many. Inc- some of the Legion of Memers' Absolutely best incredible. work. Best work. They, they yeah. need to make a coffee table book of FNT mm. smoking, man. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Ryan. Easy. Oh my God. I'm sure. Easy, Ryan. She's engaged. Hey, Calm down. Hey, hey. What happens in Vegas? <laughs> my yeah. favorite part of this meme is Gary's, Gary's face. face. Yeah. <laughs> well, they yeah, take a picture right it's when it's you're like dry touching. humping Chrissy, and you know, I'm like, wow, filing cabinet's gonna love this, man. All right. <laughs> so well, here's where I was like trying to squeeze back there, so we bumped together, and then you know, we had to make you know, we had to, we knew the, the cameras purpose. were on. Hey, yeah. I, apparently with Chrissy, oh, uh, what, apparently with Chrissy, what she wears in Vegas stays in Vegas too. So. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Yeah. This, this is the original Whoa. right here. This the is original. the original. This is where it happened. <laughs> where a legend was born. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. And to think there's about another angle. There's another angle if I could find it. Uh of being being careful here. Look, look, it's just being starting to be a meme look. everywhere, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's so uh, he's, like, he's such a chill dude. <laughs> Such a chill dude. Uh, I'm trying to find the original. Uh, or, I'm sorry. There's another angle of that. Po- <laughs> 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 oh, the, the agents. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole mood right here. Bro, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, wow. look yeah! Look oh man! Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> Filing cabinet. Gosh. Kick James. Oh, James. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait. It looks like Drunk Three PO is trying to open something up. Right? <laughs> it looks like he's picking a safe. Oh, no. <laughs> he's trying to open something up. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> God damn! I love. Yeah. Too bad movies, Chrissy's man. not here. She made the freaking news. She made the independent <laughs> with her incident. <laughs> Really? New York what Post? She do? New York Post? Yeah. Uh, New York Post and uh, the Independent. Yeah, well, oh, she, they, they were, uh, her and Keanu were at the Vegas airport, were forced to change out of what they believed was too revealing of outfits into more revealing outfits. Worst part about it, they, were, they weren't allowed to go into a room. They had to change in front of everybody, and Keanu wasn't wearing underwear. What? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> what? Well, God damn. Yeah, they had to drop trow in front of everybody at the airport mm. and change into Holy up. shit. You guys didn't know this? Fight? Uh, no. I, I saw no. there was a New York Post story. I saw there was like a. Um, I, I, like know, a I know Cordoba I can't be bothered to like watch my, any of my live streams or anything where I completely <laughs> I got covered it. I got it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I am sharing your quick meme while you're trying to find that. Uh, so, right there. Look at there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh poor Chrissy. <laughs> Oh my god, these memes are out of control. This guy fucks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it does kind of look like a German porn star, in all fairness. <laughs> yeah, so this is oh, 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 like, oh, yeah. like sticking a finger in an ass and something. Women you know? forced. So, you guys, so some of you did. American it. Airlines to change clothes at gate. Quote, humiliating. <laughs> this is what they were wearing. This is what they got forced to change into at the game. Chrissy's response on Twitter was so good, what though. She's like, I'm a rewards member in everything. I have the card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here it is. Um, I don't want to go to Chrissy's thing. Uh, all right. O- OMFG, an American Air employee forced me and Keanu to change our pants before getting on the flight, which actually turned out to be way more revealing. This is no way to treat a rewards member. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, here it is. Yeah. so messed up. <laughs> and then, like, there was, like, a... It's funny because... American Airlines had some weird responses, like because they responded to the tweet, and then a couple people like fucking shit all over them. And it's like, why are you here barking on Twitter? You should be like begging for an apology. And American Airlines responds, Who let the dogs out? 
Woof, yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah. What? And, then, and then they're like, That's an intern and then they're right like, there. in all seriousness, we really take this seriously. Yeah. It's like, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, do you? What? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Were they saying that Chrissy and that girl look like the dogs? Is that what they were no, saying? No, no. I, I got to find it, Frank. That's what it. I would uh, <laughs> interpret, which is just wrong. There you go. Oh, okay. 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 No. I would not be now caught that we've today. Up that's Odin's bet, that's even an though actual he's photograph. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's a real yet. photograph of me at a Bon Jovi concert. <laughs> look how excited yeah. you are. Can uh, you put that exciting. stamp he's, a little bit? He's yelling at everyone me. who paid for a no. ticket. You paid for this? I don't know what's going on with this, but there's a lot to unpack on this one. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> All right, so, uh, there's a lot to unpack here. Right, so. wow. That's like the Sergeant Pepper's uh, <laughs> cover of memes the right there. I love how Jeremy's sitting on my head. He's a hairless cat. <laughs> He's about as, to, to mushroom as up. New Zealand. Uh, <laughs> and my chest is my chest pineapple. is not that hairy. Okay. <laughs> so. Remember the audio, Gary, uh, on your arm. There? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just had to. Yeah. Uh, no, soy Dan gay. Does. Soy un no samurai. Soy <laughs> Very complicated. Oh, oh. That's fantastic. Oh, shout out to And Ryan guys. the Egyptian hairless cat. I don't know if we, we was Kangs. <laughs> we was Have Kangs. we talked about this on FNT? Ryan covering the Cleopatra uh, <laughs> video. So during his live stream, he put on that the, what is the, the thing from Universal that you guys explain the story, Ryan. It's a so Sphinx he, hat. So he ma he basically clipped out a section of his live stream where he made the video wearing that thing, but he put no context into the video that he clipped out and uploaded. So all of his subscribers just get this video of him very seriously talking about this topic while wearing that thing, and he never <laughs> ever explained it, and it got like a hundred thousand views. And I was just like, for we can watch it right here. We can watch a little bit of it. It's just it's awesome. <laughs> yes, it's got almost two hundred thousand views. <laughs> You should wear the hat all the time. And I, I, know. I should go to hotels and record yeah. videos, and you should imagine, wear that Egyptian hat. Uh, there you imagine go. getting your RK Outpost notification. You're like, oh, Ryan has a new okay. video. Let me check this out, man. I'm excited. Here we go. No, no imagine not being a subscriber and just yes. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> being a random person. That's the better question. Here we go. One of the 40% who hasn't subscribed yet. <laughs> Yeah, don't hit me on this, by the we way, dude. We've seen race swapping in the entertainment industry <laughs> for years. And what happens with a fictional character, there's going to be people that push back. There's people that are fans of those characters in those stories and say, hey. <laughs> Just that, that hard cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my no. God. That is so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the video is not like the Egyptian. <laughs> yeah. I... I never address it. I never acknowledge it. Oh, <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> just do like a super serious video. It's like How, appropriating a racing native POC Egyptian along with appropriating a Greek Macedonian historical figure. <laughs> Get She's to the end, Ryan. Right Get now. What do I do at the end? I don't remember. I just want to oh. see how you end it. Oh, I remember this. This is the fucking dumb bitch. Hold on. This is the dumb bitch. It was black. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. My, my, my mama Why? said, it reminds me of freaking Bobby Boucher. <laughs> <laughs> Alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth, but no toothbrush. <laughs> mom say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue. <laughs> Mama's wrong again. <laughs> my grandmother told me I don't care what they tell you at school I don't care what they teach you Cleopatra was black this is what we're getting from Netflix <laughs> he's like this this is what we're getting yeah, right here oh, oh dude that was awesome. so good so good you love it I love Egyptian culture <laughs> are you an Egyptian superhero I love tiramisu <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, fuck. hey, the writers are on strike, and uh, uh, America has always already improved. We have no late night talk shows right now. Thank God. That is oh, improving. Thank God. 
uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be an end in sight because they want uh, and they, they want time travel. They want immortality <laughs> and an 18 karat gold toilet. Uh, and Jar Jar Abrams has their back by defacing oh, the fucking Empire Strikes Back poster just like he defaced Star Wars by existing in it, yeah. you piece of oh, shit. Oh, it's on brand for, for J.J. at this it, point. His self-awareness is so fucking unbelievable, dude. Like, or lack of, lack of self-awareness. So, like, uh, the yeah. fact that he did this after what happened with Disney Star Wars and where it's at, unbelievable, man. What a piece of shit. Fuck J.J. Abrams. You should go to, um, just as a little connection to Guardians 3, Lloyd Kaufman, who started Troma Films. Yes. Where, where James Gunn started his career. Yeah, Lloyd right. Kaufman mm -hmm. is in all the Guardians movies. He was in Guardians 3. Saw him last night. Great. You know, if you know who he is, cool. You should see what Lloyd Kaufman says about the strike. Find the Lloyd find Lloyd Kaufman's Twitter. I I I, I, I can find it for you. But it's like he has a lot. He has something to say that I think uh, I think. It okay. Should get, uh, While you're looking for that quick story about Lloyd Kaufman, sorry if you've been around Please. the channel, you've heard it before. Yeah. I was uh, I was at uh, with Stanley at Comic Con. I won a, I won an auction to hang out with him. It was a charity auction. And that's where I got that picture of, of me and him on on the on the yacht. But Stan and I were talking uh, with the drummer from System of a Down. We we're just chit chatting away. Lloyd Kaufman comes up with a fucking like a little marching band, like a guy playing a drum and a tuba, and like two mid like five girls like dancing in like nineteen uh, seventies cheerleader outfits. You know, two fives basically, solid fives, but fives. And he comes up. And he br he crashes the event. He comes up, uh, he comes up and interrupts Stanley, and that's the first time I heard Stanley drop an f bomb right in fucking front of me. <laughs> like, it's like I can't stand that fucking guy. <laughs> and I'm like, Stan, hey. no, no, don't do that. Don't use an f bomb, Stan. Not in front of me. I, I like that strategy though, Camelot. You know what? Two fives equals right. A ten. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Oh, dude, there. it's uh, I, I well, like I don't know math, but yeah, I, get I it. like Lloyd. It was just one of the most it was like a David Lynch moment. You know, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, but it happened. Did you find it? That's yep. the second time. David Lynch has been Why does it say Adam Gorlock in the private I chat? I just now? saw that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's name too. <laughs> For anyone that joined late to know what the hell I'm doing. I've, I've been here the whole off. time. I didn't even know. I feel like the. <laughs> Well, that's 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 nothing new. Yeah. All oh, right. The maker has been on. Oh, the maker has been on the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, WGA Writers Guild strike uh, is a mistake. Most of their stuff stinks. Also, this will be a great opportunity for writers who are uh, writing cheap movies for Shutter to move up uh, the food chain. You know, he doesn't have a word count limit now. He doesn't yeah. have to use twos and stuff. Yeah, uh, also, it's a great opportunity for AI to be used. Oh, he's going to get <laughs> oh, he's going to get so many fans. It. Shad's like, yes! You know. <laughs> By the way, Shad's sick. Shad's sick. Shout out to Shad. Hope Shout out to Shad. Better. So, so yeah. Jar Jar puts that out. By the way, if you don't remember the last strike, Jar Jar found ways to get around it and still film Star Trek 2009, and one of his guys is, and, and I don't care, fuck unions, but um, Alex Kurtzman's a scab. That's that's he kept writing during the strike, so so for Jar Jar to come out now, and you know I just can't help but remember you know 2020 and uh, 21 when California uh, was largely locked down. And a lot of businesses like hair salons, nail salons, gyms, restaurants, bars, cafes were told they were non-essential. You know, mothers, fathers, yeah. uh, kids weren't able to go to school. Uh, kids were kept from going to school for a long time by the teachers union. Yet the Writers Guild of America was allowed to work through. They were considered essential through all that. And they kind of they couldn't have worked any of this out. And let's also not forget that while American cities were burning Fucking assholes like Jar Jar Abrams were saying stuff like no more white comfort. And what are these fucking writers asking for? Job security, comfort. So uh, somebody commented, list. somebody yep. comment, yeah, pull up the list. Somebody commented uh, under that tweet, no more right comfort, which I thought was just beautiful. Uh, yeah. So one of the things I'm lockstep in agreement with 
on the WGA, and, and Ryan, you've mentioned this before, is the writers don't know the streaming numbers. So for residuals, they're taking the word of these corporations. So I'm absolutely for show us the numbers. But I don't think that, you know, there's certain questions you just don't want the answers to. And if the writers do get the answers to the questions, they might get less money because they'll find out that nobody's watching their shit because it's shit. All the more reason for them to do it. So fuck Jar Jar. We've talked about it to death. Streaming has completely fucked this entire industry. Mm -hmm. We used to have so much money coming in. When you would sell off the rights to a show to be put into syndication, it gets aired on TBS or TNT or wherever the fuck, or you sell the rights to Netflix, you get a big chunk of money. They're not doing that anymore. Instead, they're pretending to buy it from themselves by selling it to Disney+, Plus, which is basically just taking money from out of one pocket and put it in another. And they're hoping that the subscription fees can eventually make up for that. Spoiler alert, it's not. Look at Paramount's numbers they just put out. Disney Plus losing billions of dollars each and every quarter. So that's why they're going trying to go back to traditional cable effectively with all these ad-based tiers because they can't pay the bills. They can't afford to do this. No, it, and they are now, what the writers find themselves in is a gig economy. You're going to hear that a lot. They, 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 yeah. I want job security and Well, uh, I I write something and I get a check, but I might have to wait a couple of years. Well, if your shit's not getting picked up for a couple of years, I might need to look in the mirror on that one. I, you know, I I don't know, but I don't know how you get job security out of less money. You're not owed a job. You're not. You're not owed a job. This is a writing gig. This is, this is the epitome of what should be meritocracy. Your talent, your skill should be carrying you here. If you ain't got the talent, you ain't got the skill. You don't you don't deserve a job. If I if I become a barista and I keep dropping the fucking coffee and putting fucking coke in, in a latte, I ain't gonna be fucking a job em, employed. I'm gonna go. It's and the job same security with these is, is a fucking illusion, okay? To a to a certain degree. I mean, whenever there is a downturn in the economy, people lose their jobs. Look at tech. You know, I, I can speak for myself because of what's going on with the economy, there is a large contraction at this point and people are losing their jobs that's just the reality of things well yeah and, and, yeah, and, and i think largely well. uh, uh and, you know we've we've heard of the cha- there's twenty thousand members of the wga and who gives a shit right uh but there's there's too many writers there's too many cooks in the kitchen uh they got this false a lot of the youngsters got a false sense of security uh getting all these writing gigs for netflix and getting optioned and there's no pilots so you get full fucking seasons and it yeah it screwed up the whole formula for hollywood and now that guaranteed, this is going to end up, I don't know if it breaks the union, but it, it it's going to break your guaranteed work and mandatory minimums and shit like that. You, you just, there's no money for it. You, 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 you're not being realistic. Uh, there are economic downturns. And when that happens, there are layoffs and there are yes. massive layoffs going on and you're going on fucking strike. I mean, it just it's looks dumb. bad. It looks well, dumb. I think ultimately what's going to happen and, and script doctor, we kind of talked about this last night is that the bad people when the strike is over are not going to be called back no this is right now there's a lot of people who are contractually obligated but now that there's a strike and at this point no one's working everyone's quote unquote laid off or fired or whatever when it's over you're going to see a a huge difference and hopefully for the better when it comes to quality Mm. yeah and and do you know who disney just hired uh (laughs) who a fucking documentary fucking activist and they've given them 200 plus million dollars to make oh. the next Star Wars now. That's oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shabid, uh, My name Obad is Shanoi. My name is Shermin Obad Shanoi and I am directing uh, the next Star Wars film. I'm excited about bringing uh, Daisy Ridley back uh, into the Star Wars galaxy and uh, You're the in only one. story. I'm excited to be immersed in um, the Jedi Academy um, and I think there is so much uh, excitement around uh, yeah. the new no. Jedi Order. I've is always there... kicked open no, doors there isn't. that were no, previously there isn't. closed. No, there isn't. And I think my, my feeling is that there is a critical mass of women who have begun to Definitely move forward yeah. in places uh, that were previously closed to them. 
I've been a filmmaker and a storyteller for the last 20 years. And a few years ago, I began to think about what I wanted to do. Miss Marvel um, was coming around and I thought about a brown Muslim superhero oh, yeah. and what impact she would have. Zero. Yeah. So not at all. <sighs> so put this in perspective. Sharmino Boyd Shinoy is an award-winning filmmaker. She Galaxy. makes it about uh, bringing. She makes documentaries. She's an activist. She's a political activist. She mm -hmm. makes documentaries about the lives of women in Middle Eastern countries. I can only and, and inequality of women. That's yes. Oh, no. Oh, great. Perfect for a new Star Wars film. Yeah, that yeah. sounds fun. Mm -hmm. like, Ray's, Ray's going to get an acid attack. I won't even see, I, won't, I guarantee you. I guarantee you I won't even see one titty either. I'm sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Well, in, all, in all fairness, Daisy Ridley doesn't have any. So. Yeah, you don't want to see those anyways. You know, I've seen them. I'll, I'll take an ass cheek, man. <laughs> there's, a, there's a movie where Daisy Ridley plays a corpse. Ironically, better acting performance than is Ray. Oh, I yes. Make it as a corpse yeah. in that movie. No. What? I mean, yeah, I personally, uh, listen, I don't I'm, think I'm actually a TV series in the UK. Yeah, I don't think yeah, Disney Star Wars is turning around. I, I, I'm, gonna go I, I, I'm happy this. I'm happy this is happening. It just proves everything we've been saying right, and it just continues to confirm the failure that's going to be this Ray movie. This is going to be bad. This is going to be a really bad movie, and it's going to have a bad uh, ROI. It's not going to. They're not going to get a ton. Like I can't see how this again. What are we? Twenty twenty five? Is that when it's coming out? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, w w there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot that's gonna happen between now and then. But it's not even written <laughs> yet. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Nothing that can happen between now and then will make things better for that film. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, can only be worse. worse. The so, only way. The only way, Jeremy, that I would ever watch it is if Gary sends me a message and he's like, "Hey, watch this film for a show." I'll be like, "Damn it." <laughs> Got me. Or really or there are titties. Or yeah. there's a, a labia majora or a titty. There yeah. you go. That's it. Jesus. Uh, I guess that's what Star Wars is for. But it just shows you how like it, it's laughable. Even the Star Wars, like even the hardcore Star Wars fandoms, like I am not really sure yeah, about this know. one. I mean the shills. Uh it, there's no excitement for it. She is uh she worked on Miss Marvel and here, here's here's some two episodes. Here, she's also linked the WEF. She also yes, uh, she 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 worked on two episodes. She had to be begged to come back to finish it up after the massive reshoots because Abashake Ali fucked off to Netflix really? and they had no one to rewrite the scripts. And she uh, and the other two directors were working on Batgirl, so they had to ask her to come back. And I'm thinking this is part of that extra favor because she didn't want to come back and finish it. So they they she came back and and did a lot of rewriting work on the show that nobody watched, by the way. So, so she was part of the lowest viewed live action Marvel TV series, which is actually not on TV. It's only yeah. available on stream on a network that's losing billions of dollars through its streaming every quarter. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. Well, you no, know, as that's on brand for them. Well, like, it, and what's absolutely. lowest viewed? What's lowest viewed? I mean, how many views did it get? Uh, well, it, it got so low that they actually stopped reporting, and it got uh, so we know mm -hmm. it's a, lower it, than four hundred thousand. Well, it was the only it was the only Marvel series that failed to chart at all, mm. I believe. Right? I think yeah. the first episode Yikes. in the first week might have hit like the lowest number ten. Point. On yeah. of the and, and original of the originals, not overall. Not yeah. overall yeah. 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 Oh no, it, nothing in the overall. No. It, no, no, no. I, I showed you guys this, right? Can you share my screen, Garrett? Yeah. It, this is <laughs> now. This is from a while ago. You got old, oh, yeah. uh, what's her fucking nuts oh, here? Oh wow, this looks like um, a power team. You got yeah. John Stewart name. asking a question. Good God, that patriarchy, that power <sighs> structure, and is that a part of the calculation of your art as well? And and what's been the reaction to that? Oh, absolutely. Um, I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. <laughs> that's a, that, and you know what? That's that's fifty percent of your possible uh, revenue. Higher, so yeah. higher, yeah. Yeah, way higher actually. When it comes Here, to here's ultimately my issue with this. Do you know what I? A, you call a guy who says I like making women uncomfortable. You call him a uh, creep, a sex yep. offender, right. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I call yep. him based. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, this is, this is, it, is, is it Jonathan Majors? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, before we go into anything else, before we go into anything else, I, 
I want to address this. Uh, Chris, are you okay? Because you just, you you just texted in, in the in the <laughs> private chat. No context whatsoever. I'm golden. That's how I you said. <laughs> it wasn't connected to any question. Nobody did, asked did you, you or anything. Did you just, you know, I'm everyone, golden. Everyone's saying I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I said, I'm golden. <laughs> I'm golden. But I just want to say this proves, watching all these videos and this, the person that they hired Sorry. for this, this proves what's been said many times. A lot of these directors are cast. Yes. They're not making Absolutely. the movie. Yeah. Right? The producers are making the movie. This person is the front, forward-facing, front-facing person that will do all the PR, all yeah. the marketing, all the press interviews. That's the forward-facing person that is cast to be the face of this of this film. And and you're right, you know, like I like to make men uncomfortable. You mean your target demographic, the yeah. one that has given billions of do dollars to Star Wars over decades? Mm -hmm. It's really so stupid. This is what happens with Disney's. They feminize every brand. It gets absorbed. It can, it can avoid it for a little bit. Marvel did, avoided it for a little bit, but eventually it will be absorbed and become, you know, this sort of generic gentrified version of what it was and i just feel you know i just feel sad for young boys or you know if you're a father to a son what do you do show your kid after you've watched return of the jedi at the theater which was in theaters last week would have done way more business wasn't even promoted no yeah wasn't not even promoted. her theater did more than mario her yeah theater it's crazy that you know that was and it wasn't extended either which is is nuts that they didn't do that. But what do you do to do you said. show them episode seven, like after you watch Return of the Jedi? I wouldn't. No, no. I wouldn't well, at all. People are joining and they're like, "Why is Chris so shiny?" Because <laughs> <laughs> they, like, they did. I'm golden. That's to, what he I, said. I, I, He's I golden. Had like, I had to pull Raymer on that tanning episode. <laughs> he does. He like, does. No, this, is, this is what I this is what I was thinking about with him. This is this is Chris right here. Here we go. See that? That shouldn't be happening. I know you two would eventually find each other. <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, it's right here. It's right here. This where you drink. Oh, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can take it off. I'll take it off. Uh, oh. 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 oh! I love oh, gold. It looks great. It does. Shit. And now oh, he's yeah. the villain. <laughs> no, <laughs> now you're the villain. <laughs> it was a mask. All he was the whole time. time. All along. <laughs> now he's just red. Right, I'm gonna have to wash that off later. <laughs> ah, wash That's it off later. Said. Oh man, I was gonna do it too. Oh. Man. Oh, hey, uh, get that ROP article, which is hilarious. Oh, by the way, they're like 19 days away from finishing. Is it season two, right? Of Rings of Power. Oh, Jared, they've already yeah. filmed it. Dang. Uh, Rings of Power to finish filming season two amid writer strike without showrunners on set. I don't think anybody's going <laughs> to notice. If they needed them. I mean, it yeah. might be a slight that improvement. Improve it. That might improve it. Nah, I mean, it, what would improve it would be firing uh, everybody down to the catering and mm -hmm. uh, canceling the show. I hey, think there's good people in those sandwich lines. Mm -hmm. Good people on both sides. <laughs> they, 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 make, they make kale sandwiches, mate. They're out. Yeah. Uh, Rings of Power. I hope you appreciate this. In my in the sketch, my name was D P Payne. Mm, I noticed that. I I, I snuck it right too. in there. DP oh, I thought Payne. that was like double penetration. <laughs> oh yeah, it's that too. <laughs> double <laughs> penetration pain, but pain from Rings of Power. Yeah, yeah. Rings yeah. of Power. D P mm. Pain. I do appreciate it. Is the latest? I got the reference. Uh, Rings of Power is the latest marquee TV series. Marquee. Uh, no a, uh, TV series to move forward with production. Damn, gosh, it almost it. move forward with production so amid yeah. the ongoing WGA strike. But the Amazon Prime show will be doing it without the services of executive producers JD Payne and Patrick McKay. The sweeping, oh, no. the sweeping, uh, the shitty fantasy series uh, has 19 days of filming remaining. Uh, well, it's not like there's a ton of dialogue in it. Uh, no. Sources confirmed to Variety. Uh, but per WGA strike rules, Payne and McKay and uh, any other writer producers are barred from participating in any writing based duties, duties uh, during production while the strike continues, including making creative decisions on set. Well, I mean, they didn't make any last season. 
So they're, I guess it'll be the same. Instead, the show's non-writing executive wow. producers like Lindsay Weber, directors Charlotte uh, Brainstrom. Uh, all, oh, all of these are fucking women. They're by all the way. women. Oh, yeah. yeah, all the women. Have, every director. Every director is a woman. And crew. This season. It's our time. Wasn't that last season too? No. No, no those are just gay men. <laughs> <laughs> And crew, Why'd you have to bring out where I'm back into it? Yeah, right. Uh, and crew are overseeing production in the UK Bay shoot. By the way, uh, to I mean to go to another article, you don't have to. Um, th there were major concerns <clears throat> by the uh, the town in the UK uh, that they're filming, they're doing some on location filming in a forest, and they're destroying the forest. And I just want you, as a Tolkien fan, I want you to think about that just yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What yeah, did he, What did they're he like? Towering. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he liked the countryside. And uh, what didn't he like? Well, it, it, industry. He didn't like giant corporations and uh, a giant corporation poorly adapting his work while uh, while destroying a forest. Uh, it don't get better than that. It really yeah. does. It doesn't get better than that. Uh, and season two is already a disaster. We haven't seen a second of footage and we don't need to. Uh, this thing is going to tank so hard, and I, I cannot wait. I can only hope that I'm still uh, in competition with Dan Vasque when that happens. Uh, <laughs> so hurry up and finish filming, please. According to sources <laughs> close to the production, there have been multiple units filming on Rings of Power, including night shoots for much of the duration of the season, given its feature film level scope. Also, they do realize that nobody liked their show and a two year break between a shitty season one and two will be even worse. And uh, again, I can't wait. Uh, Payne and McKay also planned in advance with the production team for a possible writer strike to make their absence from the show as seamless as possible. I wonder if it doesn't this sound like much of a challenge there. It doesn't. No, uh, the pressure on all current film and TV productions during the writer strike is compounded by the looming June 30th contract deadline for SAG-AFTRA and the DGA. That's right. There's, I don't know if they're going to strike. Uh, Chris, what, what have you heard? I know the DGA is like working through negotiations. They're, right they're going to finish their negotiations pretty quick. I think that's just going to be a couple weeks because there's literally the DGA and SAG. There's like one issue. Uh, my, from my understanding, from my industry friends, is that'll be resolved quickly. The, you know, what people are speculating is that the Writers Guild strike is going to go longer. The last one was about a hundred days. This could be around that length, but I just hope that it ends up being some sort of purge of the the a lot of the talent that is just not going to be able to make it in this industry. And, and and there's also an, a contraction that's about to happen of content. And we talked about this, I think, on the Nooner this week, Gary. Uh, but, you know, that last year there were about like 25 pilots in production. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Or at this time, a year ago, 25 Just pilots. for CBS. Just for yeah. CBS. Now there are two. Two. Wow. Damn. So there's, a, Cut there's going to be a contraction that's happening, and the contraction is going to also involve a lot of writers that are just the industry doesn't have room for them. It's that's that's coming. If the it, but if I mean we can cross our fingers and hope, folks. It, if if SAG goes on strike, if the guilds and the alliance of motion picture and television producers fail to reach a new contract agreeing agreement by that date, actors and directors could join the writer's strike, leading to an even more drastic industry-wide shutdown. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh no. Oh. That's, a guess. <laughs> That's a shame. It's really oh, a shame. Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to watch old movies and old TV shows that are already great. Yep. Yeah. Which yeah. people have been already <laughs> doing. independent creators. The thing is, is that like, something like a Netflix can just go buy shows from Korea. Yep. Or yeah. movies like, and, and it's much cheaper. You're not fronting the production costs. You're you're picking it up for certain territories. And so. and and Zaslav, you know, who made his who who rose to prominence making shows that didn't require a lot of writing. You know, UFO shows, Skinwalker Ranch, History Channel stuff. You know, uh, Discovery Channel stuff. But that, that's they could just make more of that. You know. They're they're fine with yeah, it. How many writers do you need for my six hundred pound life? A bunch of <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. The the last writer. Why are you going to do me like that, that Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to a job. Listen to that again. <laughs> Dude, uh, no, I I guess uh, Zaslav came out today and and uh, 
HBO or Max or whatever the hell it is turned a profit. Wow. Good for them. Uh, that now, would be they would be the only streamer. That's they doing would it, be the only streamer who turned a profit. Yeah, uh, look at Paramount and, Plus. And you well, change your Gotham fucking Knights. name, you I fucking know. idiots. So fucking not dumb. Morons. But Paramount Plus Gotham Knights has, right now has like that. the Sheridan verse, right? And they lost a half a billion dollars. They lost a half a billion dollars, and Disney lost a billion. What, yeah. what what Chris said is the reason that the streaming thing does not work on this grand scale with every single person having a streaming service. Because Netflix Netflix could have just kept going and going and going if they didn't worry about their original content. They, they started losing a fuck ton of money when they started putting all of their money into original content. Before, what they would do is they, they, they didn't have to pay money to produce something they were taking things that they knew already had an audience whether it was niche or whether it was massive and they were paying money pennies basically for the rights to get that they didn't have to front all the production costs they didn't have to take a risk to know if it's just going to be a pilot or if it's going to get one season or if it's going to tank whatever you're buying shit that already pre-exists and you're able to have one location for a bunch of people to come and subscribe to when everyone's doing that that's now no longer an option now, everything you do, you're putting money into things that you don't know if they're going to be successful or not. And you're putting 80, 100 million, 120 million dollars. And that's all going on your fucking Disney Plus account, on your Disney Plus budget. And it's not sustainable for every one of these companies to have their own streaming service. Yeah. And it and it hasn't been. You're right. Licensing was such a huge deal from that. So, so much so that this one of the first things Zaslav said when he came back is, oh, we're going to license shit. <laughs> like, why not? You know, and money. That, that's how Jar Jar Abrams was able to get his uh, woke ass Batman the animated series uh, picked up by Amazon. That's gonna be a fucking disaster, dude. Uh, but nope, yeah, when H- doing that? HBO Max didn't even want it. No, uh, no, I believe they're still doing it. that. Wow, I had no idea it actually went to Amazon. That's funny. Yeah, Amazon will buy anything right now. Yes, uh, Salky is spending money like uh, you know somebody on Coke in Vegas. Uh, D- Citadel. You heard of the show Citadel? Anybody here heard of the show? Yeah, heard of the Citadel? Heard of it, yeah. No. Uh, I heard it costs a lot of money to make. It costs three hundred million dollars for six Ooh. episodes. Wow. Wow. Now, is that is that for the is production and the rights? Is that how they did that? Every, yeah, it's everything involved. Everything yeah. involved for that first season. So that's like getting getting the rights and the production, and they refilmed most of the first season after they fired a showrunner. Uh, three hundred million dollars, dude. Yeah, damn. It's on right now. Like it's yeah. on their network right fucking now, and nobody's talking about it. Like there was actually an ad for it. Yeah, in my theater. In my theater too. It's got yeah. Richard Madden, yeah. right? Yeah, Richard Madden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it has uh, an Indian Stanley actress, Tucci. Um, um, yeah, it, it doesn't look bad. It might no, be it doesn't like, look. Bad. Might be something I watch at some point. But it's the thing. Remember when Ryan Johnson got like when they decided to pay hundreds of millions of dollars for the rights to uh knives out, out. Knives like, out. Knives like 40 almost million or something on the production it, it, it was a fuck it was over money. 400 million dollars he almost got a yeah. half a billion dollars and he barely spent yep. any of it Why? on production right Why? well and jar jar they gave What's wrong with you? Uh, warner brothers gave jar jar a half a billion to pro- produce a um one hbo show that they nixed because it cost too much so he's done nothing and he's had that contract since 2019. Yeah, they all just thought that they all thought that streaming was going to be this next big boom, but it's it's just not. The money's not there. And they've tried to transfer back over, and it hasn't worked either. Because the film Air, they they spent like 120 million on those rights, put it out in theaters, and it's a giant bomb. Yep. Do you know how much money they spent on Sisu? Six point eight million euros. Pounds. Or pounds. Oh, euros. Yeah, yeah. euros. Euros. That's how much they paid for that. I mean, that movie looked fantastic. It was great. I know you didn't like it, Odin. But whatever. He doesn't like pineapple like pizza. 20, I fucking loved 30. it. Go I, see Sisu. It was great. Sisu was fucking no, no, no. awesome. If that movie makes like 30 million, I mean, it banked. Oh, no, no. Yeah. It's it's probably going to, it has a really good chance of breaking even this weekend. It's more of the, I thought the trailer was better. Like that, like, it's not that I hate the movie. It's just, I think the trailer actually does a better job because all of the things in the trailer are in the movie. And like there was nothing new in the film other than these. Why is pineapple not in the trailer? So your maybe I go right into it. Yeah, pineapple you. should be in your mouth because right it's, now. it's yeah, this in whole my freaking about stream. Uh, I'm I'm sorry that <laughs> like, the I didn't think I'd actually get I'm sorry sick, that I'm the really movie started. where the guy oh, no. speaks no fucking lines until the end and says it's a guy killing Nazis uh, has a guy that kills Nazis. 
throughout the entire film. Yeah, I thought it was sure. great. Fucking awesome. Yeah. I love oh, there's that, that scene when he's under the water comics division and he slits the guy's oh. throat and uses like what's left of his oxygen <laughs> yeah. for oh, air. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, fuck. oh, I don't dude, know about you guys. That was definitely really cool. talking about Sisu, this cool sounding movie about a man that kills Nazis. I'm looking forward to change. <laughs> that's what I want. Oh, that's what, what I'm. That? I can't that's, wait. That's that Whoopi. For this to come that's out. Exactly what that's you think Whoopi Goldberg. That's a thinner, finally that's making a, her comic book debut. That's a thinner this version. This is fucking uh, Dark Horse, dude. Dark Ugh. Horse. I, I thought. I thought. You know, it's so funny. I thought they race swapped Hellraiser. Well, you want to hear the <laughs> so the bad the bad. I the, thought they race swapped Jabba the Hutt. So Dark Horse is now owned by Embracer. Who owns oh, the oh. Lord of the Rings rights? To oh Jesus, oh. yes. And the no the, the Laura Croft, Laura Croft rights. Laura, Laura, whatever. Laura Croft. Uh, well, that's, yeah. that's, that's not fucked. That's a Tomb Raider. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoopi Goldberg's. Are you going to run to your local comic shop to buy this, everybody? Yeah. Can't oh, wait. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Only yeah, if Whoopi this... runs too. Has this been out <laughs> for a while? Because it says 2021 over here. Oh my God! Don't. Sh- like, the art. Why are we? Oh yeah, right there. On crotch. Oh no. Right there. <laughs> That's the whoopee. Oh, gosh. I, I I love like the the material that they're trying to advertise this with, and it's like it's it makes you not want to buy the book, and, and it's like at this point, it's, this is not anything your average comic book reader wants. Okay, let me. Let me this is like nobody's you know, asking for this. Yeah, nobody's asking for this. It's like going and creating a character called Prostate Man, uh, who, who's a guy in his fifties that's having. Issues with his prostate. That, funny, no, that would be more. That would be more like interesting. A wants kind to of read that? Yeah, Come would. On. Hey, uh, fo- focus on either. focus on me, Garrett. Focus on me. Oh, focus I'm ready for my me. close up. I'm ready. For- focus on me. Focus on me. Kelly Jones. Kelly Jones. Ooh, yeah. Oh God, that's amazing. Classic Batman artist sent me this. I just got it today. That nice. That's magic. Fucking dope. So Kelly Jones, you're a legend. <sighs> Thanks for coming on the show. You did not have to do this. This is rad. It's gonna get framed. I know Az is getting some art too, but damn, this is awesome. It looks mm-hmm. good. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ellie That's real Jones. artist art. You right can keep there. it on me. It's fine. Hi, everybody. How you doing? That's proper art right there. That's proper that's, that's art. Art right there. Yes. Art. <clears throat> yes. You ready for some soups? Peep. Soups. Oh, yeah. Soups. 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 Do it. Before we uh, do soups, I want to plug Jay's uh, oh, f- Indiegogo campaign. Fuck that guy. Go. No, I'm Drunk. just kidding. In the description <laughs> right now. Closing yeah, in on 100K. Closing yeah. in on 100K. Ooh, let's go. 93.9 right now. Uh, campaign closes very soon, but I'm convinced we can get this thing to $100,000 before the campaign closes. Um, so if you can, please consider backing Acromatic Chronicles Blue. Uh, super proud of Jay. Um, yeah. And yeah, man, closing on 100K is it's it's absolutely amazing, as yes. Drunk 3PO would say. And I'm really happy for him, proud of him. So if we can get some more support on there, whether you're sharing it on social media, whether you're backing it yourself, uh, letting other people know about it, sharing it in Facebook groups, Twitter, whatever you, you know, social media platforms you're on would be greatly appreciated. So shout out to uh, Drunk 3PO and Jay making it happen. So I'm really happy about all this. Yeah. Well done. Good stuff. Well done, Shout Jay. The one nine nine. The one nine nine. Uh, bird up for fifty dollars. Bird up. Bird up. Chris, you didn't do it. What? Fifty. Oh, fifty. Fifty. <laughs> I love that. Beardo. Where is Beardo. That? Where's Beardo? Beardo's on assignment right now. On assignment. Oh, that's right. That's um, right. Uh, on, uh, I think we can, I mean, there is a... They're, they've been teasing it online. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Where's really? Beardo? While you're finding that, I will read this. Hail okay. FNT, Gary, <laughs> if you haven't heard Blind Guardian's album Nightfall in Middle Earth, I strongly recommend it. Their discog- discography. 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 I just I had a little stroke <laughs> there. I'm sorry. Discography. Dick. I could... T- I haven't seen the thing, but I could Discography. I could tell the word you were gonna say. <laughs> I dude, it's just uh, I'm getting old. What can I say? Uh, in general, <laughs> is good that, uh, but the album is an all time classic, and I have a feeling you'll dig it. Metal forever, hail! I freaking love Blind Guardian. They're awesome. <laughs> you find that. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So this is a picture uh, Beardo tweeted out. It's him and Jake the Viking. Um, that's all I can say. Is this what is it? Brokeback Viking? 
so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I wish I could raid you. <laughs> so shout out to Epic Verse and uh, Beardo and, and Jake the Viking. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. But that's a pretty cool Exciting, shot dude. right there, man. So hell on yeah. Location. Can, on location. So that's all, that's all I'm at liberty to say. So looking forward to it. Where where are they right there? It's a nice looking uh, setting. It is Femiscara. pretty awesome. So yeah, Femiscara. Awesome I didn't see a bunch of lesbians running around. <laughs> <laughs> and you're uh, clearly not looking hard enough. Oh, that's true. Rolling the wretched for one hundred and twenty dollars. <throat> Forgot to give a shout out to Exodus Goo last week, and I hope she remembers what I told her. Do you remember, x Ringo? There's a lot of things that happened in the last week that I can't remember. It was Vegas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Wow. Do say. Yeah. You want to expand on that? Maybe you shouldn't. No. I know Mark won't care. So she can't. Yeah, that's true. I really can't. <laughs> uh, Ryan said my MIA status from Chrissy's show in Vegas left an impression, and her and Frank Gore tried to make me feel guilty as well. Fucking simps. Uh, wow. That was. You, we, we did mention you. At, at, she did mention you at the show. Uh, I was MIA because I had a dinner reservation with my normie wife. And anytime Chrissy is touring in SoCal, I will sit in the front row for a show. I hope this means I am still her favorite retard. I have to take <laughs> a moment to stand up for comics. Well, yeah. I mean, comics is standing up, but nobody can tell. Hey. Uh, hey. Oh. 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 Not just because the camera's off. Yeah. Uh, mainly because no one can tell when comics is standing up. He, uh, We were outside, and I saw him because he was standing on the sidewalk, and he was hanging on the rail above, putting him almost at eye level. Comics, you can punch me in the kneecap next event. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you up on that. <laughs> uh, I want to remind Odin his punishment pizza is not part of his penance, and he is watching. Pineapple pizza is the way. The truth and the light. Hail to Friday Night Tights Fellowship, the Fellowship, the Chat, Baby Thor, and Pineapple Pizza. Man buns and Dan Vask are gay. Hashtag sub, <laughs> sub to Nerd Roddick. Sub to Nerd Roddick. Sub to Dan Vask. Do you have your, the comics is podium nearby? Uh, I do actually. Oh, yeah. I mean, show that I, off, give man. me just a moment. Show it off. Give me While just he's a getting that, I got to show this clip right here. Holy fuck! I, it's, I'm not making this political, but this is fucking hilarious. Holy fuck! Listen to this. When you say, and again, this has become very famous in this video. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. Yeah. When you're a star, they let you do it. Yeah. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. Over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. <laughs> you can say to yourself. Uh, to or fortunately. I think you can say that. <laughs> Whether you like the guy or dislike the guy, he is a he's star. A star. Yeah. 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 That is yeah. a, that is a they let you do it. Holy let fuck, that's it. amazing. Um, unfortunately another, or fortunately. There's clip out there of <laughs> what no, it's the unfortunately yes, first. That yes. was a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Or fortunately. Or you talk, fortunately. You talk about the clip where, where they asked, he's talking about he wouldn't be interested in her either? Yeah, yeah, because he basically, like, shits right, on a is. girl because she's not very attractive. Yeah. And, like, he's working his way around the answer. Then he addresses right, the lawyer asked yeah. him. Yeah. Right but, here. Like, but you're this not really, This yeah, motherfucker. Here, here we great. go. When you said in that video that Ms. Leeds would not be your first choice, <laughs> you were referring to her physical looks, correct? Just the overall, not, I, I look at her, I see her, I hear what she says, whatever. You wouldn't be a choice of mine either, to be honest. Oh! 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 I'm, being, I'm honest when I say it. Uh, she, I would not have any interest in. 
When you said that video, that's cold, cold motherfucker. That's good. That's great. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Burn. Okay. That's what I thought was good. Um, <laughs> so thanks to Chrissy Mayer, uh, you know, who has an album live from January 6th, uh, she she got, uh, I guess, the guy who stole the the podium at January 6th. You know, the guy who's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sent me yeah. a little podium. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Just take a stand. Yeah, he wrote me a nice little note. He said, "Keep fighting the culture war." It was awesome, and he uh, sent me a podium for Comics Division. So I'm going to re-gift this to Comics Division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my God, that's hilarious. That's a great. <laughs> <laughs> I that love capitalism. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. It's cool. uh, Alex, I want you to Jerry. put that on your desk and just stand back and then take <laughs> yeah. a you want. little like, forced perspective. The oh, of it. My God. Don't, don't quote you know that, that indie trailer. Might be perfect for my <laughs> comics division doll that I got from uh, Andy Masterson. <laughs> Listen to me. We do not deserve the legion of memers. We don't. Holy no. shit! Don't. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was good. good form, legion of memers. Good form. Esther is good right form. in the back as well. <laughs> oh. So good. That's <laughs> just the best. I love it. Holy shit, we don't deserve you guys. We don't. Oh, <laughs> it's too good. There's so many I layers am here. Not there. <laughs> In my opinion, and I think Christian Bell's one of the greatest actors of all time, but that is his best performance ever. And I fucking love that. His American Psycho is fucking phenomenal, man. That like, and uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, oh good that too. Ford great. versus Ferrari is such great a film. good movie, dude. Great film. <clears throat> uh, it's such a good movie. Oh, good for you. Good, good for, for you. you. That Especially was my favorite about cars where if you don't even like cars, like I'm not a big cars person and yet I still love it. Like mm -hmm. it almost made me want to become a cars it, person just before it, watching it. It, <laughs> it, it makes you it, it like because obviously I, like I'm a big fan of Carol Shelby, but like yep. if you don't know anything about cars, that that has a, a father kind of dynamic to it with also the friendship and it tells you a great story for Ford versus Ferrari completely got overlooked, I think, by a lot mm -hmm. of people. That is a fucking great That's movie. Great movie. For car guys, non car guys, whoever. That thing works mm -hmm. really good. Uh, Orion Reborn on the Streamlab side for $50. I didn't think I would have to specify this because I didn't think that Ryan would walk away when my chat was read. But service connected uh, means I became disabled while serving in the military. Multiple uh, sclerosis. 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 Oh, oh, that's rough. That is wrong. Thank you for your service, man. Thank oh. you. Yeah. yeah. I didn't understand the first part of that. I don't under yeah, I don't understand well, it either. Maybe it was an earlier your show. Oh, maybe maybe it was a chat where I wasn't there or something. From last when, week, when it maybe came across the first time or something. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Hey, thanks for your service, buddy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, thank you. Cheers. Uh and at first I thought it was a joke about walking or something. Yeah, I thought it was like, is this a yeah. Greg Abbott thing or you know? <laughs> Yeah, if we if we ever like misinterpret some of your like serious comments as jokes, please don't hold that to us. We're so used to like sarcasm. <laughs> Sometimes we we're uh, also you know, really this is a silly place. We're also <laughs> sometimes we're just assholes. Yeah, that's, that's very I mean, true. there's that's that, and we're also basically functionally retarded. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't call your friends retard. <laughs> Sorry, no. Yes, you do. You don't call retarded people retards. Ruben, the point. Ryan, you call your friends retards. What if your friends are retards yeah. though? That's right. I mean, right. I, I you use the hard R. <laughs> I stream with my retards, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Max Von Priestley, uh, the what simp up? who goes on Max. poor Hi, choices, uh, and the guy I had to teach how to golf, which is just sad. <laughs> I don't know how to golf. Hey, man, he, he yeah, he figured it out. Hey, he missed so many times. Mrs. Neurotic connected pretty well too. I thought for you know for a chick. Uh, <laughs> great seeing everyone. The past weekend in Vegas, both fans and creators alike, uh, we're all the same. Uh, miss all, I miss you all already. If anyone wants to get an early preview and review of Jay's book, Acronaut. Acromatic, <laughs> acronomic. Why do I want to say acronomic? Acronomic. Thank you. <laughs> that was my brain. 
<laughs> Acromatic Arachn- Chronicles Blue. Arachn- Arachn- just Arachn- rolls Arachn- off the Arachn- tongue, Arachn- that title. <laughs> Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. Uh, I just put a video out this morning on my channel. There you go. Good Hell thing. yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, Jay is over 94,000 now. It's good. 94,000. Amazing. Hell yeah. It's awesome. I bought another copy. Mm. Nice. Look at you. You're good, man. I don't care what Gary says about you, QB. I know, I like man. He's so rough on me. <laughs> hey, sure. we're going to have Quarter Black Garrett on Geeks and Gamers Daily sometime next That's week. That's right. So. Next yeah. week. Yeah, he finally finally wants to join us because he's got something to promote, piece of shit. Uh, yeah, I just keep like, like, <laughs> yeah, I it's not like you. He it's not him. like he would perf- promote Friday Night Tights or anything like that, you know. So. Hey, I promoted it. I promoted it all the time. Yeah. To your kids, I mean, it's great. You got enough of them to sub to me. I've got a lot. Can, okay, that's a that's I, I a can large, pass Dan Vask if all your kids sub to the channel. Know. So there's a large swath of people. Uh, a let's ga- get him. of children. Let's yes. get drunk three PO to 100k. Hail to the fellowship and the 199. Mount up just... or mount it. Mount up or mount it. <laughs> that's what Jay was trying to do with Chrissy. <laughs> the... Oh no. <laughs> hey. I don't make the rules. Uh, Magnum Norris for $100. Yeah. Oh, Magnum Norris. Dan Vask likes weenus. <laughs> uh, I love the guy, but he's got certain proclivities. <laughs> Should I not Google what a weenus is? It's a, no. it's, oh, it's okay. A weenus. Okay, okay. Your epidermis is Did showing. you not... Were you not 12 at any point in your life? I was. I was just like, the, the only thing, every friend was. was like, hey, man, you want to touch my weenus? <laughs> I didn't have a normal yeah, childhood. Nobody ever did that? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's also a slang for a Canadian thing. Too. Yeah, I, in public school in Alabama, we used to kiss each other's weenuses. Wow. Um, it was like a dare, and if you didn't do it, you like, were... Will you? Now, now, was it an open mouth kiss? Well, yeah. Was, was there tongue involved? Now, now yeah. I feel like there's like a joke in there. You have to touch your weenuses together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> I told you, Cam, a lot of girl. Th- huh? Can you touch your weenuses together? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can. Really? Yeah. Shockingly enough, that just got a lot of people. A lot more people. To <laughs> so, all of a sudden, the chat's all. Try to do it on camera sometime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You make a right. yeah. You can <clears throat> listen. Like, That's what? how it's gonna. You're gonna get Gary to a million subs weenuses. if you can do that one on camera. If you can okay. touch the weenuses. <laughs> next, next stream, next FNT, I will touch my weenuses together. Whoa! You heard it Whoa. there, folks. Hey, Lock right. it down. Oh, we are monetized. But hey, hey, if I gotta grift this, we gotta get. What's your subs at right now? Our subs are at so 750k. Maybe that'll that touch food. my weenuses together. Hey. We're at 739.955. Oh. So, hey, only another 50 and we can go up to 40. There you go. Like... Getting close. Awesome. And 40. Thanks, everyone. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Rapture Raccoon for $40. This part. Oh, I just read part one. I'm fucking Kathleen Kennedy and Joe Biden. <laughs> Fade in. Fade in. <laughs> Repeat line. Uh, landed back in Ohio just fine, but knocked on my ass with the coof and a wicked fever. Watched Gore's doc while out of it. Fantastic. Brought me back to my early teenage years. Wanted to thank Chris again. Uh, incoming. Uh, why does it say incoming and just ends? It says part two incoming. But you you started part two in part one. What are you doing to me, woman? I don't. I, <laughs> part two. Rapture raccoon put. It says coming. But you. This can, is what happens when you touch your weenuses together? You are allowed <laughs> to improvise confused. and like fix spelling. I mean, it's. I know it's awfully hard to make me look less retarded, but could you try a little bit? Please? <laughs> could you try well, a little well, more? Whales well, vagina. While you're that together, whales uh, vagina. The sun's getting real low for the big guy. Yeah. Can I read the second um, part and then I'll let him go? I didn't know if you found it. I was giving you an, a reason to fumble through and figure this out. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. I was oh, you, you didn't time. have it yet because oh, no. you still sounded like you were kind of at that stall moment where you just kept talking. I'm struggling, man. <laughs> <laughs> like Chris like, told scroll, me in scroll, Vegas. Scroll, scroll. Like Chris told me in Vegas, I'm proud to have been involved in giving you your first boner as a young man. You didn't have, yeah. 
Chris gave you your first boner? Was it the shower well, scene? I don't think I don't think I had anything to do with it. I think it had to probably do with Olivia, right? I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, the oh. association. Oh. So, but I was there, so it was right. awkward. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. And somebody okay. comes and wants to shake your hand. And goes, you gave me my first boner. Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gonna go wash sure. his hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or it was something like that. I was pretty drunk. I hope he knows I was talking about mun. <laughs> <laughs> but he's cool yes. too. Hail. I do know. See, it's all good. There you there go. go. Hail. All right. Uh, as. Yeah. The sun's actually already down there, isn't it? Big time. Yeah. Big time. All right. I'm the only one that Friday night tights actually has a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason we start we Friday morning you. practically is because of you. So just... you mean three in the afternoon? Yeah. Yes. Well, morning That's morning, somewhere. bro. Dude, That's morning. It used to be one in the afternoon when I was on the West Coast. Oh, yeah. poor you. Hey, we used to start at 7 p.m. <laughs> Central Time. You tried doing three years without a fucking Friday night. Dude, we used to start at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. We all did that. Yeah. That's great. Way back in the day. Enjoy your show. Have a good one. <laughs> uh, what do you got coming up? We got uh, Razor Fist and George on uh, Real BBC this Tuesday. That's right. Nice. nice. Yeah, so they're going to be on there. Sunday Fun Day on uh, Saturday. Huh? Wait, what? That's hmm. a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we both were like, what? <laughs> Wait a second. Like, huh? Sunday fun day, surprisingly on Sunday. Uh, and uh, my cat is, uh, I've given her too many treats over the last few days. And now she thinks she just lives off treats. No treats. We love Belle, though. I know, but that's just the problem because I just keep caving. So I've got to get out of this room quickly where the treats are so she follows me. <laughs> and um, I don't know, stuff. I'm doing videos and I'm doing a little bit of editing with them. I saw that. Go watch them. I watched yeah. your video. I liked it. I go watch them. Hit that subscribe button on my channel. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rehab my channel. Hence, no streams recently. <laughs> no gaming <laughs> streams. Because the that algorithm was rough for just, a while. The algorithm has just killed, killed any subscriptions. It's it's a killer. It's a nightmare. So I'm gonna stand for that shifting. Last of Us uh, dump from like four years ago. So <laughs> now, now it was uh, April Fools. The joke was on you, <laughs> and uh, that was oh no, that, that that was great. No, it's just too much, too much live streaming and keeping the streams up, and it, the algorithm just it's, fucks it does. you in the ass, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what like on Geeks and Gamers, it's all we're doing is live streams, and it just you don't gain anything. Like you, no. you get you get your your viewers, and it's good for revenue and stuff, yeah, but it, yeah. growth is. It's horrific Death. for broke yeah. growth. Yeah. Yep. I, yep. I had the best month that I ever had in uh, April, March, March. And uh, I probably got about 600 subs the whole month. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's how it is. Because <laughs> it just it just kills. It just absolutely kills any growth. You're it's right all fun that. and games. This is the YouTube. This is the fucking way. <laughs> 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 Uh, are, are you saying you, you you have no job security and you have to just I know work? crazy I yeah. have yeah I put out work and if people want to watch it they watch it. and if they don't then I then they don't I'm not owed anything writers that's... you fucks <laughs> that's reality uh, said it before I said it again I hope that's you wrong. all get fucking fired you useless <laughs> oh my As God. Joshua GPT for Fitty. Hello, Fitty. FNT. Fitty. Would you like Fitty. to play? A, oh, hello, FNT. Would you like to play a game? How about global thermonuclear war? That's right. War games, if you're worried about AI. Great movie. Great movie. Um, oh, what, what? I'm blanking on the girl's name now. Ali Sheedy. Ali Sheedy's sweaty armpits. <laughs> you don't remember that, Chris? She comes back from her jog and she's got like just fucking sweaty armpits. It's just, it stood out <laughs> even back Ew. when I was like 12 and I'm watching it. We're like, oh. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> you, I, mean, I know you do, Camelot. I know. You know what? I'm glad Camelot's here because, you know, we aren't quite bumpkin enough. We needed to bump it up a little bit. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Jeremy does his part, but, uh, man. You dial it up to 11, and That's I really thing, appreciate like, that. When it comes to the sweat thing, like, 
If a girl's like going for the shower after she gets done with the gym, she comes to the house, I'm stop her. Like, no, absolutely not. No, it's time to lunch, man. <laughs> <laughs> and in? I'm talking like a little bit of funk though, not all of it. You get all of it, my face will melt off and shit. Yeah, I'm talking about like just a little bit. Your face look like, like Chris, Chris Gore's. Gore's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Gremlin and Koo. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> right, they, yeah, they oh. did. They did that one. Like that was from a couple weeks ago, or about a week ago. Is that did they update it? That's so good. Fucking I'll take amazing. A talk, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right on the ass. Uh, me talk. Has gifted fifty neurotic memberships. Fifty for two hundred fifty dollars. Holy shit. Thank you. I'm going to say Gremlin. Uh, Jonas Noxos for $100. Hail Gary and FNT Gary. It's the last day of my 30s. Oh, it's all over now. No, welcome to the age of wisdom. You're out of your 20s, which you're just a teenager with rent. Uh, I need some sage. I went to prison and I owned a comic shop once. Style advice to kick off my my 40s right. This was uh this fellowship means so much to me, and I love each and every one of you. Hey Camelot, tonight you. Then he just says you. Ooh, tonight yes, you. Yes, boy. Is that John? Is yeah. John so he's Nexus? getting yeah. into your 40s, Johan huh? Johan Nexus. Johan uh, Nexus. Yeah. Two words. Uh, midlife crisis. Welcome yeah, to and it. to also warn you, uh, you're going to go through a change, and it's called Muscle losing card. your eyesight. It's fun. Yeah. You well, don't need eyesight when you got a Corvette. <laughs> it makes it easier to put into Actually, a tree, Actually, you kind of do, wow. but... Um, <laughs> I mean, no, unless... you don't. I drive. Okay, that's true. That's a good point. That's scary. Yeah. Bad you eyesight. She and can't Asian. see shit. Oh, my God. And a woman. That's yeah, all yeah. The fucking that's trifecta. Lot. That's literally like, yeah. it's just, God, could you, you're just going to turn the car on and the whole Wait, wait goes. until I get old so I have the tri trifecta. What? Whose who's dog is growling back there? It's Jojo. That's who, that's, oh. that's what uh, other countries are going to just make their entire army. It's just Asian women with bad eyesight that are old driving. That'll be their front lines. <laughs> Do a lot of damage. Yep. We'd be, fucked. Just... We'd be fucked. We'd be fucked. What do you, you'd see him coming? It's just... going to be the first crew to Mars, by the way. It's They're crashing be all into women. each other. Yeah. <laughs> Look like Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Shout out to the 199. The 199 uh, representing your Holy Cobra fuck. Commander. Okay. That is fucking that what is horrific. What the bad, but hell is going on here? Yeah, I can still fap to it. Is just, that? Uh, oh, okay. Through. So you're in some Met Gala shit, right? Is that what that is? <laughs> you're in a dress, shoes, so you're man. a dude. You look like Pedro Pascal's gay brother. <laughs> <laughs> Gayer brother, I'm sorry. Nobly knees. This is Nobly the caption knees. on this say. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> dude, <laughs> on the meme. I don't know. Let's I, see. The, the face of modern face sports. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Holy shit. shit! That's awesome. Freaking rogue. That's funny as hell. Wiggy Wan for fifty dollars. Fifty. 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 Gary, a fellow fifty-plus Gen Xer here. Sorry. Uh, I want to thank you for inspiring me to start my own YouTube channel, Wiggy Wan. Uh, I just got laid off for the fourth time in my career and said, screw it, I'm going to give it a go. Love you all. God bless. Well, good. I, I, have fun. I, mean, I hope you got some severance. Sorry you got laid off. How many times do I get laid off? Laid off? But it's an opportunity. Yeah, it is an got a little bit more time, and you can put some time in that channel. All right. Uh, Blazing Phoenix for $50. 50 <laughs> 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 Hail hey, FNT and guests just finished my last final for indoctrination camp university. Thank you all for keeping me sane through it. As you're great. Well, he, he's, he, I love it when as finally gets the compliment, he leaves every time. It's all brain time. from. Yeah. He's Pretty so much. great when he leaves early. Uh, screw off Gary, find your doors and thanks for all you do for the rest. Thanks for all you do. Hail, hail to you. 
funny when you have one. <laughs> I don't even do nothing. You entertain. You make people smile. That's that's all they need, right? My Sometimes. parents don't count. So. Your, your parents don't count? Well. No. Do they watch? Do your parents know what no, you do? Absolutely no, absolutely not. Yeah. That'd be awful. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that my, no, nobody in my family watches, which is good. I think my son, no, my son will like, he likes, he's all, thank you, is better than you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, son. Know. I'm all. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Now sleep in the backyard, you little shit. Uh, <laughs> we really oh missed an opportunity to have Drew on. on I mean, Cinco it is Mayo. Cinco yeah, de Mayo. Da, 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 oh, God. Cinco yeah. de Mayo. Da, 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 well, da, da, da. I had I mean, Taco Bell today. QBG, to be fair, you look Mexican. so <laughs> Yeah, I can, I'll cover. Yeah, you I'll can be our... You, by the way, La cucaracha, la cucaracha. I, I, my, I had enchiladas today. My pool needs some cleaning, so when you come down, could you... <laughs> I'll take the out. caravan. Yeah. Over. You, can, you can also mow the grass. You can, yeah. Hey, I've got grass to mow now, which is great. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Damn. Took only took two years. Uh, Mikey Gussler for fifty uh, dollars. I almost said years. Fifty. Fifty. Uh, with the writer strike going on, James Gunn Superman script and production is on halt. You know what Warner Brothers can make with finished scripts? Affleck's Batman movie which uh, the creator of Deathstroke has called for, and Zack Snyder's DC Universe movies. Uh, Keep the faith, brother. Keep the faith. That's all I can say. (laughs) (laughs) The thing that doesn't make any sense is that James Gunn put out a picture of his finished script like a couple days ago. Yeah. So why can't they move forward? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not even in production yet, so they have to cast, get in production. They have plenty of time. The strike will be over by the time they get all that done, anyway. So Blade is officially pausing pre-production Production. for yeah. this the third version of their fucking script that had this has to be rewritten. Do you think it'll get unpaused at this point? I don't know. Um, we'll see. Like to Marshall can, is going to gonna leave. A black movie, to be honest. <laughs> but but if the lead actor <laughs> leaves. That, that's the thing that'll be the determining factor. Yeah. If Mahershala Ali decides, you know what, I've had enough. I thought he was already out. No. 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 No, not yet. He's have he's been having troubles with them, right? Like Yeah, he's the, he's the had a problem right. with it, but yeah. yeah. But we're, we're getting the Marvels at next, everybody. <laughs> it's going to be fine. I mean, <laughs> Adam Warlock was a fucking joke in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and we're getting the fucking Marvels. Everything's going to be great. Marvel, Marvels is safe. For content For, creators. Marvel's safe. For content creators. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Those listening at home, this is a Photoshop picture of Chris Gore as the face of the Oscar. Yes. Look at his face. It's gold. Still frosted tips. I'm golden. I'm golden. With all those changes they're making, this would actually be a good one. Silver and gold. Silver Silver and gold. gold. Uh, Smooth the DJ. For 70 euros. Euros. Hail Gary. Hail to the panel and hail Chad, of course. I'm working night shifts at the moment, so this is the perfect entertainment for me. However, it's Friday, so let's get this party started. Hail to the 9.999. That is our female audience. Hail (laughs) to the ladies out there. All 9.9% of you, ladies. And the 199. Go tit. Go to it. Oh, he's got one more. And then he says, a fellow member of the Mod Rodics Discord team uh, needs our help. If you can, support our friend Bear Bear, who recently lost his job. Oh, no. Bear Bear Nerd Fun? Uh, due to injuries, yeah. uh, you can donate at a Give, Send, Go. Thank you. You can put that link in there. If you want. Mods are yeah. going to spread the link. Bear Bear's mods. good dude. Good yeah. dude. Been around this channel for a long time. Sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks. Uh, WG, oh, WG, the legend, for $100. WG. We'll see you in Asheville. Uh, By the way, just uh, Friday, uh, Forbidden Frontier returns Sunday. The title will be Cosmic Drama. (laughs) Cosmic Drama. Because there's a lot of cosmic. I love how random that came up. I'm loving it. That's the title. Yeah, in our Discord, and that's going to be the title. And the name of our new band, Cosmic Drama. 
Uh, <laughs> off topic, but Canadian icon and renown, 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 renown. renown. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad when I'm the one correct. Right? <laughs> like, it's like, holy <laughs> shit. Is that renowned bard, <laughs> Canadian icon and renowned <clears throat> renowned bard Gordon Lightfoot crossed the Rainbow Bridge into Folk Asgard this past week. Uh, he was the soundtrack to all of my fly fishing in Alaska. So I'm pouring out a Molson in his honor. God rest his soul. Ah. Uh, yeah, Gordon Light. Yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah. R.I.P. He was he was old, right? Yeah, yeah he was eighty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. No, I like my mom played his stuff in the car in like the seventies, in the eight track. You know. Yep. Uh, um, I need to go ahead and bounce. I got to get ready for my stream tonight. So Cobracast will be live. I'll be talking about all the shit that I don't talk about on Geeks and Gamers or here, except for an occasional, you know, mention of this guy named Trump. But occasionally Friday night tights. Gary has officially made me like Vegas. Like I miss Vegas. I want to go back to Vegas every time now. Like I just See? I enjoy being there. I and and obviously I'm not a drinker, I'm not a partier, I'm not even a gambler, but like I just enjoy like, like being there. And obviously, like through content creation, it's that's a great fucking place, man. You know, you yeah. just live stream walking into in and out of casinos, uh you know, Camelot, you'll see tits all day. Come on, let's go. Uh, it's just, uh, it's crazy, man. So It's a I fun place to go. Yeah. I like the atmosphere. Um, Wouldn't live there, I, but, you know. I'm thoroughly enjoyed that Odin had to eat pineapple on pizza. From, Even if it was just references, Acknowledge Mario. That's all I say. Acknowledge Mario. All right? Power. You have learned your lesson, and now... Maybe you can learn to not disrespect Mario, but and I'll, I'm just happy I didn't have to eat that shit because uh, <laughs> <man, I was, laughs> as much as I was confident, you know, I was like when that movie released, I'm like, okay, it's it, it, it's, it's you gotta hit a billion. Is it gonna hit a billion? Is it, I, is it possible? I, I was panicking because I did not want to eat pineapple. By week two, though, it's like smooth sailing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that. So anyway, good to see Chris. Good to see Camelot. My whole FNT crew. Love you guys. Love you. See you on Cobracast in about an hour. Hi, Jeremy. Have a good night. Later, Later, brother. Congratulations. Good to see you. And feel better, X-Ray girl. Thanks for everything in Vegas, man. It was fun. Of course, man. Can't wait till next year. Love you. 199 out. Bye, everyone. Later. 199. 199. 199. My God. How's your... How's the doc... <laughs> oh my god dude you That's gotta hilarious. you gotta find it the looks memes so good like his feet are perfectly placed you gotta, the... you gotta find the memes where he's like on okay. iwo jima and he's fucking like at the kennedy assassination <laughs> those, oh are, those are like, <laughs> throughout so history. good they, they had him at the uh mlk speech too that they was did <laughs> yeah they oh did. my god <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Uh, Chris, how's, do you know how the doc is doing? Like, do you have any I have numbers no idea. or anything? I, 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 in terms of sales? No. I mean, I'll, I'll find out like soon, but like, I'm really focused on promoting it. Yeah. Yeah. Letting people know they can. The problem I'm getting now is I'll get people from like Australia and other countries going, I can't buy it. And I'm like, have you heard of a VPN? Uh, Turn it you, on. You, you could definitely use a VPN to buy it in other countries, but it's actually at the Cannes film market. I think like next week. To sell to other territories. All right. Or from our distributors. So, and so you and you, what's what, that? no, you and I will be at San Diego Comic Con pushing your Blu ray. Right? Yes, I'll have Blu rays by then. And I'm working Garrett out like too. this weekend. All I'm doing is Blu ray stuff. So, it's a you have like special features. What are you going to have on it? Tons, like tons of special features. Like, and there's Easter eggs. Like, oh, yeah. it's just, it's if you're into. And they're not going to be that hard. I don't want to make it super complicated to find them. You poke around on the menu, you'll find everything. But uh, it's going to be a fun disc, I can tell you that. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, yeah, uh, Garrett and I got in as press for Comic Con. Uh, oh my with, god, with Chris, nice. Nice. hilarious! Uh, and no, none of this BS, no mask stuff. No this masks year. this year. Good. I had to sneak in. I totally had COVID, and I got right in there. Yeah, it's you it's, did. You did. I was. No. Uh, Laid up in the Airbnb. <laughs> you were really, like at the peak of COVID. At the that time. was fucking terrible, man. Uh, yeah. But we uh, survived. I, di- I didn't die. I'm, I did not die of COVID. Something else <laughs> eventually, but uh, not COVID. Uh, yeah, so did the vast majority of people. <laughs> like the vast majority of people. It's crazy. And I got these antibodies. So, like, unfortunately, a couple of people did get sick uh, at uh, from the meetup. 
but um, including I didn't get sick. It, I didn't it's get sick. Like, it's almost like real life things. Yeah, yeah. people yeah, have yeah, to be weird. sick sometimes. A lot of people in a close space. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, I, I, got a, I got a sinus infection. That was fun. That happens every time you go science. to con. Con. I've gotten con crud a bunch of times. Man. Yeah. Literally every time. Every, every time. Single time. <laughs> every time. Yeah. yeah. Some germ wash your ass hands. people. Wash your hands. No. Wash your ass. I was, it wasn't even the wash of the hands. I was talking to people face to face. Oh, oh God, my God. Great. I think this is my favorite <laughs> one. This oh. is my favorite. The, the listeners, <laughs> it's the Pret. Is that the Predator? Oh my God! Oh. Yes, X-ray girl, that's the predator. <laughs> is, that the predator? is that is that the uh, xenomorph? Um, <laughs> is that the alien -y <laughs> thing? I'm, I'm not sure. It's the predator. It's the predator. And, uh, use the hash tester in thermal uh, vision. Just, so good. Just y'all know. Just so you know. Uh, WG for twenty more dollars. Disney Plus Star Wars Vision season two dropped yesterday. Oh, Chris, uh, how many? Uh, yeah. You want to tell us about the leads of each uh, episode? Oh, uh, you're talking about, oh, so season two drops? Season two drops, season? yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to go through every episode, but I'll just say that all nine episodes of that Star Wars Vision show features a female lead. <laughs> yeah. That wow. is Shocking. rebelling. Okay. It, it got so boring. I was, I was laughing by the time I got to the fifth episode. And then there are nine episodes, and every single one has a female lead that goes up against uh, an antagonist who is either male or female in some cases, but it's always some, you know, empire, you know, someone from the empire or an evil Sith or whatever, but it's every single I episode. It. It, it's laughable. The episodes are like 15 minutes, but and I, the animation's actually great. You can't fault the animation. Like Ardman Animation Studio, I like what they did. Yeah. But alumni those. The <clears throat> animator's great, but like- It looks the story, fine, yeah, no. It, did they just tell them to just do the same Dude, thing? I th I really think their philosophy is okay because more women aren't watching Star Wars. That's just a, that's just the truth. It's yes. still a vast majority of males. So they're like, we just need to we just need more women. And it, we, well, if we put more women, we'll finally get women watching. And it's like, it's like you, they're trying to will this. You into put existence. one muscly yeah. shirtless dude in one of those happen. fucking episodes. You bring Johnny yeah. Depp put it in star wars you'll get fuck you'll get all the women you need you'll get all the women you need you would think especially with those visions thing that's like such a cool opportunity to tell um like the protagonist as a bad guy as an imperial or whatever yes like an inquisitor or a sith or something whatever you could do because those are just nonsensical right those can be whatever they want to do yep you could have like a badass inquisitor just hacking down jedi and shit but no nope fucking pussies yeah, give me, no, it, give me it, like the Darth Malgus in uh, the Old Republic trailers when he goes to the Jedi yeah, Temple dude. and brings the thing down. That was right? so badass. It could have been, it could have been incredibly creative from a writing standpoint because they're not, they're not canon, right? They're just sort of these like stories. They even did Ardman animation, you know, that does Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop motion. I, I like those stop motion clay animation, like. And, and no, there it's the exact same. It's very repetitive. The only thing really creative about it is the animation style. Yeah, it's pretty, but it's if it's dropped, you know, see for yourself. I, I mean, to make a point, I just kept repeating myself because I thought it was so stupid. But yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It be, because it is. Well, it seems like what they're they're kind of like, oh, what's popular right now? Anime. Kids love anime. Well, let's do Star Wars anime and but not put, make it put girls in it because we need more girls watching. Yes. So we're gonna do the well, girl. Well, I mean, Star Wars is a girls' brand right now, so you it's know. always been. Well, well, Disney's a girls' brand always has been. Yeah. Mm. The thing is, I mean, like you know, starting with Princess Leia, it's always been like strong women in Star yeah. Wars. Everyone seems to forget that. Oh no, uh, Chris! It's a figment of your imagination. It's not real. There's never it's been all patriarchy. It's the patriarchy. It's all patriarchy. So yeah. dumb. But I mean, it's this is why I'm doing this. Try. I'm first of all, I I I feel like we've all sort of suffered. Like it, from this standpoint, Star Wars was something that meant a lot to all of us, not just the people here on the stream, to everyone watching. Uh, and, and shout out to the chat. Love the chat. They keep they keep the show honest. They make fun of everything myself included you have to have a sense of humor to be able to hang uh and i love that my kind of people but i'll tell you this it, it's there's a reason we keep talking about the star wars nonsense one it's insulting who who would think that a corporation would buy this spend billions and then squander this brand and then keep the people in charge 
right? I feel like that's partially why they hired that one director to make the Ray movie, which I don't believe will ever get made, is because, well, how do you fire that person, right? It'll make you look bad if you do that. So maybe that's why Kathleen can't can play the writer's strike. Choice. But, uh, you know, look, this is why I'm doing this thing with the trial, this Star Wars trial. I know a lot of people are like, you know, like I I'm trying to emphasize this is not a joke. We're going to run it and I'm going to get people who don't normally talk to each other to talk to each other and actually debate respectfully because I want these arguments to come out. One of, one of the problems in a lot of debates and arguments and discussions, you hear this side of the debate, you hear that side of the debate, but the problem is people don't talk. And so my not so secret agenda with this show, which is, which is a fun show. In fact, Echo Base Network is going to actually stream the court show and comment on it live while it's happening. Nice. Which is, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's why it's really important to me because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this stuff yeah. of like, you can have a different opinion about something and half the fun is defending it or debating the stuff. Just like everything today with Super Mario, Odin didn't believe it'd get to a billion. Jeremy did, you know, like a very friendly, friendly bet. That's that's great. I love that. But I've never seen fandom get ripped apart over, you know, just these kind of disagreements. It's stupid. You can, the whole point of, at least since I've been around nerd culture, is you debate this stuff and you learn from this person. Not every Not everybody can know everything. Yeah, And I love the fact that everyone has something to contribute. We have discussions, debates. Sometimes you concede a point or whatever. Like, this is the fun part of it. This is why I love Friday Night Tights. You know, um, I don't even remember when I started watching. It must have been from the beginning because I was watching you, Gary, and Eric July, and then Jeremy from Geeks. And just sort of like, you know, just sort of, you just, you find people. So that's why I'm doing this court show. So you should... You should just watch the intro. It's like it's just like 90 seconds. Can I send you a link? Yeah, yeah, let's see it. It's just the intro to the show that'll give you kind of the tone well, of what I'm trying to do with the show. I watched the first episode. It looks our, great. Our, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I watched the whole first like the the preamble to the court proceedings. It's it's uh, it it's funny. ridiculous. I know, but like please stop I've snickering. Getting, please I, stop I've been getting snickering. So this is serious. Many, I've been getting so many like memes and videos. It's going to be crazy. We're going to have like a recess. We've got a court sketch artist. Good. That, that starts right at the intro. It's, it's like 90 seconds, but okay. it gives you a sense of the tone of the show. You whip that out. I'll read this, but the, okay. the, the discussion we had about guardians of the galaxy at the beginning of this episode that lasts like an hour, that's exactly what a day in my comic shop would have been or me hanging out with my friends after the yep. movie for like two hours. That's just that's all it is. Just and Holly, Hollywood cannot compete fun. against that. They can't and, compete. And I, I love that, Gary. Like to me, how long does it take you to buy comics at a comic store? Ten minutes, fifteen 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. But I I can't go to a comic book store and be there for less than two hours. Yep. You know, like same thing with the I used to go to a laser disc store in Pasadena, and it's like I me and the guy who was the clerk who became my friend, this guy Anthony Miele. We would debate and get in these discussions. We're screaming at each other. People wouldn't leave the store. They would just sit around. This is like in the late 90s before podcasting, right? So we're just talking about film. And and it just, it drew, a, it was bizarre. And you know, I, I know a comic book shop, part of it is it's the fellowship, right? It's people coming together, having those conversations. It's about that. Yep. I used you know? to love going to my comic shop and, and just like looking at the new rack, seeing if there's anything I want to pick up and whatnot. Now it's like, it, it, and I used to, like you said, I used to spend probably anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour browsing, talking to people. And now it, it's like, I don't even go in anymore. I, but they're I moving. Our shop is moving, right? Can yeah, it's moving. That? It's cool. Where is it moving yeah, to? Uh, near Bitter's Road. I'll, I'll send you a link. It, it's farther away though. That's yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot farther. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, well.
That's on brand. <laughs> That's great. Love it. Love it. <laughs> one, one, three, eight. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So it's every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. It's live. And we're going to, to the best of my ability, I'm going to try to be like a legit judge and, and take it super serious. Oh, I love that bit. I love that bit. You're just uh, like, hey, this is this is serious, okay? Please stop the joking. This is serious. Please read out the... Yeah, the no. Uh, so I, what's so funny is I'm totally staying in character and taking it completely seriously, and then Alan can't stop, like, snickering. And then I just <laughs> admonish him <laughs> for snickering in, in my courtroom. But, no, I think I think Mahler's going to come out. I've been talking to Mahler about the, for the prosecution. You wouldn't believe how many people are volunteering for the defense. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a weird format for a show, but I I, I get caught up in watching courtroom stuff. I want to get Nick Ricada too. I think it's it. a great format. I think it could be, you know, like a, a movie fights kind of thing where you get together right. and you you have like a a discussion on two different fronts and hash it out. It'll be fun. Ryan might want to come on when we talk about the EU. Ooh, that'd might be fun. Be. I'd like to see but, that. Oh, the other thing is we want everyone to dress like they are going to court and wear like a, a tie and, a, and a, a, a coat. So it's formal. No pants, though, you told me. You can, you can have pants. You can wear shorts, underwear, right. whatever you want. So Yellowstone. i uh, sorry. Yellowstone's done, huh? Yep. After five it seasons. Yeah. Because Kevin, Kevin Costner's dick. <laughs> <'Cause the guy's laughs> That's just one of the rumors dick. out there. He's yeah. been a divorce. Is that new? <laughs> No, uh, he's always been a dick. Yeah, I know. That's always no, shocked Kev he was in a series. I'm like, wait, wait. Did you say because Kevin Costner's a dick or because of his dick? Because he's a dick. Okay. Not because so there's of a rumor his. Out oh, there. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a rumor out there like <laughs> Kevin Costner's like getting a divorce and there's somebody from Yellowstone that's pregnant right now. So, like, there's a rumor out there about that. That's what uh -oh. I thought you meant. So yes, uh, because he's a dick and because of his dick. So I guess both the right, yeah. That <laughs> shit. I don't know about either, that. Either one works. At this I don't know point, about that part either. But I mean, like, you have one of the most popular television shows on TV, and you just leave after five years. It's got to be a fucking reason. And like, the guy was no, he has always been notoriously hard to work with. That is not it's anything shocking new. Yeah. that he did five seasons of that. It is. It really is. Kevin fucking Costner did five seasons of a tv series like what the fuck i know and nobody stabbed him is, and matthew mcconaughey is gonna do the 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 other spinoff right uh the one that's supposed to take did you, did you hear, that that's the rumor like he's gonna come in yeah so matthew mcconaughey is gonna come in and do the spinoff that's gonna take place after 1923 who's the guy that plays him uh in the flashback oh, you haven't even watched the show have you gary i've only watched the prequels Oh fuck! Never mind then. The guy who plays him in the flashbacks is the guy from Watchmen. Um, Josh. Luke, uh, what's his fucking name? I think you're called. I can't remember his Josh name. Josh Lucas or something. Yeah, the guy from Watchmen. Um, plays Night Owl. Yellowstone. John. The the movie, not that piece of shit TV series that doesn't have Night Night Owl. Josh Lucas. I was right. Yeah, it's yeah. Josh Lucas. Josh Lucas. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, that, that's that's what I heard. Matthew McConaughey is coming in to do the spinoff of the spinoff of the spinoff. The sequel to the prequel that's a spinoff of a prequel. And there is a sequel series in the works, apparently. So, yeah, we'll see. They'll make it work. Yeah, the, the, yeah, they'll be fine. Tulsa King. I'm all about Tulsa King season two. Can't wait oh, for it. Okay. Reacher season two okay. is going to be out this year, too. I watched those back to back recently. Reacher and Tulsa King. And I was like, oh, wait, maybe this, uh, TV doesn't suck as bad as I thought. <laughs> like, we've like, got yeah, great. we've gotten some good things like much more than we have over the last three years we've got it's not a lot but we've got we have gotten some good things so that's not so bad uh wg for 20 dollars says disney plus star wars visions season two dropped yesterday i started that super chat about an hour ago uh no not one story of the nine total had a male character as the main protagonist. Screw Lucasfilm and the galaxy cruise they rode in on. I agree. <laughs> I am so, yeah, like, again, I cover pop culture for a living, and it has to be something really bad for me to even talk about fucking Disney Star Wars. I, I could not be fucking bothered with them anymore. They're just, they're, it, it's a corpse. 
that keeps getting raped and pissed on pretty yep. much. It's, you know, called blue necrophilia right now. Uh, Trey Miller for $50. Does anyone else notice the big upgrade in the quality of Az's video this past week? Good stuff. Yeah, he edited. He put in some clips and edited. Good for him. Yeah, uh, he live streamed for three months straight. And, uh, yeah, you got to get that channel going. Live streaming is awesome. It's, it's, one, it's one of my favorite things to do, if not my favorite thing to do. I like you need a hang, balance. But you need a balance. You need to, if you're going to content create, you have to make videos and not shorts. Do not fucking bother with shorts. They're, they're going to get, they're going to fade away from this platform. They're already start, you know, they're saying they're prioritizing, but nobody, nobody likes them. They don't help your channel. They're terrible for your channel. Uh, 10 minute, 10 to 20 minute videos, 20 minute videos are, aren't bad either. They do. They, they get those watch minutes. That's the most important thing. That's actually more important than views. Watch minutes. Um, Kaylee works for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Jess here from the meetup. What a fantastic event! Thank you, Gary, and the whole crew for making such a fun and memorable experience. That's what I love to hear. That's music to my ears right there. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Why did I just? Okay, yep. Chrissy's show was also great. Uh, uh, a great finale to the week. Cheers! Cheers! Oh. Oh, that's great. Chris, going to Chris's show was fun, and and uh, somehow we managed to get a bunch of people over to, from the show to Fremont somehow, and and that was crazy. That was fucking nuts. Getting like I had to go. Like we we ended up staying at a bar that wasn't that great, but um, we I kept running back to, to get groups of people to cut to bring them back up. It was tons of fun. It was tons of fun. Everybody was that like, "It was awesome." I love Fremont Street. That's like the real Vegas to me. Yeah, it had been a minute since I've been there, and uh, it was great seeing women with bull whips and like little hearts over their 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 nipples uh, running around. I was like, "Yeah." And then the guy, remember that guy pulling that train with the two sleeping kids in front of her? Did you? Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell? How could kids sleep? It was so fucking loud." Uh, that's when I knew I, I even tell Melissa, I'm like, oh, I'm getting old because this is just fucking noisy to me. <laughs> How could they bring their kids out here? I know. I know. I know. Like, like what's happening to me? <laughs> in reality, kids can, out of here. In reality, kids can fucking sleep anywhere. I know, like, right? Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll go to sleep anywhere. Uh, Speedy the Unsilent for $50. 50 50 50 what the fuck is with Chris Gore's face? <laughs> uh, Tell me about that it. said before or after the mask. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good question, Ryan. Good I question. agree. I gotta agree. Uh, I gotta look at it. Hayden, seventy-five. Speaking of Fremont, who uh, bat actually like suggested it and hung out with him the whole time. Hayden. Hayden's awesome. Hayden is brilliant. It was awesome getting to meet you guys in Vegas. You two chat reminds me why it's important to have a community of people with similar interests. I can't wait for the next one. Hopefully, as is there. You guys rock. Hail F and T. Hail the fellowship. Yes. We're gonna. I think next year is a possibility. As uh, doing real good. So I think uh, next year yeah. is a possibility. Great. And I can't. Yeah. I can like after this month, uh, I can I, I don't know if I can say I can't wait. I'm still recovering a little bit, and uh, I don't drink or gamble or anything. I was I'm just I was walked around a lot. It was that was fun. That fucking drive. I love driving, but I was starting to feel it on the way back. I was like, I felt uh, it on the way back. Yeah, I had flawed in Mo on the way there, yep. so it was fun. Uh, but yeah, oh, on the way back it was just we, me. Was we didn't even sad. tell the story how we why we how we didn't end up in oh Meteor Crater. Oh my god! Yeah, because Dang it. it fucking closed. They closed what? a giant hole in the ground. Apparently, yeah, at five o'clock. You know, it's like what the fuck on the weekend? You they closed it at five, so we didn't make it. On the it. weekend, wow, that blows. Yeah, that's on the weekend. Um, so like the next thing Garrett and I are going to, we're like, uh, dude, we're totally flying. You take a break for a little bit. Yeah. Driving. Uh, we're going to fly what into LA and then drive to Palm Springs from LA. That's the, that's the plan. So Chris, we'll be able to see you. See you again. I'll be there. Ronan, the crusader on the Streamlabs side for $50. 
Hail of a D at last. Odin has been blessed with God's greatest gift, pineapple pizza. Granted, it's missing the ham, but one step at a time, of course. Jeremy will be the next to receive God's gift soon. Yeah, we'll, we have to think of something that he can lose yeah. a bet on. We really need to Don't work on that. Uh, God, when another bet occurs, hail the fellowship and the one nine nine. Zenzi Biscuit for $50 on the Streamlab side. 50. 50. Congrats to Pretty Mischievous on winning the 149th Kentucky Oaks. Is that a, what is that, a Ryan? Horse race. It's a horse race. Okay. Thank you, Zenny Biscuit. Is is that like the is that different from the Kentucky Derby? I think it either takes place uh like after the Derby or it's a different uh ages of horses, right? Okay. I think that's it. They talk about the Derby in the rest of the super chat. Oh, they do. Tomorrow's the Derby, and I get to crack open the special Secretariat Woodford Reserve bottle and make a julep or two. I'm rooting for Angel of Empire. Hope you all enjoy your weekend. Hail. Uh, my dad would have loved you. So he drug me down to uh, the Del Mar racetrack all the time during the races, during Del Mar, because that would happen after the Del Mar Fair. Del Mar's in San Diego. And, uh, yeah, there'd be a lot of famous people there. Bing Crosby used to like to go there. Uh, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz used to hang out at the Del Mar racetrack. Uh Tim Conway was a regular oh, yeah. down there. Uh, yeah, back in, this is back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, Vor- uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to the racetrack tomorrow. Are you really Santa, Santa Anita? Santa Anita racetrack. Yeah. yeah, you can you can bet on other races that are happening there, but yeah, no, it's like three miles for me. It's it's uh, it's awesome. It's super fun. the The thing is, here's the trick for anyone betting on horses: don't bet on the horses. Bet on the jockeys. If you look at the winning percentages of the jockeys, the best jockeys ride the best horses. Because I don't know what freaking the names of these horses mean. I don't keep up with the horses. But the best jockeys always ride the best horses. Bet, bet on the, the jockeys with the best winning percentages. You bet on the ones that shit right before they race. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, and those dropping too. weight. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. So the 100%. difference... Kentucky Oaks is just an eighth of a mile shorter, and it's only for Philly, so it's only for girls. So that's the type of race that Leah Thomas would try to get. Yeah, I was going to say, what about what if the female (laughs) horses want to race with the male horses, Ryan? Right. That's the difference. They're both three-year-old races, but the Kentucky Derby is open to all genders, uh, but mostly dominated by men, and then Kentucky Oaks is just Phillies. Yep. Uh, Vor Axelon for $50. My earliest memory <laughs> of, uh, like four was watching two spaceships chasing each other, uh, in a purple cloud with my dad. I told dad that I thought the one guy was trying to copy the other ship, but it got it wrong and smiled. I loved the USS Reliant ever since. Hail. Hail. Uh, love the Reliant. I'm dude, I got the Star Trek sickness, man. I'm watching Next Generation and DS9 and rewatching Picard season three. I have no time for any of this shit, but I've been like, you know, after Vegas, I'm, I'm just gonna watch fucking <laughs> yeah. TV for a little while. Uh, unwind. <laughs> <laughs> it took a second on that one. <laughs> oh, the Ides of March. Yeah, it's such a perfect pose. It's such a perfect pose. Like, who gives? I don't give a fuck. I'm just sitting here smoking. I I love it. That's the fandom right there, encapsulated. (laughs) Uh, Ryan Benoit for one hundred dollars. Ryan, happy Friday. Is it it Benoit or Benoit? It could be Benoit. Benoit. I'm, but I'm not. I'm Benoit. I'm fucking dumb. Let's hope. Maybe he's a surviving family member. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, shit. No, 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 no. You earned it, Ryan. Hang on. <laughs> that was brutal. Thank you. Uh, happy good. Friday. Isn't today uh, a Kathleen Kennedy holiday? Love your show. Gary, I emailed you about working together on something for your next meetup. Have a great weekend. I got the email, Ryan. I got the email. It's a Kathleen Kennedy holiday? Revenge of the Fifth. 
No, I know. I was just trying to ignore it. Uh, uh, fuck all that. Star Wars Day is May 25th. How many times do people have to fucking say that? Uh, Sergeant Dan. That, that's Star Wars Day, right? If people want to say May the 4th and celebrate, that, that's, that's fine. fucking yeah, fine, yeah. you know? It's funny. It's a pun. It's a meme. You yeah, Revenge yeah. of the 5th. May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day, to me, is always going to be May 25th because that's it's actually like meaning. What I don't like about May the 4th is that Disney made that Star Wars Day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? And that to me, that's Disney. That's Disney Star Wars in a nutshell. Yes. You know, shallow, hollow, commercialized. It's all for the meme. Whereas May 25th, is, May 25th is actually something that has meaning that means something to fans and to Star Wars itself. And wasn't yeah. it that they stole it from other people? Like it had been a natural organic thing amongst a few people and yes. they decided, oh, we're going to, you know. Yeah, long, I mean, it's been, it's dude, been a thing for a while. It's been but, a thing you know. for a long fucking time. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's just became another corporate excuse to sell product yeah and, and weren't they also exactly. dead, that is were they taking down tweets or having tweets being removed if they were being like critical of it and everything i remember there was like some big uh, thing there, that was, there happening. was something i don't know if it was over Years may ago. the 4th but you're right they were yeah. taking down something i can't yeah. remember what it was though. it was insane they've done so many fucking stupid things i can't remember them all now like a whole book full of that those. was pre-elon musk's twitter of course so. I'm, I'm fine with people celebrating star wars yeah you know, yeah. whenever, any day, especially May the 4th. But I I don't like that it's become like the official Star Wars day. That's yeah. the part that, you know. No, because it's because it's not. It's not like uh, May 25th is a huge day in, in fandom and in nerddom. It was talked about in a previous live stream. Like Star Wars invented the blockbuster. It like it had been creeping up before with with Jaws. Jaws came yeah. out a couple of years before. But Star Wars invented the blockbuster blockbuster invented the franchise really leveled nerddom up to a different place like it had been around with doctor who and then star trek and and other facets but it really like it was the first really nerd thing to become kind of cool you still got shit from some people but like everybody had a for in 77 78 everybody had a fucking star wars shirt uh every kid was drawing fucking darth vader and tie fighters and x wings on their fucking math book it was oh hell yeah you can't express how fucking big this thing was. And yeah. and for a long time, it stayed in theaters for years. Years. Not just a year. Years. Uh, and it was everywhere. And it changed everything. And it looks so different. I can't explain it to you now. Like how night and day different. It looked like movies evolved 20 years in one movie. Well, like, yeah, and you also have to understand the period uh, of, what, of what was going on in the film at that time. And it was like the one of the first hope, more kind of hopeful movies. It, it, in a very, in, the in, in the, like the darkest, juriest, most nihil, like as nihilist, if not worse, nihilistic, the 70s were bad as they are now, yeah. if not worse. And to have something that is a little hopeful, of course, it, you know, it made people feel good. It was a simple story. As a farm boy, R&B points this out, and he's right. Uh, it, it was also of America at that time. You had a farm boy and a trucker going up against an empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, and uh, it, it's, again, you, unless you lived it, it's just impossible to explain how fucking big it was and how much impact it. And that's why when, you know, you hear younger political pundits poo-poo it or Andrew Tate say he's never seen it, and I don't care if he sees it or not, to be honest with you. It's like, well, you'll you'll never understand. You'll never understand what it means to people, and it doesn't keep you from being a millionaire, by the way. Um, Sergeant Dan for fifty dollars on the streaming side. Sergeant Dan. Sergeant Dan. Current well, WGA. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. That's what I was thinking of. Sergeant Dan. I like Forrest Gump. It's a good movie. It is. It is. Drunk it's about food. My, my my people and my culture. Yeah. Yeah. Except it wasn't in the trailer park. It was like in this weird ass mansion thing, but it's the same thing. Uh, I think it's one of the best edited movies ever. So, uh, yes. uh, him being put into all those old uh, like video sequences, JFK, and it looks all so that stuff, it yeah. looks yeah. so good. Uh, and Jenna was a bitch. I gotta pay. I, I saw a meme <laughs> the other saw a meme the other day that's like Forrest Gump has sex once. Now has a kid and probably AIDS. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so funny. Poor guy. Uh, current WGA is acting like they are staff writers for the studio system in the 1930s and 40s. Exactly. 
Uh, there are tabletop RPG actual plays with better story and dialogue with raw audio dumped on podcast streams. All hail fellowship. All hail the one. Yeah, nine, nine. No, it's. I'll say it again. It's not 2007. It is. It is a different time. Hollywood is not on top. They are the second highest form of entertainment, uh, falling behind uh, even their foreign competitors in storytelling. What Chris just mentioned, streamers can start just buying stuff from the UK, from uh, from South Korea, you know, uh, from Japan it, it, all day long. It, it, there's so many other options now. The writers, they might, I'm sure they have some beefs. I'm sure there's some stuff they, like, especially with streaming, I'm sure they have some like legit beefs. But yeah, like, they, they do some of it. But asking for minimum six to 12 writers on a show and asking for uh, up to a year of, of, just guaranteed compensation, you're never going to get it. No. no. It's, just, it's not going to happen. And it's not realistic. So, you you know, and somebody brought up, a, I can't remember what show it was or I mentioned it. Um, why do you need a union when you have an agent? And why do you need a union under California laws, which are insanely strict when it comes They're to They're all at will. It's at will for entertainment for the most part. They can just fire you. Well, there you Fine. go. So you were yeah. you, you had no security anyway, and even if you have this deal, yeah. you have no security anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I said, security is an illusion when it comes to a job. You can get laid off at any point in time, especially mm -hmm. when it's at will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like... sorry, who was, I heard so... who was that? Oh, I'm hearing an echo. Uh, yeah. That's something I learned very early on. There is no such thing as job no. security. There's no none. Well, they just want what they're they want what they're uh, used to, and it's special treatment. Yeah. Well, the 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 thing is, you can still be good at your job and get laid off because of restructuring. That that's like the biggest thing uh, these people don't understand. That's reality. That's life. Uh, yeah, it's called an economic downturn. This might be some of the youngsters' first one. Uh, you know, it's like my fourth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this shit happens. Seventies. Uh, home. Price is the bubbles burst all the time. And uh, this is just the latest one. And it was, it should have burst a couple of years ago, honestly. They really kicked the can down the road and COVID made things a thousand times worse. It did. It did. Bro, I'm, I'm hoping fucking property values go down. My house is too goddamn expensive. I got to pay too much property tax. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, they will. I think that's coming. Uh, what created that boom uh, is all the fucking people leaving California and New York. Yeah, I know. I, yep. I fucking, God, I don't even want to talk. Seven hundred dollars difference in my mortgage this year. That's ridiculous. God damn. damn. Yeah. Yeah. Our our <laughs> our property tax went up, but I've been paying San Francisco property tax for eighteen years, and <laughs> come to Texas, you know, it's you can like, contest it's that, Gary. It's real. Uh, well, yeah, of course, and we're going to. Um, uh, but. Uh, and we contested it in San Francisco every year too. Oh, that's good. Uh, every time, but uh, uh, yeah, people are like, watch out, Texas property tax really high. It's like, bro, I was in San Francisco. Okay, <laughs> it's like it's not high. Uh, and 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 my property tax went to Free City <laughs> College. That was so. That, yeah, that's a great point I wanted to bring up. Is uh, you know, people go, why do you review these things? Well, it's, it's my fucking job, and I'm into pop culture, and I find ways. You know, mostly I don't pay Disney anything like i find ways to avoid it or i just don't buy it at all but i mean if you're gonna have that logic well where do you live where do you live jersey california you're 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 backing people who hate you why don't you just move you know uh I, that's what i did that was part of the reason i moved i could not stand my tax money going to crazy fucking shit anymore that was detrimental to my kids lives and my lives and yeah, I picked up a move and I found a place cheaper to live. It was crazy. So yeah, it was expensive to move, but I ended up saving a bunch of money by leaving. Simply by leaving. Yeah, uh, you also own your house outright at this point. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like I got to put in extra hours in the coal mine again. Disney made another Marvel film and must get that bot farm activated again. Good thing my hatred of the LGBTQ H D V D plus Verizon Wireless is more important than the family I'm providing for. There you go. Josh Kelsey for a $50 donation. Thank you. 50. 50. 
Can't do it like Beardo, but uh, <laughs> I, I try my best. You're doing a good job. Uh, Veer for fifty dollars uh, from Star Wars Theory. From Star Wars Theory to discovering geeks and gamers, and then this has been with you guys. I've been with you guys for a long time. Be well. Much love. Cheers. Right back at you. Oh, well, Star Wars Theory's been on a tear lately for for you know considering what his channel does and his position. Uh, it's been interesting to watch. In solidarity with Odin, I'd rather have my gums scraped than eat pineapple pizza. I'd rather clean the bathrooms of the Grand Central Station with my tongue <laughs> than eat pineapple pizza. I'd rather dive into a pool uh, of double-edged razor blades, uh, says Null Unit 60 for $99.99. Why would you do that to yourself? That's like way worse. Dude, okay, pineapple oh, pizza I don't know. is I don't know. delicious. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You still well. I'm gonna order oh, some tonight that just because of that. Wow. You did so old. just no, because of that. You did. No, super chat. No, I'm gonna take that money from that super chat. I'm gonna buy a pineapple pizza, motherfucker. Hell you yeah! Go. Sick. <laughs> you go right ahead. Sick. Then. Whatever. How did I even hire you? I should. Uh, you know what? Disgusting. I need some more questions. Yeah. Put that on the job application. Do you like pineapple <laughs> yeah, pizza? Yes or no? <laughs> no. Okay. Odd Mac Square it. man bun. <laughs> Lucky I like you. You 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 get sued for some kind of violation, <laughs> <laughs> judgment based off of <laughs> desire to want to taste. Dismissed for not liking podcast. pineapple pizza. Yeah. That's got to be a suable <laughs> offense. Plus, to eat pineapple pizza every Wednesday. <laughs> mm, obligatory pineapple. That's pizza when you get to get a fucking union involved, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only time you'd be up for it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Lord Baratheon for forty nine ninety nine. So it seems like out of all the Guardians, only Chris Pratt is the only one that'll return since the movie uh, ends with the legendary Star War Star Lord will return. Yeah. I don't think that means anything. No, no I don't think I, so I, either. Yeah. I think they were just trying to keep it going, keep audiences going, oh, is he going to show if up? If they were Pratt. smart, they would keep Pratt. But they're not. If they were smart, they would have done an Adam Warlock movie. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. <laughs> You know, uh, they would have done a Fantastic Four movie. If they were smart, they would have just cast a Fantastic Four that looks like the Fantastic yeah. fucking Four and not give a fuck what five people say on Twitter, but they're not smart. We, I think oh, my we've... God. I'm looking forward to the lesbian throuple that will be in the yep. Fantastic Four. Wolverine Snicked has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. <laughs> and the last one of the night, we'll do a square up on Sunday or Monday. One of the two days uh, where we'll do a square up. See the last one. It's on Nerdronic Live. Uh, Casey Estrada for fifty dollars. Anyone buying Zelda <laughs> next week? Anyone buying Zelda? Any Zelda I think fans I here? I think I might. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, Zelda was the last one was beautiful. Uh, it was just I love so the last one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I, I should fun. play that first. I'm like gonna it. shock you by saying yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. But I thought wow. you were a gamer, Gary. I'm a gamer. Yeah. A hat and Fake everything. gamer girl. Confirmed. What did you just call me? A gamer girl. Oh, gamer no, girl. And I'm going to play Witcher. I'm going to walk through a door, motherfucker. Cursing <laughs> your name. Cursing your name. <laughs> uh, anyone buying Zelda next week? There is a new album by Necro1990 called Zelda The Legend of Kondo. It's on all platforms. Mm. So somebody made an album about Zelda? <laughs> Why not? Okay. The only thing I remember about Zelda, Chris Gore, is the early commercials. Zelda, Zelda, remember oh, those? Yeah. Uh, Holy shit, I remember that commercial. That's the only thing I remember about Zelda. Yeah. It's yeah. too old for me. Dude, I was high. Um, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you're like Zelda. Let's call in tonight. Thanks everyone for hanging in there. We had a very interesting discussion about Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think I'm gonna see. It. Yeah. Like, I'm going to probably see it again. Well, I have Same. to because I have to do Same. a review. So, um, but I want to see it in, I'm going to do a, a, a tr uh, all three Guardians films and see before I do my review. But we'll get out of here and we will start with a meme. <laughs> they have the same picture. Oh no. <laughs> you are the same picture. They, you do look <laughs> alike. It's, uh, it's the eyebrows, I it's think. It's uncanny. Yeah. It's the fucking like, hair, have... too, because Chris's hair really is like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. I guess we know who you're going to cosplay. Do you yeah, that's what I'll do. There you go. 
Why not? I'll do it. Yeah, right on. Uh, comics division, what you got coming up? Or what you got out? You have a new video. Um, yeah, I've been putting out content. One, one is a video that has been in the works for like the last two weeks, uh, which is my video about Star Wars <laughs> Celebration and their terrible announcements. It's, um, I can actually remember the title of it. Uh, something about how to uh, revive your dead franchise that you killed. Um, go check that out. Also dropped a Sisu review. Um, that movie was hella fun. I love and it. currently, my God, there's going to be so much content that can be mi uh, mimed, memed, or mined, I should say. Uh, mimed. Or, mimed. Yes, pantomimed. <laughs> from the Guardian stuff, because not just the review, but the box office numbers are going to be very interesting to pay attention to. So, yeah. Yeah. I think we'll get a good idea tomorrow. Yeah. That will, tomorrow yeah, morning. This weekend, I think, is going to be a pretty good indicator of what direction this film's going to go. Yeah. Like, um, right, right now, it's... Right it's now, about it's about neck and neck with the previous ones, I think. Yeah. Well, with the previous what? The uh, previous the Guardians. One. Films. Well, the problem is Thursday previews in 2017 are not as prevalent as they are now. Yeah. So no, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's all, like, for now, it seems, but tomorrow we will. What they're, it's what they're projecting for tomorrow three. is almost directly in line with Ant Man of the Wasp Quantumania, the Friday with the Thursday numbers included. Right the now, one, the early numbers for today. And the only difference, I think, though, between them is one has this one, I think, has a lot more positive word of mouth versus what Ant Man did. True. For sure. Yeah. yeah so so I'm I, just shocked, but it should have way more preloaded hype, though. To, absolutely. Like, yeah. No, the, it, it, it should, but it, yeah. it's not because they've damaged their fucking brand. That, that's the issue. Yeah. But yeah, as always, I stream uh, Monday. Uh, things a little bit more political on Yellow Park Cars. And Thursday, uh, more kind of entertainment focused. As always, great hang with you. Great seeing you guys in Vegas. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll we'll catch you uh, next Friday on time. Thanks, comics. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Odin. What's up? You can check it over at OMB Reviews, uh, YouTube Odyssey Rumble, live stream tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I, I wasn't able to get my thoughts about Guardians, but I kind of feel all sides of it because there are parts that I like. There's parts that I hated. The way I describe it is that it's a giant mess of a movie, but I was very much moved by several parts of it, especially all the stuff. For me, there were two things. The like the little creatures. I have a soft spot in my heart for cute little animals. It's just like that. that's just built in within me. And then also all of the, there's a couple of moments with dad yeah. moments. And as a father, you know, it's just... Yeah, I guess yeah, absolutely. Same moment. Absolutely. Yeah, right here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a mixed bag. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Odin. Uh, Court of Black Garrett. Hey, you can find me on my channel, Court of Black Garrett, and on Normal World mm -hmm. on YouTube. You can go subscribe over there. We're dropping uh, sketches every week, I believe, until the start of the show. And also, Chrissy Mayer is doing a show in Dallas tonight. Uh, so you may be missing it right now, but she's also doing two shows tomorrow at Hyenas. So go check her out there. Uh, that's why she couldn't be on the show tonight. And go check out Jay's book, A Chromatic Chronicles. Did I say it right? Achromatic. Achromatic Chronicles Ac Blue. Acrobatic right. Chronicles. Acrobatic Chronicle Blue, guys. Acrophobia. <laughs> uh, link is in the description. Go check that out. Uh, I can't wait to get, to read that as well. It was great seeing you guys in Vegas. I can't wait till next time. Maybe Dallas. See some more of you guys. Uh, yeah, that is in the works. Maybe, maybe uh, some Southern California love. Yeah, Ooh. hanging out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's happening. I don't know what we're gonna do, but maybe we'll just meet in a street corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I spend my nights on the street corner. There you go. Sell my body to the night. <laughs> All, right. Here, All right. All uh, right. Exodus. Go. Oh. Um. Hopefully, I'm well enough to be streaming either tomorrow or Sunday because I don't want to miss Sunday Fun Day. And um, right. yeah. Uh, I had a good time. I'm tired, so I'll keep this short. Thank you. I loved hearing all your thoughts of Guardians. Also, Karen Gillan, her body actually looked like her poster picture. Yeah, she was, pretty dude, yeah. she was pretty mm -hmm. duded up. Oh, I was so bad. I'm like, where's I her boobs? Towards, I think the well, the first half she was in that shit. The second half she was in a more, uh, a little more formal. Well, I li thing. I liked when they were in their you know I, I proper guardians outfits from the comic yeah. books. Those were yeah. from the later yeah. comic books. Those were fine. Those are good. Well, that, that was the outfit at the end, right? When they're all yeah, in their, they're all yeah, in yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, then Ryan Kinnell. Uh, you guys know where to find me. My channel. I may or may not be dressing up in Egyptian garb. You never can <laughs> tell. If I do another Cleopatra video, I probably will. Um, Sports Wars, Geeks and Gamers. We got Geeks and Gamers Daily. We do every single day, Monday through Friday. Chris Gore is always there in the chat, just waking up, saying hi to everybody. True. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, just grinding away. Yeah. All right. Thanks for being here. Uh, and Chris Gore. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. It was a last minute edition. Uh, and I, I appreciate just being, being here and, uh, I don't have to watch the show now cause I was on the show. There you so, go. So that that's another double plus good and check out attack of the doc. It's, uh, might remind you of, uh, a very different time in nerd culture and, uh, subscribe to film threat. That's my YouTube channel, film threat critics court is in session on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. And then our normal film threat Friday live cast is on Fridays. I just got, I just got an invitation to the little mermaid while we were on stream. So we're going to see, I'll get to see that. I'll be oh. able to talk about it on your show, Gary, before my own show. So. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll, I'll let you know how that is. I'm going to take all of your word for it. Whoever's going to see it. Uh, if it fails at the box office, I'll probably cover that, but I, I could not be bothered to see this movie. Are you going to make everybody go see little mermaid or, or I just should, Ryan? you know what? But that would mean no. I have to go Why see it. Why would you put that out in the world? Christian? Oh, no, 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 no. You know no. what? That's a great idea. Now I'm going to watch it. Everybody's got to watch little mermaid. Oh, no. Oh, no. no longer welcome. Blame here. Chris hey, Gore. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Little mermaid worse or better than pineapple on pizza Ugh. i haven't seen it yet so i can't say for sure but based on all the early metrics i'm gonna say that's definitely gonna be worse than pineapple pizza ah. Ticket, tickets are on sale and I'll, I'll just tell you i checked it's not filling up at all well now. you know you, uh, ryan you're right like when you do the anecdotal thing like my theaters are very sleepy suburban like super mario brothers is gonna fill them up and that's about it but la is home field if you want to see how a movie is doing, go check the theaters at Burbank. Check yeah. uh, Burbank and Hollywood, and that will give you a good idea. Because I mean, that's part of the culture. Yeah, there. Yeah. Whatever. Culture. It depends who the demographics had... are. You know, it, yeah. it depends who they're targeting, yeah. who the target audience is. Like, I know that it doesn't matter if it's Ant Man of the Wasp, Quantumania, or Guardians, or an actual successful Marvel release. Um, the Disney Springs AMC is going to be like packed out, all yeah. of it. Yeah, because it's at disney it's a big event thing it's one of the biggest theaters around people go to it but how does it do uh, 45 minutes outside of orlando at the amc 12 right what do those showings look like and how does it do outside of premium formats yeah. exactly and when i lived in la dude i exclusively went to the theater at universal city walk like and that yeah. thing was fucking packed all the, all time. the time all the fucking time yeah. Uh, that's kind of why I AMC like opening in IMAX last night. Chattanooga was packed, and it was the first I'd ever seen it that packed since I've moved here. So, dude, people are still seeing like uh, Super Mario Brothers walked in. There was a huge mm -hmm. crowd, there was a huge fucking crowd going in there. The parking lot was half full, and it oh, wasn't yeah. all for, for Guardians for sure. Uh, and anime movies when they screen anime movies, fuck man, there is a lot of people there. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, Camelot, thanks for uh, coming on, dude. Uh, it was great having you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm just, <clears throat> I don't know what the hell is going on with my channel. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but every video I upload, like every three, three to four days, just is automatically demonetized. And then they reject my appeal every time. Wow, it's crazy. And they give me just random reasons that don't make any sense. And when I contact like their support, obviously it's like a robot. So it doesn't matter. Um, so I've been tweeting about it, but. Follow me on there on my YouTube channel, Rumble channel, stuff like that. Subscribe on there. And I have a new show, kind of recent show, called Camelcast. I've had Gary on. I've had Quarter Black Garrett. That was me and Quarter Black. We drank that fight milk hard. It was good. It was great. Hey, yeah, I he drank the me. fight milk, too. I just You did drink it, but Gary, I, th or I think Quarter Black actually beat me. Like he drank I did. It oh, he beat Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the Chug Contest? Well, he's a, he's yeah. a, he's a big guy. <gasps> yeah, he's good. Not as it. big as like, – Quarter Black's actually looking good right now. I think he is. And he's well, very working on it. Man. He's very, on very attractive man. Um, but yeah, I have that show. Um, I didn't mean a really, like that. really fun show. <laughs> I'm gonna be on Wednesday. <laughs> yes, and um, Ryan Cannell is gonna be on it. Well, I won't Fight be if milk. you say my name like that again. But yeah, Can Ryan Cannell. <laughs> Cannell. I like it. Sounds good. Rolls off the tongue. Hey, did the, the demonetizing just happen recently? Yeah, it's, it's the, been the, like yeah. Well, they well, just well. did a wave. They hit some of our FNTs. 
recently. Yeah. Yep. Like today. <laughs> Stop talking about yeah. trans penis. Yeah. yeah. They'll hit this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, they're going hardcore. I, uh, <laughs> on, on, uh, the transmissions, manual and automatic, uh, and and I think there there's election prep going on for sure. They're fortifying oh, another election, uh, and uh, we just better be ready. Next year is gonna fucking suck. It's gonna, it's gonna be a madhouse. I, I think it has a lot to do with the uh, Mr. Beast's uh, yes. buddy who mm -hmm. transitioned and then was getting you know a lot of criticism. I think it has. I, I think the YouTube stuff has a little more to do with that than the upcoming election shit. But I think like their biggest creator, the one that's most prominent, the one that they push all the time, that has secret deals with YouTube to get fucking promoted, having somebody on his team uh, get attacked. I think that's got a lot to do with the shit we're seeing now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just separate it from, in theory, from Mr. Beast. Do you think they would like, uh, you know, maybe somebody who's on the fence or do something like that to get more promotion to make it look better uh, for like it? A virtue signal, a marketing virtue signal. Do you think somebody would actually do that? Do you think somebody would actually transition to get clout? Yes, probably. Yes. Like about ninety-nine percent of people do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or possibly do it allegedly. I know. Yeah. I sure yeah. as hell wouldn't have got a fucking Bud Light advertisement. Maybe if I turned trans, maybe I could get it like Dylan Mulvaney. I don't know. Yeah, you yeah, do it. If you give me like like ten million dollars, bro. Oh, oh man, Rihanna, Rihanna Canell, Rihanna Canell. I can see it right now. Right on. Double dead name. There you go. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, oh, is there another one? Yeah. Okay. Let it's me, at the top. It's a, so it's easier. That's what she said. It's yeah. actually not easier, but that's not your fault. Oh. I, I had to I, not be on my meta PCs today. I had to be on my laptop. I can I can put it at the bottom. You can read it. Why don't you read it? Why don't you read it? Oh. Okay. No, uh, it's uh, working. Yeah. Quellendar from the stream left side for a hundred dollars. Whoa! Uh -huh. I, 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 uh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, it's in the chat how to say the name. Thank you. Uh, the elm part is like elm tree, but with an N. Um, it was great meeting everyone in Vegas, both nights, creators and fans alike. Enjoyed it all. All this is um, also this is my first live stream donation ever anywhere. All Damn! Time. Wow. Wow. Ooh. We'll be gentle. Not really. We're going to be rough. No lube. <laughs> no lube. That's how we do it here. Uh, it's been a really fun show. Thanks, guys. Thanks again for Vegas. Uh, that that light actually lights the fire. The creative gets the creative juices flowing. All the juices. All the holes. All the holes. All the holes. Oh, damn. Yeah. No, it, it's it's really it, it's really inspiring. Uh, Cause it makes it real. That's why I love doing these things. And yeah, Dallas is in the works. Uh, th there'll be a meetup for sure. So uh, we're working with Culture Casino on something, and on a place. And we'll have that. Uh, we'll have that info like ASAP. Uh, and uh, yeah, San Diego yeah. after that. Uh, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more later in. Well, North, there's the North UK, Carolina, right? Yeah, Asheville, Asheville. We're Asheville. I'm, I'm going. In, we are gonna go. There's a lot of drama. Later in the year, the tons UK. Of, yeah, tons of drama around the Asheville uh, event, but I'm still going because people cosmic, commit. Cosmic drama. Yeah. yeah, people committed to go. So if they did, then I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna back out because of stuff that has nothing to do with us. To be honest with you, uh, I like all parties involved who are fighting with each other, and I just hope they uh, work it out. That's all I gotta say about that. And uh, yeah, gonna do a Guardians review. That's a mix. It's a weird one though, because it's not mm -hmm. like there's things I just didn't like, yeah. <laughs> and there's things yeah. I yeah. loved in it. So it's yeah, yeah it's a real mixed bag. Uh, but thanks again to everyone. Thanks to the mod Rodix. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You help keep the lights on around here. Thanks for supporting all of our channels. Please support all these fine creators because they're really good people and they're my friends. So until next time, ciao bella. Bye. See ya. Yeah. Ooh. yeah.